Yo, yo, yo. What is good, everyone? I gotta get my headphones set up. Once again, you know me. I'm prepared for stream. Y'all should be able to hear me. Let me know if we are good. I gotta pop open chat. Um, Dr. Robot, if you're still in here, my video is uh, up to date. Yo, what's good? My video is up to date and it should uh, still walk you through how to install the mods and everything. Um, one common issue that people have is that they don't actually load the actual, um, oh, y'all can definitely hear it twice. Um, they don't actually load the actual rosters. So before you do anything, you guys can see my screen right now. You got to go to the creation center, share and manage files, load and delete files. We can delete that. That game's already done. And then it is, uh, roster. You got to load this. I guess we do have to go ahead and remove Nebraska from our wheel spin. Um, cause I didn't do that already. I also got to go at the discord. I have not added the discord yet. So let's go and do that. Please tell me I'm not doxing. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not. All right. General go over here, go to share copy, close discord announcements at everyone college football imperialism day two what's good Tonti? how you doing all right let's go ahead and send that out and now we are good we are ready to start college football imperialism it is going to be a great stream we're finishing up what we started yesterday and we will go until there is one champion left i gotta pull up gotta pull up tiktok chat i gotta remember about y'all you're releasing the map after stream. I am Dr. Robot. There will be the map released after stream so that you guys can do this yourself. Lil Terrell, how's it going? All right. But to start, y'all know the drill. We got to load up on our phone and I have to go and, uh, and take care of this wheel spin. Right now, I think, I don't know how many people are down to. I guess I should probably figure that out. I got to remove Nebraska first. Um, but let's go ahead and decide how many teams are left. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 6, 8, 30, 32. We have 33 teams left. Fave, how's it going? So 33 teams left in college football imperialism, and we are going to go until there's one left. If you guys are just now joining us, go ahead and check out the Photoshop map. As you guys can see, Baylor, Iowa, and USC are dominating this map, but Boston College has a lot of land up north, and Clemson is dominating the south, taking down Alabama and Georgia. But let's go ahead and see who is going to be fighting first in today's imperialism. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Storm, how's it going? And the first team fighting is going to be the University of Florida. We have not seen them yet, but they could take on a few possibilities. We could see them take on Clemson. We could see them take on Florida State or even the University of Miami. Let's go ahead and see who they are going to be fighting. I got y'all with the wheel spin currently at lunch right now. Let's go. You can watch. All right, let's go ahead and spin this wheel to see what direction Florida is going to be fighting in. And I'm going to say that that's going south towards FSU. They're probably the closest team. So we got FSU, Florida. Who do we think is going to win, boys? Let's hop over into the game. Play now. Proceed without progression. Let's get it started. No, my Wolverines. I love your videos. I appreciate it, little Terrell. All right. I got to slide that over. Go like that. And then we have to go and set. So Florida State is going to be the uh, home team. They're going to have home field advantage. They're at an 88 overall. And Florida will be coming in at an 85. So it's pretty close. Dallin, how's it going? Welcome back. Done my photography project. So I'm just watching. Let's go. All right. So Florida, I think, I, I don't know. Florida State's probably going to win because they got Jordan Travis and everything. But I'm rooting against them. I've said it before. I said it all of yesterday. I want Florida State to lose. They beat UCF um, yesterday, but that's the only time we saw them play. 85 overall to 88. Florida State's got home field advantage, so I'm probably leaning towards them. Let's go FSU. No shot. Dallin, you're going for Florida? 
All right, let's see. Yeah, Michigan got smoked by Eastern Michigan. Let's go, Knowles. Yeah, Dr. Robot is our is our Knowles fan in here. But let's go ahead and see how this game is going to turn up. Um, it looks like Florida State is going to be starting with the football, but that, that really doesn't matter. It's a Madden sim. Literally anything can happen. Just give me the animation to the cutscene. Let's see. Wait, Florida State beat LSU. What happened? Wait a minute. Hold up. I I didn't set it up right. I did not set it up right. Give me one minute, chat. We're going to full cam. I didn't select a side, I guess. Or Madden bugged out. But I have to go restart my Madden now. Are you kidding me? I swear I selected Florida State. Maybe it was just bugging. I don't really know what happened. All right, but we got, we're going to load up college football one more time. I will give you guys another opportunity to check out the Photoshop map. Our first game is going to be Florida versus Florida State. Florida State has home field advantage. Florida State beat LSU week one. I'm going for Marshall for the win. I know the Terps got destroyed. We're trash. Yeah, Terps lost yesterday. Um but the biggest, the biggest surprises, in my opinion, was probably Clemson taking down both Georgia and Alabama. Common Madden now. Madden yeah, exactly. Tomty still got Michigan game. State, though. Could be worse. Yeah, you guys do have that. Tomty doesn't have anybody because Tomty's a Marshall fan. All right, let's go ahead and load up the game. Try to get into our first one. We are going until we crown a winner. Yesterday, we had to end short, but now we have 33 teams left. We are bringing it down to one. Whoever's last standing controls all the land. Let's go ahead. Go into quick play. I actually got to load up the rosters real quick. I don't know if I still got to do that or not. Look at Tomty flexing the, the Modix Rage emotes. Tomty's one of the only people that can do that because he's a member. Go ahead and delete that roster. College football roster one. There we go. All right. And now we can get into a game. This is our first matchup. Florida State's going to have home field advantage. I need to get rid of this. All right, yeah, yeah, that works. All right, quick play. Play now. Proceed without progression. Cody rigged it against Marshall and LSU. I did not. I guess, yeah, Clemson also took down LSU. All right, so Florida State is the first team that we got to select. They're coming in at an 88 overall. Florida at an 85. It should be an interesting matchup, especially because FSU has home field advantage. Run inside. Defend inside. You think Florida State, JB? Go ahead and type in chat who you guys think is going to win this game. Who do you guys think is going to be victorious and stay alive? Modix hype emotes in chat. Let's go. Marshall does not exist to me. Just wait, Storm. I'm going to have to uh, have to do like a franchise or something with that when the game comes out. I would get some memberships, but got to save up money for a trip in May. Where are you going, Tompty? Where are you headed? All right, here you go, Dr. Robot. I'm giving you your Florida State game. Me? Give me a membership? All right, so now it looks like uh, we are going to finally get some action. Let's go ahead and start simming through this. Florida is going to be the first team to score a touchdown, but FSU is going to match that at the end of the first quarter. This seems like a pretty defensive game. In-state rivalry going pretty well. Tied at halftime. Florida State comes out on top, but Florida is going to match that. Let's go ahead and slow it down because FSU just took a touchdown lead with four minutes and 25 seconds left in the half. Florida is driving, though. They're going to have to punt it away, though. Florida State. We're going to go ahead and jump in. They're down on their three-yard line. It's third and 12. If Florida can get a stop here, then they're going to be in a very good position to tie up this game and stay in it. Y'all, that's crazy. That's actually insane. That's actually insane. All right, so here we go. Florida State is at their own three-yard line with a seven-point lead up against Florida. They're going to decide to run the football, but Florida is going to get the ball back, get another opportunity to tie up this game and possibly force this thing to overtime. There's two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. So we're going to go ahead and start jumping through it. Let's jump to the next play. They're going to punt. And this is where Florida takes over. We're going to go ahead and watch it slow. They're on. They're on. FSU's 25-yard line threatening to score. They have to score a touchdown to stay in it. Didn't see a single second of the game. It's okay. It's okay. We we still get the gist of it. How do Cody be doing this so many times? Tom, do you have to get in the habit of streaming again? Once that happens, I'll be good. How's bro playing? This is modded Madden 24 on PC. 
All right, here we go. The Florida Gators have 25 yards. Two minutes left on the clock. It's first and 10. We have to see what is going to happen. This time is just taken down. Why'd you skip? What do you mean, JB? What do you mean? All right, here we go. The action has begun. Florida has their wide receiver basically wide open, but Mertz is going to deliver an inaccurate pass. So uh, they live to fight another day, FSU. But we'll see if they can hold them off. A minute and 28 seconds left. Second and 10. It looks like they're going to be passing this football. You got to find at least somebody. And they're going to find their wide receiver. Getting them down to the four-yard line. They still have all three of their timeouts. But they're probably saving that to possibly get another play or another possession. If they can stop FSU on defense. They are going to let this clock tick down. A minute and 10 seconds. Mertz is actually going to take a sack. And we'd expect them to take their, uh, their first timeout here. I'm not cheating on Kira with my with Madden. No shot. But they actually don't end up taking the timeout. I don't know why they wouldn't use one of their three. Mertz is going to drop back to pass again. Find his halfback just kind of short, going nowhere. And this comes up to a third and goal. You have to expect that they're going to go for it on fourth down too. So basically two shots to find the end zone. We'll see what they can do. They got their wide receivers motion into a new formation. Let's see if Mertz can deliver a pass to take down FSU. Or I guess, Ty, you basically got a wide open player if you pass led that a bit. And now it all comes down to this. Florida has a chance to tie up this game, but it is fourth and goal. Mertz is going to have to find the end zone here if he wants to stay alive. I forget that I didn't zoom in my camera. Mertz throws towards the end zone, and he had the opportunity for a Moss. But FSU is going to hold on, and they're waving Florida goodbye as they take their land. All right, now let's go ahead and hop into Photoshop because now we can kind of adjust this. And that means that there is one or there are two teams left in Florida. You got Miami, you got FSU. Who is going to take over the land? Who is going to own Florida at the end of the day? We gave FSU their land. So now FSU, Clemson. That's my next prediction. FSU plays Clemson. But we have to go remove Florida. You're right. Cody cheating on Madden with Kira. Kind of. All right. Let's go ahead. Remove Florida from the map. I'll let you guys see the wheel spin. I'm not going to forget to do that. But let's go ahead and spin this thing and see who we land on. And it is going to be none other than Washington. So let's go into Photoshop because Washington basically has to play Oregon it's uh, I mean it's Oregon or USC so no shot we get a bad game here but we'll go ahead and see what direction the wheel wants Washington to attack in and it looks like they're going to be playing Oregon we have the Pac-12 championship rematch let's see who comes out on top y'all couldn't see it y'all couldn't see it that's crazy all right I gotta respin it all right what direction is Oregon, okay, I'm spinning it to get to Oregon. We already spun it. You ready? All right. I, it, we're recording for a video at the end of the day. All right. So let's see what direction Washington is going to have to attack in. And it looks like they are going to be facing closest to Oregon. So we have a rematch of the Pac-12 championship. Let's see who takes it. Washington won the, less, the last one, but let's see if Oregon can get it done. All right. Sorry, I'm I'm kind of stupid, guys. I, I didn't realize that I didn't switch the screens again after I said that I wouldn't, but we still get the same result. Bama lost to Clemson uh, yesterday. It's not over. It is. It literally is. Florida lost. I hate to break it to you, Florida fans. Y'all lost. Now nah, they're facing Marshall? No, nah, I don't think so, Tomty. They're definitely facing Oregon. We got Washington away, though. So it's going to be at home. At, uh, Oregon's going to have home field advantage. Oregon, I think, also has the overall advantage. I think if I'm mistaken, they're an 89 overall, where Washington's an 88. I'd have to check, though, obviously. Um, but let's go ahead and give Oregon the home field advantage. Where are they? Oregon. Nope, that's still M's. Oregon's coming in at an 89 overall, and now Washington is all the way at the bottom of our list. But I believe that they're an 88. I will correct it, obviously. Um, but I think Washington's going to have the overall advantage plus the, uh, 
Yeah, so Washington is actually an 87 overall. So Oregon not only has an overall advantage, but they also have home field advantage. And that's why I am picking Oregon to win this one. We'll see what happens. But I think Oregon's coming away with a large chunk of that top left-hand corner land. It pointed towards Marshall. Marshall got knocked out yesterday, Tompty. I don't really know. He admitted it for shame. Bro, it's not my fault that I didn't actually record the the actual scene dr robot i appreciate the gifts over on uh over on tiktok all right let's go ahead and see what is going to happen are we lagging at all guys is my camera lagging all right we're gonna go ahead and start simming this thing oregon is going to not make anything it's a very defensive game oregon is the first team to score with a field goal but washington matches that with a touchdown they score another touchdown and at the end of the first half we have washington uh scoring another touchdown it's 14 to 3 washington is now driving on oregon we'll go ahead and jump in just to see exactly what's happening it's a third and nine on oregon's 20 yard line if they can score this at all even if they score a touchdown it's going to be a two possession game you're in you're in denial all right let's see what michael Penix can do this is a lot uh more of a blowout than the actual pac-12 championship they don't get a lot so i think they're gonna settle for a field goal here and just because it takes too much time we're, we're just gonna skip it i'm not gonna show you guys the actual field goal because they take forever to kick whenever you're watching they are gonna end up getting the kickoff and now Oregon has to do something quickly or else they are going to become out of this game. We're going to go ahead and start simming. Yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Why is this? Oh, I got to go to jump forward towards end of the game. That's what we got to do. All right. So Oregon can't make anything happen. Washington drives down and scores again. Oregon finally getting back, but I think it's too little too late. We'll go ahead and jump in and see what they can do, but there's 56 seconds left. They're still down two possessions, so if they are able to score a touchdown, then they're going to have to go for an onside kick. I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see. Was that Gray? Yeah, it was. I'll have Gray come in later if he's not busy. Huh? All right. Do you want to call the next game for me? Are you free tonight, too? Uh, Yeah, until, like, Okay. Um, we got to figure out insurance for the new place. I'm not saying anything else on stream, but all right. So Oregon takes a timeout. It's first and 10, 35 yard line. They wasted a lot of time. There's 21 seconds left. We'll see if Oregon gets knocked out right now. It's in favor of Washington. You got to go to the end zone. If you're Bo Nix here. All right. Out of bounds. No, not at all. All right. Second and five gray. They're talking to you. Oh, what's up everybody how we doing let's go i know it's been a while i'm glad to be back let's go. that's slightly my fault i no, haven't been live no no you, you're good I, I wouldn't even if you'd have been live i wouldn't have been here so all right so bonex dropping back gonna try to find the end zone and that's nothing all right this game is over this game is over washington beats oregon so they are taking over oregon's land on the map Let's go ahead and adjust that. Oregon, you are out of college football imperialism. What a shame. All right, Washington lands, grab the color, and now we're painting over everything. Washington now owns that top left-hand corner, and we already saw um, Oregon beat Oregon State as well. So Washington takes over what used to be Oregon State's land as well. And they are dominating that top left-hand corner. But now it's time. Gray grew his hair out. Yeah, everybody. Get, get in there. Get in there. Got to get a little bit longer, but we're getting there. All right. We have to remove oh, Oregon from our wheel. All right. And now it's time to see who is fighting next in college football imperialism. We'll go ahead and spin the wheel. And it looks like it's going to be UNC. So UNC's bordering Virginia Tech, South Carolina, or Duke. So we'll see what, what direction they're attacking in. And this determines who they're going to be fighting. And it looks like it's going to be Duke. Duke, UNC, battle of the, of the basketball schools. And we're going to have Gray announce. I'm going to let Gray jump in. And you can announce. We got, who we got, Drake May? For? Drake May and, uh, and, and Duke. Duke. I don't know. Who cares about Duke? UNC superiority. If I had to guess, that's what's going to happen. 
Is the college game available? No, it is not. Not yet. Not until July. But they are coming out with uh, new content every single day, which is getting exciting. Yeah. All right, I'll let you sit down. I'll get it controlled over here. Right. You can do announcing voice if you want. I... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream. Um, who is College it? football think... imperialism on the Madden mod. Mm. Yep, that's right. Let's go. Cody, I believe you use the apps you use, right? It's on PC, but you're using your Xbox yes. controller. Yeah, yes. and it on, this model only works on PC. It only works on PC. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so North Carolina has an overall advantage, but Duke has home field advantage. So because we'll go ahead and see what happens. It's because they're challenging, right? So yes. that's why they get the home yes. advantage. Okay. Got you. See, this is all I have to do for content. Just like great dude. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, X again. Or yes. A. 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 Or a. I'll Sorry. control it. Gotcha. gotcha. You want to move to the center so that no, oh, no. Oh, center. center. Gotcha. There. Center. Oh, let's go. There we go. And then I'll just control it over here. That's what I'm talking about. The guy right, Grandpa cares right. about, dude. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We've got the matchup between the UNC Tar Heels and the Duke Blue Devils. I actually just got to announce for Duke for baseball last week, which is pretty cool. So this is cool getting to see it for football. So who's getting ball first? Uh, we're going to jump forward. We're going to go to the end of the game, but it's just going to be a little simulation action. Oh, my right. goodness. I slow it down no, place. you're good. Uh, no scoring going on between the first quarter. Two minutes, Duke's, er, UNC's got the ball. Who's that? Whoa, dude. Go for it on fourth. All right, first and goal for the Tar Heels, and they are going to convert. All right. Oh, and UNC out to a really, really fast lead. 21 zip. Ladies and gentlemen, it might be it for the Blue Devils, but we'll see if they can come. Nope, nope, that's it. 28 to 7. Ooh, never mind. I might have lost. Nope, never mind. There's UNC absolutely running away with it. Final score is going to be so UNC 38, Duke 21. See, that's great. That's the announcer for Coastal Carolina. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I was, that's awesome. No, that, I didn't realize that, that it so happened that fast. No, it's, it took me a while to get used to it. Is the reason you let the last little bit play out? Yeah, well, like if it's close. If it's close, we decided to do that. But we have to go adjust our Photoshop map. Duke doesn't get it done. The overall advantage ends up being too much for Duke. And I mean, they almost did come back, I guess, but. And the thing is, they should have kept it close with them being four overall. Mm -hmm. And having home field advantage. Yeah. They should have definitely kept it closer than that. Um, grab that. And then UNC now takes over that land. And now they completely border Virginia Tech. So if they get land on again, it's either Virginia Tech or, or uh, South Carolina. And that's it. Or J technically, if it goes this way, it's JMU, isn't it? Nah, JMU's, oh. JMU's on that border. I put them on Virginia Beach for some reason. <laughs> but now it's time to remove Duke from our wheel, and then we will spin again to see who is going to be fighting Duke out of here. Let's go ahead and spin to see who's fighting next in college football imperialism. It is going to be Navy. UNC almost got landed on again. The Naval Academy. But Virginia. Navy JMU. legitimately has to do Virginia Tech. Because they are completely surrounded, as you guys can see in Photoshop. Navy is completely surrounded by Virginia Tech. So, Virginia Tech's going to be home. Navy's going to be away. I am I would assume Virginia Tech's going to take this one. I think they have the overall advantage. But we'll have to wait and see. Depends on how they run the game. Um, the mm, 75 overall. I thought the Virginia Tech was a bit higher. Navy comes in. I forget completely where Navy is, but they're probably around that mark too. So we're probably going to get a pretty good game. Navy comes in at 74 overall. So that's pretty solid. Was ECU before in North Carolina? Yes, that was ECU. Where can I see the map? We're also streaming over on YouTube. My YouTube is Modix HD. You guys can see the map. You guys can see the wheel spins that we have. But let's go ahead and jump into this game. Navy taking on Virginia Tech. We'll go ahead and load it up. Virginia Tech's got the overall advantage and the uh, and the home field advantage, but I think Navy takes it. I think Navy takes the land. That's my prediction. We got a bit of an upset. How am I playing this? This is modded Madden on PC. Modded Madden 24. Switch displays. I know, Tomty. I did. I switched the displays. I didn't forget this time. But let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. I I hate that it says Clash of the Conferences because, like, the conferences are still, like, the Madden ones, so there's four teams per conference. Right, so if you're playing in your area, it's always going to be Clash of the Conferences. Yeah, and it doesn't, it doesn't make sense at all. But let's go ahead and see what happens in this game. 
We got Virginia Tech starting with the ball. They can't, they end up scoring a touchdown to start and they're going to add towards that lead with two touchdowns at the end of the first half. They're trying to score one more. Our score is 14 to seven now. Navy is answering, but it's still a two possession game. Navy brings it pretty close and they are driving once again. We'll jump into this. They have the ball or Virginia Tech has the ball and they have to get a few first downs. Navy still has all three timeouts and it is, I guess I shouldn't have jumped in this soon. I should not have jumped in this soon. If you're tech, you'd like to see at the very least a field goal here. Drain it out about a minute and a half left. That's about as much as you're going to do here. Unless you just consistently get first downs and drain them out of Navy out of their timeouts. We'll see. They decide to pass it. That's not a good And get out of bounds. It's not. Seriously, you should have gone down right there. But it's a Madden simulation. That's all you got to know. All right, so we'll let them drive down now. They just need to settle for a field goal, like Gray said. Literally, a field goal will put them in a good scenario where they probably won't lose. But if they can drain the majority of this clock, then they're oh, going to be in a really good position. Four, Given the, oh, five yards, second out of three. And, touchdown. and there's the touchdown. And should, be, should be the game. And so we'll go fast to see if Navy can make anything happen. They're going to have to try to drive down at the very end, but it's too little too late. Navy is leaving college football imperialism and Virginia Tech takes over what small portion of their land they have. I literally think it's just their logo. Um, yeah, it was just their logo. That, that was it. Um, so Virginia Tech claims that land. And now we move on to see who's fighting next. All right, I got to remove them from the wheel, though. Who was that? That was Navy, right? Yeah, Navy, you're out of here. Let's go ahead and see who's fighting next. It's going to be... Oh, is that Pitt? No, it's going to be Rutgers. But Pitt still might actually play because Pitt... Oh, no, they wouldn't. It's either Boston College or Virginia Tech once again. Virginia Tech's playing a lot during this imperialism. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see what direction they're going to be fighting and it's actually going to be boston college so if Rutgers can take this game then they will be able to claim a majority of the land boston college is a pretty low overall so this will be a pretty interesting game play with louisville louisville it's whatever team the wheel spins on that's how we're determining this boston college is going to have home field advantage they're also a 73 overall i don't know where Rutgers is baylor does own all of texas joseph all right are where where are they there's Rutgers. Rutgers is a 72 yeah, overall the best of, like matchups as far as yeah. overall has been concerned it's really close um it's probably gonna be boston college i i, I would assume when their overalls are pretty similar it's gonna go to the home field advantage team but you never know you really never know we had eastern michigan beat michigan we had clemson beat both georgia and alabama there's really no telling in college football imperialism because at the end of the day, we're dealing with a Madden sim. And anything can happen because the PC doesn't know what it's doing. That's what I say, but it being a Madden sim and the way that college football is kind of set up, like that's how it's set up. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen in comparison to the NFL where that doesn't happen. Exactly. All right. Let's see what is going to end up happening. We get to see Boston College's field. Their stadium's pretty nice, it looks like. At least in the Madden game, it is. All right, but we're going to jump forward to the end of the game go ahead and send this one out boston college is going to start out our scoring with a field goal and oh, they're going to get another there. one Rutgers is going to take the lead with a oh, touchdown though to seven. Oh, and Rutgers one point over and there we boston go college just absolutely good game right it's a one point game just responsive back and forth there's Rutgers scoring again 28 to 20. where's the ball wait yeah Rutgers has the ball right now but they're going to punt it away so let's go ahead and uh I'll send this a bit to make sure that the drive's a pretty decent one. Let's go ahead and jump in, though, to watch Boston College. See what they can do. They're right around midfield. They need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. It's a mod tie, so you can't do the roster. It's not like one of those downloads. You're, like, modding the whole entire game. Yo, Rady, how's it going? Let's go, baby. All right, let's load in here. Rutgers defense has got to come in clutch. They get a stop. It's essentially game over, I'd say, if they can get a... Get another score. Boston College going to decide to run, and they are going to go nowhere. Especially bumping in the outside. Should have stayed down the middle. Yeah. Hindsight's always point twenty. But still. All right. I got to go ahead and exit, and then that's going to make it faster. I, I just hate the animations. I see these cutscenes of all these players. I, I don't care. All right. Can Boston College pick up the third and six? 
There's going to be pressure, and he's going to find his wide receiver. Get down to the 40-yard line. Yeah, they they do still have to get the two-point conversion after the touchdown, which is pretty difficult, but we'll just go ahead and keep on watching this, see what they can end up doing. I don't know why they, sw why they switched views. I feel like we just flipped fields. Well, was the two minute warning. Just, that doesn't they switch they it though. No. Um, are you doing player stealing? No. It just you stay with the same team, Nick. Um, I don't think in college we need to do player stealing. Maybe in the future we might. All right, Boston College dropping back. They're gonna run a halfback screen, and they got the Madden cheese on that one. So it's a third and ten situation from the forty yard line. Let's see what they can do. Steps back to pass, and he is going to find a wide receiver wide open. Getting down to the one-yard line, but that might be good because now they don't give that much time left on the clock for Rutgers to possibly come back and kick a field goal. At the end of the day, they still do need the two-point conversion. They're going to get the touchdown, but this is the most important play of the game right here. They have to convert on the two-point conversion if they want anything to happen here. I think we got a bit of an animation because they're going to show the animation to kick. I have no clue. Gray, what do you think is going to happen? I don't think either of these teams are very clutch. That's the thing. I feel, I could see this I could see this being a quarterback scramble that just barely makes it over the line and we go this game goes into like triple overtime or something. We tie you just run it again, right? Cuz it, yeah. it cuz it's not college overtime. You know, no, it so, is. Oh, okay. It well, is. then you won't get it. But it's the battle of the mids. All right. Are they going to run this? No, he's going to throw it, and they pick up the two-point conversion. Perfect play, but terrible defense. Absolutely yeah. god-awful defense. Because you don't get burned over the top on a, on a two-point conversion, so you bring people, you got to bring your players down. Mm -hmm. But they decide to go zone over there. But that means that we might have a very interesting game. Of course, we still do have the opportunity for ruckers to drive down and possibly get a field goal we'll see after the kickoff what they're trying to do it looks like they are actually trying to score um we'll jump in and watch this just to see they might be taking a knee i don't see them taking timeouts uh which might come back to hurt them they have three so There's they should be able three, to but where's the ball 50 yard line. Oh, yards on the to. They 50 throw yard one ball call a timeout kick a field goal game's over or you only need like another 15 yards to be in range probably i probably i don't 20. know why they're they're not calling it this clock honestly might they're tick down i was gonna say they're definitely not gonna... okay i don't know let's see what happens this might get another madden oh this is the kickoff animation i love madden chat it's such a great game <laughs> so what happened okay so what happened here nah just wait so now oh they finally took their time out let's go good job Rutgers. <laughs> all right so they have two more remaining timeouts we'll see what they end up doing madden cpu so dumb they are so now there's six seconds left. You basically have to get a first down here and then call an instant timeout if you want anything. They're going to go for the Hail Mary. Yes. Yes. This is college football imperialism. It's going to get picked off. You don't, you don't try to return that for a pick six? And they're celebrating for going into overtime? I, I don't know if Rutgers knows what they're... Or if Boston College knows what they're doing, but now you're going into overtime, and you might have just choked this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Northeast football, uh, more specifically ACC and Big Ten. Yeah. The, so if anybody asks why um, I don't like FSU, FSU claims that they should be in the playoff when they play teams like this. This, this is an accurate representation of what happens in any other conference besides the sec sec runs college football yeah. why didn't he try to return who knows who knows Plus on the college guys are more on the madden animation. yeah i mean no i'm still i'm still saying yeah yo edward how's it going let's go edward all right i guess we'll go ahead and watch overtime why not okay. it's second and five from the 20 yard line Rutgers is starting out on offense where can I get this modded Madden version for PC? I got a whole video up on my YouTube channel. We're also live over there. If you guys want to see the whole screen, want to see our map whenever we go to it and our wheel spins and everything, pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. Way better viewing experience, I promise you guys. Of course, Mike. Has UNC still in it? UNC did win their game against Duke, so they are still in the game. Yo, Kool-Aid. Hush up, buddy. What do you mean? We should attempt to get a chance to complete. 
compete. Oh, compete. I, I can't read. No, you're good. All right. Rutgers is actually going to throw that away. It's still third and five. So if they can get a stop here, um, Boston College might be able to still end up coming on top, even though they basically sold on the uh, at the end of the game, end of regulation. FSU beat every Power 5 team they put. Ah, it's an FSU fan. I got it. I got it. Bro, SEC runs college football. That's all you need to know. Rutgers drops back to pass, and they're going for a screen pass. He senses pressure, and I'm pretty sure they're going to result in a field goal here. So that means all Boston College has to do is score a touchdown, and they're going to continue in this, in this imperialism. We're going to go ahead and jump forward because they do... Oh, they missed the field they goal. They missed the field goal. Oh, so now Rutgers, real, I mean, Boston College, all they have to do Boston, is kick a field goal. Yes, Boston College just has to kick a field goal now. I can't believe that they missed, and I didn't didn't watch it, but I, I knew that it would take too much time. I, automatic. Yeah, a 35-yard field goal? And I don't I don't know what Boston College is doing here. All you have to do is kick take your kick. I wouldn't even be trying to run this at all. Literally take your kick, but I guess they just saw a miss. Yeah, make it more automatic as you can. I, I, I guess so, but he... Oh, you, okay, I, wide open. Why yeah. Why does he even put his hands up? Excited for College 24? Bro, same. Your video was great, homie, big time when I was downloading. I love to hear it, J Harp. All right. So now here, this should be the game-winning kick. If Boston College can manage to put this through, they're going to take over Rutgers' land. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you running a fake there? That's All you have to do is kick a field goal. You gotta check. You gotta check the other thing. You gotta check or the the stats. To see if they? If that's what they did. That might have been what happened. Hold on. Uh, no. Okay, that's no. They just they missed. missed. He missed a 37-yard field goal, and they want to go for a fake. Boston College. What are you doing? Like, I don't even want to watch this game. What? <laughs> Please, somebody tell me how you do that. All you have to do is kick a, a field goal. Like, that's a clip right there. That's Bro, I don't... be a clip. The, a Boston College clip. is in the ACC, yes, right? Yes. yes. So I can further push my point that the ACC doesn't know how to play football. <laughs> this is the legacy game right here. Why did they fake it? I have no clue. These CPUs are so bad. I know, like... How, how are you not decent at football? What is this game? I have no clue, Rady. I have no clue. All right. Boston College quarterback stepping back to pass. And he, he's actually going to complete a pass. It takes like six of them to take down the wide receiver. That's... I, I'm at a loss for work. Should have took the field goal. Yeah, any, any regular person would. <laughs> What is going on? Wisconsin next. It all depends on our wheel spin. Yeah. All right, Boston Col College is like a toddler playing football. Well, the toddler just scored a touchdown, so now it puts the uh, the pressure on to Rutgers. Boston College does not deserve to be in this game at all. <laughs> At all. Take him out of college football 25. Yes. I, I'm down for it. Get rid of him. Okay. Like, the, he's wide open, but that's more on Rutgers yeah. than than good throw. I mean, at least the quarterback did deliver it. Right. Um, but we're going to go ahead and watch this next play. Um, just to see, because I think they I think they have to go for two in second overtime. I think so. I'm pretty sure. It should get interesting. I'm a Cowboys fan. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Cotton. Zoinks. Yikes. All right. See, but then this is why I don't like watching the extra points because they always give me these animations. I got to wait like 30 seconds in order to see anything. How do you get this game mode? You have to mod Madden on PC. See, and I can't even skip it. That's the that's bad part. He probably from Florida. Let's go Boston College. How can you root for Boston College, Hopti? You go from Marshall to Boston College, but they do have to go for the two-point conversion. So this is to put even more pressure on the Rutgers and they're going to pick it up. That's that's interesting to run it there. I don't know if, if I would have done the same. Oh, they've been passing the ball all day, so I kind of got it mixed up a little bit, I guess. Yeah. But, um, but let's go ahead and just continue in this game. We're going to see Rutgers have the opportunity to drive down and score. A Boston College does not deserve to win this game. We're in second overtime right now. Boston College could have won it with a field goal, but they decided to fake it. Interesting decision, but we'll see how it plays out. It's all about the mind games, I guess. 
But Rutgers is going to take this snap to start off. They start from the 25-yard line. TCU is still in. And that interesting pass, to say the least. From someone who plays franchise in Madden, if you press X or A during a long animation, it helps. Do it doesn't give me the skip option, Frozone. TCU is still in it. And listen, guys, if you're watching over on TikTok and you guys want a better viewing experience, pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. We're live. You guys see the whole screen. You can also see the map whenever we switch to it. Rutgers is going to try to find his wide receiver. It gets broken up. So now there's two opportunities. You got to get into the end zone and you got to complete the two the two point conversion. I have to accept Marshall won't come back. And so that's why you're deciding to root for Boston College, a team that could have won with a field goal and decided to fake it. They're ruining my content right now. I'm pro Boston College now. Yo, how's it going, Chase? Rutgers is... Their hopes are gone. That, that was a great throw if you were rooting for Boston College. That was terrible. But Boston College is going to somehow stay, stay alive. Don't know if we should accept it, but Tanti's happy. And Boston College takes on Rutgers land. That's, that's, a, that's one to end on. Gray's seen enough. Gray's leaving. No, Gray's leaving. He doesn't like Boston College. That's what Gray's a Boston College hater. And for good riddance. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. Uh, Skull, Clemson is still in it. They ended up taking down Georgia and Alabama yesterday. We do have to go and get rid of Rutgers from our map. If you're losing to Boston College, I don't know what you're doing. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and go to our wheel. We got to get rid of Rutgers. Are you guys talking trash in chat? Kool-Aid says name five Ravens players other than Lamar, Zay Flowers, and Mark Andrews. You got Justin Tucker, the GOAT. Isaiah Likely, Coastal Legend. All right, let's go ahead and see who's next because I forgot the names of some of the other. You got Gus Edwards. Who else you got? Um, I have to think about who else. I don't really know. No, no, you got OB OBJ. What was on the... No, where did OBJ go? OBJ went back to the... He's on the Ravens, right? Yeah, OBJ. There we go. All right, I got one more. I know he's not even talking to me, but we'll see. Who's, it? who's there? Uh... Who's another wide receiver? I don't know. I can name four. All right, but let's go ahead and see who is fighting next. We're going to go ahead and spin our wheel, and it's going to be Michigan State. MSU is going to be fighting. They could take on Eastern Michigan, uh, Central Michigan, Notre Dame, or even Wisconsin. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see who is MSU taking on, and it's going to be none other. That's Ohio State. That is Ohio State. If you guys look on our Photoshop map, that has to be Ohio State. We're going down. They just barely get them, but this should be an interesting matchup. MSU, Ohio State. Ohio State does have home field advantage. Oh, Rashad Bateman. I should have known that one. Is WVU still in it? No, Virginia Tech took them down. All right, let's go put Ohio State... At home field advantage. We've already seen Ohio State play. They had to play, uh, was it Ball State? I think, no, not Ball State. Who did they play yesterday? Bowling Green. Ohio State played Bowling Green, and they ended up taking them down. So we'll see if Michigan State can claim that land. But we'll have to wait and see. This should be an interesting game. I'm really hoping for it. Ohio State is in 93 overall. Michigan State's in 80. I want the upset here, though. We'll see if it ends up happening. I'm going to switch to YouTube. Yes, sir, Bladen. I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, come on. Give me an upset here. I do not like Ohio State. Uh, I just want to see MSU come out here. South Carolina is still in it, Rashad. The stop after OBJ, that's me. Bro, who knows any other Ravens players? Um, oh, and I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, I did know Ke Keaton Mitchell. Patrick Queen. I guess I didn't name anybody on defense. They're arguing about if Storm's a real Ravens fan, and I can confirm Storm has been rooting for the Ravens since I met him. Um, so I, I you can't really call him a bandwagon in school and watching. Let's go, Aiden. Let's go. Oregon is not still in it. Washington took over their land just a few minutes ago, silly. All right, let's go ahead and get it done. Ohio State versus MSU. Ohio State's at home. I don't like Ohio State's Ohio State's uh, field at all. 
But let's go ahead and jump forward to see what's going to happen. Hopefully, we don't have a crazy game like last time with Boston College. Ohio State is going to start off the scoring with a touchdown, but MSU is going to match it. Ohio State drives down for another touchdown, and now it's back and forth until Ohio State scores again. Michigan State results in a field goal, then a touchdown with a two-point conversion. It's 28-18, to and if Ohio State kicks a field goal here, it should be done, which is what they're going to do. Um... 31 to 18 we'll go ahead and sim this one fast because i think it might be over for msu it's just too much for them to handle ohio state is going to take down the spartans and claim all of their land so they're going to be bordering a lot of teams we'll go ahead and check out exactly what that does to our map we'll scroll up msu you're out of here um i guess i gotta gotta zoom out a bit just so that we can see all of msu's land they do border that central michigan um so that could happen they could uh end up taking over there claim ohio state land grab their color and now we're painting like it's kindergarten there we go all right so you guys can kind of see the disparity between ohio state and wisconsin but that means that MSU is out of here. Both of the Michigan teams, both of the big Michigan teams out because Michigan lost to Eastern Michigan of all teams. But we got to remove MSU from our wheel and then we'll spin this thing one more time. All right. Are y'all arguing about, uh, about football teams? Is that what my chat has turned into? If Jerry Jones dies, Cowboys will win a Super Bowl. That's an interesting comment. Very interesting comment. All right, let's go ahead and see who is fighting next in college football imperialism. We're down to 30 teams left, I believe, and it is going to be none other than FSU. Are they going to take on Clemson or are they taking on University of Miami? Let's go ahead and spin the arrow to see, and it is going to be Miami. This could be an interesting game. Miami has home field advantage, and we'll see if FSU can take care of business. All right, did FSU beat the Gators? They did. They did. All right. I'm kind of glad that Clemson's still alive. If I had to root for anybody, I'm probably rooting for Clemson in this one. Uh, Georgia got taken out, so I can't root for them anymore. Where's Miami? Miami is right there. They're an 80 overall. I think FSU should be an 88, if I remember correctly. Yeah, FSU, 88 overall, but they are attacking Miami at home. So this one should be interesting. I'm praying on FSU's downfall. I don't want a lawsuit. Um, and FSU likes to sue when they lose. So Miami, take care of business. Knock them out of imperialism. This is going to be a good one? I hope so. Solo, UNC is still in it. Time for us to take over Florida. I'm going for TCU. TCU is probably a good choice. Baylor, surprisingly, owns Texas, though. Bro ain't responding to anyone in this chat. I'm sorry, A Basic. It's so much harder to read over on TikTok, which is why I prioritize YouTube because at the end of the day, YouTube's the better viewing experience. I'm going to reward all the chat messages over there just because you guys can see the whole screen and I'm trying to get people over to YouTube. It's all a strategy, but if you want me to check your chat message, pop over to the YouTube channel. I promise it is better quality. We got people in there that can confirm that. So pop over, vibe out with everyone, and let's get into this game. <laughs> I already said TikTok viewers are dead to me. I didn't use that terminology, but uh, the, the YouTube's better. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and see how this game ends up. Florida State can't uh, take advantage, and Miami's going to be the first team to score with a field goal. FSU drives down, scores a touchdown. Let's go, Miami. They drive down and get a touchdown of themselves. It looks like it's going to be tied 10 to 10 at half. We're going to slow this thing down because FSU is driving. Let's go ahead and watch this. It's first and 10 from the 29 yard line. Show the whole game. I got you guys. We're going to be jumping in there. Yo, I just switched from TikTok. Go Knowles. Glee boy. Welcome. Emily. Welcome. All right. Let's see. Let's go Boston College. Just saw a dude in an FSU jersey at school. Ah, the Eagles fan. Appreciate you from popping over from the TikTok. Cody, who you rooting for? I got to go Miami here. I want FSU to lose, but FSU is driving right now. Jordan Travis takes the snap. I should have put in their backup quarterback, and he is going to take a sack as well. 35-yard line, second and 16. Miami defense, I need y'all now. Need y'all now more than ever. Let's go ahead and see what is going to happen. FSU has 164 passing yards, but the score is still tied. Miami's defense has got to clutch up. Do ECU football? ECU already lost to UNC. You got your wide receiver basically wide open on that left side. And they're going to pick up the first down and the touchdown right there. Jordan Travis. He wasn't in? 
All right, they, they're going to score here probably. So we're going to have to see Miami drive down and score. Florida State, Florida State, Florida State. Yo, uh, Charman, it's a mod. Yeah, so Charman, this is a mod in uh, for Madden 24 on PC that allows you to play 75 college teams, and we put them all into one map, and we're doing college football imperialism right now. All right, first and goal from the one-yard line. You have to expect FSU is going to score here and take the lead in the last few minutes of the third quarter. They're probably just going to run this ball. It looks like Miami is stacking that box, and they're actually going to stop FSU. If they can hold them to a field goal, that is best-case scenario for Miami. We'll have to see what happens. This game determines who controls all of the state of Florida. And we're just hoping that it's Miami. Ole Miss still in it. Ole Miss lost to Arkansas. They're going to take the snap, run, and there's like no blocking, but somehow he's still going to find his way into the end zone. The Seminoles end up scoring, and now the ball goes back to Miami. At the start of the fourth quarter, they have to make something happen. If they don't score a touchdown here, then FSU can put it away with a field goal. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I have all the new FSU jerseys. Bro, my sister goes to FSU, so I like kind of root against them because she started claiming that her school was a better football team than me. And I go to Coastal Carolina, and we all know that Coastal Carolina would whoop FSU if given the shot. Trust me, I know. And uh, so that's why I don't like them. And I don't like that they, they didn't get chosen because they didn't have a hard schedule and claim in national championships. Not my style, but let's go ahead and jump in here. Miami is driving third and six from the 26-yard line. We have to see if they're going to get it done. Four minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. So this, there's still a lot of game to be played. Who do the Terps lose to? I'm pretty sure the Terps lost to Rutgers, Storm. Miami, you got to pick up this third and six to stay alive. They're going to go with the run, and it looks like they're going to get stopped at the line. Fourth and two scenario. What do you do here? Do you go for it, or do you trust in your defense that you're going to get the ball back? We will have to wait and see. Finn, 0133. Appreciate the follow over on TikTok. Preach, Cody. I'm sorry. We didn't claim the natty. Some people did. Talking trash about how you deserve a natty, and then you go out and lose 63-3 to to, to Georgia. They're going to go for it on, set, on fourth down. They're going to end up picking it up. Paris Jr. pushes for the first down. They're at the 16-yard line. First and 10. Four minutes left in this game. Go drive down there. Score a touchdown. And then put your cards on the table and go for two. Knock FSU out of this thing. Boston College, easy win. Tompty, we'll see. I'm sorry, Dr. Robot. I'm, sir, I'm sorry, Kool-Aid man. I'm rooting for y'all's downfall. Look at the running back. Getting it done. Gets two yards on that second and eight. Arizona got knocked out by Baylor, Jay Kelly. How much of a, how many of our players opted out, bro? That does not matter in the slightest because it's the same team that y'all would have had if uh, if uh, y'all played in the playoffs. You still would have had a third string quarterback. That's my thing. We had two starters. Listen, I know, but then at the same time, if this is this is my opinion when it comes to that type of thing. If I don't make it in the playoffs, I'm not opting out. I'm going out there and I'm beating Georgia because if y'all went out there and beat Georgia, I would have had to take back everything bad I've ever said about FSU because like you beat one of the best teams. You can prove that you deserve the shot, but then when you have players opt out, then it's not even worth it. All right, Miami drops back on third and six, and he's going to deliver a dime to the back of the end zone. Green celebrating, but you didn't do anything, buddy. That probably should have been a completion in my book. They might challenge it. We would have had our second string sale. Nah, I thought he was still on concussion protocol. I don't know. Either way, I think Jordan Travis carried FSU. I will not lie about that. Um, and he was hurt. If they made the playoffs, everyone would be playing besides Jordan Travis. Miami, this is their game. They step back to pass, and it's going to get picked off. Basically sealing all hope for Miami as I'm preaching about how FSU doesn't deserve anything. I'll give credit to their defense. They came up clutch. They get the pick, but this game isn't quite over. Both teams still have all three of their timeouts. I'm rooting for no one. My turf's lost. They weren't... Uh, trying to get injured okay i can understand that but like you, there's two mindsets you understand like i don't know i root for boston college all the way now bye bye miami y'all stay alive to fight another day but i'm telling y'all y'all lose to clemson clemson smacks fsu and watch them now go on to uh win the whole thing 
But let's go ahead and jump forward to see how our sim is going to turn out. And Miami still has hope. Miami still has hope. They have to drive down and score a touchdown. A minute and 45 seconds on the clock. 44 yards to go. It's fourth and 10. They still have all three of their timeouts. Let's go ahead and see. Kalen Del Delro or Deloach. Is that how you pronounce it, Kool-Aid man? Let's see. I tried getting the mod to do this on my PC, but I can't figure out even after watching the video. Really, Anthony? What section is confusing you? Where's Michigan? Michigan lost to Eastern Michigan. All right, here we go. Miami has another opportunity. They're going to go deep. Wide open player, and it's caught out of bounds. 57 seconds left, 21 yards to go. Can Miami have a Miami miracle? Let's go ahead and see. South Carolina hasn't played yet, Mega. This is intense. Well, yeah, FSU, even with Jordan Travis, not even worth 14 points of Georgia. I, I really don't think that it matters. Even if Jordan Travis was playing against Georgia, I think Georgia still smacks y'all. All right, let's go ahead and see. Miami delivers another first down. You got to get FSU jersey if we win this Imperialist. I will, I will promise you guys. If I ever do a challenge where FSU actually wins, that like I'm not controlling them, if it's like an Imperialist or, or something, you guys can tell me what FSU jersey I have to buy and I will do it. I'm giving you guys that right now. And I will wear it. All right, Miami steps back. He's got time in the pocket and a wide open wide receiver for the touchdown. Colby Young coming in clutch at the end of the fourth quarter. Now, do you go for two? Do you end this game or do you want this game to go to overtime? That's the big decision that Miami has right now. Do you want to knock off an eight point or an eight overall advantage team? You have the opportunity to do so, but I think that probably they're going to kick it. What about Iowa State? Iowa State lost to Iowa, and Iowa controls a large majority of this land now. How's Wisconsin doing? Pretty decent. They beat Illinois, and they also beat um, Northwestern. They're going to opt to just tie this thing up and try to go to overtime, which I guess is pretty smart because it's basically uh, putting the game on the line if you decide to go for two, but I kind of trust it in Miami. We'll go ahead and see what FSU can do if they try to be aggressive. They still have all three timeouts, 44 seconds on the clock. You doing Syracuse? Liam Syracuse wasn't in there, so sadly, no. Um, but in the future of uh, college football imperialism, as soon as the actual game comes out, we're going to do a whole imperialism with 134 teams. And I can also promise you guys that right when the game drops, I'm going to be doing crazy challenges from the very start. We're going to live stream the whole thing. So be sure to subscribe over on YouTube if you guys want to stay up to date. I'm going to be your one-stop content shop for all of college football, EA Sports College Football. So be here and join the journey now. That's all I got to say. Y'all know I'm going crazy. Yeah, Dr. Robot. Y'all still do have three timeouts. Are you rooting for South Carolina win because you're a fan of... I'm a fan of Coastal Mega. Um, I hate ECU. They're our rivals. Um, or like somewhat of our rivals. Them and App State. But I'm probably rooting for Clemson now. I was about to go to Clemson for uh, for uh, soccer. Um, it was either so uh, Clemson or UNC whenever I was big into soccer where I wanted to go. Nebraska is not in it anymore. Nebraska lost to Iowa. Let's go, Knowles. No shot. 52 yarder for the W. Bro, if you're right, user, that's going to be crazy. Can you upload a video of how to get this game? I already have it, Grant. It's up on my YouTube channel right now. YouTube's Modix HD. Also, top link in the YouTube in the TikTok bio. Cody, will you at least give us the playoffs next season for 12 team? Uh, y'all are leaving the ACC, no? I thought y'all were leaving the ACC. And if that's the case, you guys won't be in. I can almost guarantee that. Unless y'all, I don't know where else y'all are going to go. Jordan Travis has an opportunity to make something happen. They're going to go short, though. You'd expect them to call a timeout. It's second and five, 25 yards to go. Let's go Boston College. I almost bruised my ribs in flag football. Bro, Storm, you're always getting injured. Thank me later. All right, let's see. Let Jordan Travis cook. No shot. They're driving now. 49 yard line. User 47265745 says 52 yard field goal for the win. If that actually happens, that's insane. That's insane. We'll go ahead and see Bryce and Timothy. Appreciate the follows. Jordan Travis is going to unleash it. And they are now in field goal range. This, I think Miami left way too much time on the clock. 34 yard line. They can basically tick down this clock now. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe Big 12. We, we will always win. We'll see. My bad. I couldn't think of Coastal Carolina. It's all good, Mega. Dang, FSU and Jordan Travis. It looks like they're going to get it done. 
Miami just left way too much time on the clock, but you never know. It's a Madden Sim. It's a Madden Sim, and that's all I got to say. Miami Hurricanes, what happened? Uh... All right, I would assume that we're going to see a last-second field goal. It's still a kind of far field goal, so FSU could choke. That's all I'm going to say. 13, 12, 11, because there's bad time management. I'm not touching the controller, so if, if they end up messing this one up, I, okay, they didn't. They didn't. Dang. Let Jordan Travis cook. Why is half of my chat over on YouTube FSU fans? Listen, if you're on TikTok and you're supporting me and you guys want to watch a way better stream, pop over to the YouTube and outnumber the FSU fans. I don't want to hear this. You never know what happened last game. Okay, that is true. This could be a fake. Could be a fake. Ryan Fitzgerald won't miss. The, the, yes, yes, I him two times. Let's go. Bro, I do not want Florida State fans in here. I'm sorry, Florida State fans. All right, my control, my hands up here. We're just going to get a bunch of controller or a bunch of timeouts. I'm an FSU fan. No, okay. FSU fans, go over to TikTok. Leave. All right, here's my hands. I'm not rigging anything. I promise. Fitzgerald's going to take the kick. And that thing. Dang it. Okay. Well, Florida State beat beat Miami. All right. They're going to pull a Boston College. I wish that they did. FSU is going to get it done. Actually, there's two seconds. I'm praying for a Miami miracle. They're going to fake it. Just watch. I wish. Bro, how many of y'all are FSU fans? Type one in chat if you're an FSU fan. Bring these FSU fans over. Told you. All right. Who, who's an FSU fan in here? It's Kool-Aid, Glee Boy, Dr. Robot. Yeah, leave. Yes, Sage, you tell him. Miami deserved that. Yes, sir. If FSU loses, half of the chat's going to leave. Nah, they'll stay in here. Everybody's typing one in TikTok. That's such a shame. Yeah, type a two if you're not. Miami miracle. It didn't happen. All right. FSU takes down Miami. Whatever. Y'all will lose later. And if not, if, my, if FSU ends up winning this whole thing, then I get a rep, uh, what, scarlet and gold? Scarlet and gold or something and i'll facetime my sister who goes to fsu and i'll like tell her that fsu is cool or something but miami goodbye that's such a sad day when miami loses its land we could have seen fsu get taken down and like as i'm talking about how fsu doesn't deserve anything came from tiktok what's up liam j up welcome from tiktok bro why are you guys spamming ones no shot half of my chat is is like you guys can't all be fsu fans just came from tiktok to say go Knowles. no no don't come over maroon and gold not nah, my sister always is like no we're scarlet because i went like maroon maroon's more of a bama color or something like that um yeah okay so miami gets removed from our wheel and we're going to keep on going because if you guys are just now joining us, we are doing college football imperialism with all 75 college teams in Madden 24. We basically spin this wheel to see who is fighting next. So, for example, our next game is going to be Washington. So Washington's in that top left hand corner. We'll go ahead and switch to our Photoshop view so you guys can see exactly how our map is looking. And Washington essentially has Cal Berkeley or USC. You are praying for Cal Berkeley if you are a Washington fan, but it all determines by this arrow. What, what direction are they going to be fighting? And I would say that's right in the middle. Who do you guys want to see? I'm going to go. No. Do we respin? Somebody type. Okay. Type respin in chat or type who you want them to play. Because honestly, I don't know who that lands on. That is basically right on that border. If anything, I'd probably say that's more Cal Berkeley. I don't know. Where's Marshall at? They're out of here, Tom. Do you know that? Oh, happy birthday to your pet lizard, Perp. Miami deserves to win more. I agree. Tomty cheating on Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> Turns into a Boston College fan. App State got knocked out, J5. Respin. I'd say that we respin that. That's basically on the edge. So let's go ahead and spin it one more time. Who is Washington playing? And that is definitely Cal Berkeley. That's a good spin for all you Washington fans. Let's jump over into the game and set this up. Cal Berkeley does have home field advantage, so we could possibly see an upset, but I think Washington's going to take this. And then we're going to have a crazy matchup between Washington and USC more than likely. And so that should be very interesting. Cal Berkeley is our home team. The California Golden Bears Washington all the way at the bottom. Respin, that's what we ended up doing. Came from TikTok to say FSU. Ethan, welcome. 
I guess that was kind of like reverse psychology or it worked in that way because now more of my chat is FSU fans. Like that's crazy. All right. So Washington 87 overall, Cal Berkeley 68. This shouldn't be a game. This should be a blowout, but you never know. We're going to jump into the game. If it's a close one, who is going to take over the whole West coast? That's, that's what this is determined by. I guess they got to fight, uh, fight usc for more of like the cali range right cali's in south south carol south california right what did boston college do bro boston college was in overtime they get a defensive hold and then instead of kicking the field goal they go for a fake field goal for some reason then they miss it why is this just madden because it's literally reskin madden the whole college football game doesn't come out until july so we got to make the most of our time here we're going to be providing college football content through Madden 24 until the actual game releases, and then we'll do a ton of content with the new game. No FSUK? What? What? Watch South Carolina just sit and watch the whole game and somehow win it? Bro, watch FSU do that now that I got to buy a jersey. My chat loves punishing me, and, like, I already did a stream where I had to score with every single uh, college football team in Madden. I lost 200 bucks because every single time I didn't do it in the... didn't Every time I didn't score on the first drive and completed a challenge, I had to give away uh, a gift card to somebody in chat. It was bad. All right. Jump forward. End of the game. Let's see what happens in this game. Washington is going to be the first team to score. Seven points on the board. 14. Cal Berkeley can't do anything. 17 to nothing. 24 to nothing. 31 to nothing poor cal berkeley they gotta somehow sit and watch this game as it's a blowout they do score a touchdown though 38 to 7 yeah th this game was long gone 38 to 7 is our final score washington takes over cal berkeley cal berkeley's land they basically control that whole west coast now and now we have a very interesting scenario where we might potentially have a Washington USC matchup, but let's go ahead and get rid of Cal Berkeley. You are no longer in college football imperialism. I hate to break it to y'all. Let's go ahead and hide that. Grab Washington's color, and we are painting over this land. Look at our map now. Here's a shot of our map. That West Coast, that whole West side is basically controlled by Washington, USC, Baylor, and Iowa. And if you guys want to see the map and you're on TikTok, you got to pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. We're live over there. Let's remove Cal Berkeley from our wheel spin. Cody, add my membership to the Marshall Fund. <laughs> All right. Cal Berkeley is out of here. Let's spin to see who our next team is going to be. It is going to be FSU. FSU basically can only fight Clemson, as you guys can see in our Photoshop map. The only direction that they are able to go is north. Clemson, FSU, Clemson gets it done. I'm telling y'all, FSU fans, get ready. Mark my words. Clemson takes y'all down. I don't got to buy an FSU jersey. I ain't even worried. I ain't even worried. Clemson's going to take care of business. My boy Barrett Carter, the linebacker over on Clemson, is going to take care of business. Jordan Travis ain't going to be able to do anything. Just wait. Wait and watch. Y'all can't do anything about it either. 88 overall, both sides. This goes to the home team, and that's going to be Clemson. Womp womp. Go Knowles, bro. FSU. All right, FSU fans. We'll see. Y'all will see. <laughs> That 5-3 spam in FSU. Clemson, let's go. Yes, sir, Aiden. Clemson is already taken down Georgia and Alabama. And if they can do that, they can take care of FSU too. It's not that hard. It's not that big of a task. The Tigers are going to take this one. Roll Tide. Hey, Alabama already lost to Clemson. So I guess that means like if your team gets beat by somebody, I would assume you're rooting for that team to then go on and win it. But Clemson is going to start with the ball. They can't do anything with it, but they are. Oh, they didn't actually score. They are going to be our first team to score with seven. FSU is going to match that at the end of the half. Clemson is winning 17 to 10. FSU is going to tie it up right here. Let's go ahead and slow this thing down to wait and see what's going to happen. Clemson is driving. Are they going to do anything with this drive? We'll jump in and see. FSU is a different breed, not for Clemson. Clemson has already taken down Georgia and Alabama, like I said, and they are driving, knocking on FSU's door. 18 yards to go, and they might get themselves a touchdown to put themselves up at the end of the third quarter. You're worried? I am kind of worried, Corey. I don't want to buy an FSU jersey. I'm not going to lie. So Clemson has got to get it done. Let's go ahead and see Cade Klubnik going to take the snap under center. 
eventually and they're going to decide to run with will shipley will shipley takes off down to the two yard line i know y'all fsu fans are starting to worry now how's my clemson doing they're tied 17 right now raiders they've already taken down georgia alabama they control most of the southern southern uh, portion of this map uh, at least southeastern where all the SEC, sec teams lie you have to expect you're giving it to oh i would have probably said will shipley but they're gonna get down to the one yard line here whoever wins gets my loyalty you're you're switching away from boston college tomty i don't know l lads did y'all get an ad that's annoying i'm an lsu fan go Knowles. i'm sorry i need clemson to win here one yard line second and goal they are going to decide to throw it to a wide open wide receiver great defense fsu clemson is up oh that's big now clemson's defense just got to come in clutch and i think that's arguably one of their strongest uh spots i got my boy playing at linebacker he's gonna take care of business fsu doesn't win this one yeah he need wide receiver but definitely o-line first fsu fans are trembling in their seats right now they are they are all right let's go ahead and see we're gonna jump forward end of the game what's gonna happen can clemson defense come up clutch they're gonna fsu is somewhat driving up to a fourth and 17 they're gonna punt so now clemson has the opportunity to drive down and potentially put this game to rest by making it a two possession game they're up by seven right now they get a first down and they are now driving once again this game could be over sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and jump in because I want all of you FSU fans in my chat to see Clemson put y'all away. They're going to score two, another touchdown, making this thing a two possession game. LSU is not still in it. FSU took them down. Bama fan here. Go Tigers. Yes, sir. Roll Tide. That's what we like to see. Root for Clemson to win this whole thing. I don't know who we lost to. Um, who? What team? I respect it. I wouldn't want to buy a Jordan Travis jersey. Look at Clemson unheaving it to the end zone clemson takes a two possession lead antonio williams comes up big and that could shut out fsu refs are rigging it how, how are you going to talk about rigging it better sue them too right we didn't get in we didn't we didn't win imperialism sue them that's the perfect answer right that is clemson that is clemson getting it done Rest are not rigging it, I promise. And I'm not rigging it either. So don't don't be coming at those allegations. All right, let's go. Do you have a bracket or something? So if you come over to the YouTube, Michael, I have a whole map. This is college football imperialism. Um, and it basically, we spin a wheel, see who's fighting. We spin another uh, arrow to see what direction they're fighting in. And then the winner keeps the land. Clemson, the fake Tigers. Their defense is looking very big. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'll let you guys watch FSU offense. FSU fans right now, they're not happy. Go Clemson as a Wisconsin fan. I'm an Ohio State fan, and we played once in this. No, y'all played twice. Ohio State took down uh, MSU. MSU, Ohio State, and then Bowling Green. But that was yesterday. But let's go ahead and see what FSU has to offer. There's 44 seconds left. They have one timeout. Jordan Travis needs a miracle here. And uh, he's going to go ahead and throw a pick. That's classic Jordan Travis. He's only good on the run. And that is how Clemson takes down FSU. I told y'all, but GG's FSU fans. Better luck in the next imperialism. Hopefully y'all will now start rooting for Clemson. I would say y'all should root for Clemson because they did beat your team. Um, and look at that. Clemson's taking a knee. It's, it's courtesy. They're not trying to put on more points. But that is going to be the end of FSU's run. I do not have to des I do not have to serve a punishment on this challenge now. FSU, this this is probably the happiest I'm ever going to be in this imperialism since Coastal Carolina isn't in it. FSU, you're out of here. Good night, FSU. Clemson owns the South. All right, we got to paint the South purple. All of Florida is owned by Clemson. Disregard the Central Florida. Uh, colors Clemson owns the South. They weren't able to do this IRL. I feel like that was that probably the best opportunity, but Clemson was wishwashy this year. FSU fans, don't worry. I know how y'all feel. Cody rigged it against my Marshall. I'm rooting for Boston College now. Exactly. Start rooting for Boston College. That's who you guys got to root for. If your team gets knocked out, root for Boston College. FSU, adios. Adios, FSU. Let's see who's fighting next. 
It's going to be determined by our wheel spin, and it is going to be Eastern Michigan. They already took down the big dogs, Michigan, the national champions, but what direction are they going to be fighting in? That's determined by our arrow, and it looks like they're going to be fighting just barely southwest. Um, I got to see how, how this works out, but let's go over to Photoshop. Oh, I'm, I'm scuffing everything. Let's go over to Photoshop. Eastern Michigan. Oh, that's, that's not good. Eastern Michigan, Ohio State. Ohio State is going to have our home field advantage, but Eastern Michigan has done this before. They took down Michigan. I think that they can take down Ohio State. We'll have to wait and see, but Ohio State, you guys get to have home field advantage in Eastern Michigan. Let's see if you guys can do the impossible and stay alive. If not, um, Ohio State takes home a large majority of the land. Get a Jason Kelsey ad. Oh, you got a Jason Kelsey ad? Is Notre Dame in? Notre Dame is still in. They are also bordering Ohio State. Let's go OSU. We'll see. We'll see what Ohio State can do. I'm honestly rooting for Eastern Michigan. They're basically our Cinderella story at this point. I think it would be funny. Our other Cinderella story is, of course, Boston College. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Juan's an FSU fan again as well. Juan, are you an FSU fan or a Clemson? Oh, no. Juan's the Clemson, the Wisconsin fan that's rooting for Clemson. LSU is not still in it. LSU lost to Clemson. Colorado lost to Baylor. Um, so none of those teams are in it. Penn, Penn State lost to Boston College. Um, that one was a shocking one. Let's go ESU. That would that would be a crazy game if Eastern Michigan can somehow come up on top. Ohio State is going to start off our scoring by going up two possessions, and they're they're going to go up a third, and uh, they're going to go up twenty-four to nothing at the end of the first quarter. It's going to be twenty-four to three. There's still a shot, but but no, not really. It's it's thirty-one to three. I think Eastern Michigan's run in college football is over. Ohio State takes over all of Michigan, and they are now, or I guess not all of Michigan. They still have Central Michigan up there, but Eastern Michigan loses, and so they are out of our college football imperialism. Ohio State just churning out land at this point, claiming a lot of it. Let's go to Ohio State, claim the land, brush tool, and paint it red. Paint the land red so you basically have, ooh, you basically have Central Michigan the last Michigan college left, and they could easily take over all of Ohio State's land. You also got Wisconsin up there, but it all gets determined who fights next with our imperialism spinner or wheel spinner. So let's go ahead and switch over there. Remove Eastern Michigan from our, from our wheel. And now let's go ahead and spin to see who is fighting next. It's going to be none other than Virginia Tech, who has seen the field a lot during this imperialism. We could see another Boston College game, chat. We could see another Boston College game. Who's it going to be? Oh, Boston College gets lucky. That is pointing towards JMU because that is who Virginia Tech is, is basically surrounding over here. As you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and remove the JMU logo. They barely get any land if they are able to take down JMU, but JMU could have an upset. We will have to wait and see. Let's load into the game. Go Gamecocks. They have not played yet, surprisingly. Iowa on top, we winning this? Exotic, is that your main team or did your main team already get beaten? All right, JMU, you are the home team. You don't have a very good overall though. You're a 76 overall, but I think Virginia Tech's a 74 if I have to remember right. We'll have to go ahead and check. But Virginia Tech does not have home field advantage. They're 75. So this one should be pretty interesting. I think Virginia Tech's coming out on top. But if JMU can take them over, it is going to be, in my opinion, an upset. The, the land disparity size, that's not JMU's location. Listen, JMU moved to the beach. All right. They were jealous of Coastal Carolina being near Myrtle Beach. So JMU went to Virginia Beach. It's just how the map's made. Don't judge me. If JMU wins, going to be insane. They take a lot of land, but they do have the overall advantage plus home field advantage, so we'll have to wait and see. The game is not already out, Edgar. This is a modded Madden 24. Uh, it's just a mod that gives me 75 college teams and we're running college football imperialism with it. If you guys want to see the full map, the wheel spins and everything, and you're on TikTok, I actually read the chat messages over on, over on YouTube, so be sure to pop over to the live stream. Now let's see if JMU can take care of business. Virginia Tech is going to start off the scoring with a touchdown. And JMU is going to give up one more. They finally answer. It's 14-7. to 7. I appreciate the sub. 
Um, 21 to 7. JMU finally gets a field goal, but Virginia Tech is pulling away. They have an 18 point lead, and going into the fourth quarter, it looks like Virginia Tech is going to dominate this one. JMU falls. Virginia Tech goes away, goes to JMU's house with a lower overall, and they still take care of business. Like we expected, JMU, you're out of here. Virginia Beach is now getting taken over by Virginia Tech. For all you Virginia Virginia fans telling me that's not where they are, it doesn't matter. They still lose. Doing imperialism on revamp, that has 134 teams. So we can definitely do that if you guys want. Um, I was kind of just thinking about weeding until the actual game comes out to run it on like a, a gen like that. Uh, but it's up to y'all. So we have to go and remove JMU from our wheel spin. Let's go ahead and delete them and let's spin. I Actually, I want to see how many teams. Are we in top 20 yet? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right. Two more matches and we have our top 20. But let's see what team is at risk of not making it. It's going to be Baylor. Baylor owns a lot of land in Texas, and they border a lot of good teams. So let's see what direction they're going to be fighting, and they're going to be fighting north. And if we load into our Photoshop, that is going to be none other than Iowa. I would say that that's Iowa. I'll hop back over to the wheel phone so that you guys can see that's Iowa. It's Baylor iowa fighting for the majority of the land in the map in the college football imperialism map who let's go yo jacob how's it going marshall needs another chance listen look we are going to have marshall play the winner of imperialism that's that's what's going to happen iowa is up right now though iowa is going to be our home team and baylor is going to be attacking them obviously i think iowa takes care of business now baylor is not that highly rated they're an 81 overall. Iowa's 86. What is going to happen? Type your projections in chat right now. Go ahead and spam chat with who you guys think is going to take the cake on this one. Personally, I got Iowa. I don't think Baylor's going to do much. So Baylor is probably going to lose all of Texas's land. Play ULM. We are just playing teams in Madden 24. Um, and it's through college football imperialism. Yo, Devil Dog, how's it going? Let's go, Iowa. Iowa. I think Iowa's going to get it done. But, but, hey, who knows? We just saw we just saw an upset with JMU losing. Baylor could upset Iowa. You never know. Corey says, Iowa, 86 overall, we win. Hey, you never know. You never know, but let's see what ends up happening. Baylor going to take a three-point lead to start out this game. They are holding Iowa's offense, but Iowa, no, not going to be able to take advantage of it. Baylor goes up two possessions. It's 10 to 3 now, 10 to 10 at the start of the second half. This is a close one. Iowa driving from their own one yard line can't get it done they are going to settle for a field goal but Baylor scores a touchdown and now there is a minute and four seconds left we're gonna go ahead and jump in here Iowa needs to essentially score a touchdown they have all three timeouts from their own 36 yard line they're down four what's gonna happen we might have an upset Marshall gonna win yeah for sure Cooper Dejan locking that up I don't know. I have to go Baylor being a Penn Stater. Iowa's going to take their first three timeouts with 42 minutes, 42 seconds left on the clock. Can Baylor defense clutch up and hold Iowa out of their own end zone? They got like, what, 20, 70, 70 yards to go? Maybe a bit less than that. Going to deliver a pass, but it's going to get batted down. Second and 10, 38, 38 seconds to go. Baylor fire exotic I'm stressing you came in here just a few minutes ago and said Iowa was winning the whole thing and Iowa might go down they might get upset I don't know what's gonna happen but we have to wait and see I know Seth Anderson on Iowa so I'm kind of I'm kind of rooting for Iowa they get past midfield that is going to bring their second time out can they get it done can they get it done, chat? 50 yards to go, 32 seconds left in this game. Gonna drop back to pass, and he's delivering a bomb deep, and it's gonna get caught. 15 seconds, and Iowa is making this thing interesting. Who is Iowa? What do you mean, who is Iowa? Iowa owns a majority of our map right now. Here we go. Come on, Baylor. Baylor is fumbling. Auburn already lost. Auburn lost to uh, Mississippi State, I believe. Um, this isn't real, Iowa. I was kind of going crazy right now. Wesley Champion 4. Appreciate the follow over on TikTok. 
All right, 27 seconds left, 15 yards to go. They only have one timeout yet. So a sack could be terrible. And they get down to the six yard line. Is that Seth? I'm pretty sure that's Seth. Yeah, that's my boy Seth Anderson getting them down to the one yard line. They just got to punch this thing in. They got to be careful about that clock though. They result, they decide not to use their last time out. They go no huddle, 21 seconds left. What is Iowa gonna do? They're gonna result to throwing the ball into double coverage and he's actually out of bounds. So that's gonna be an incomplete pass. All you got to do is run it in. All you got to do is run it in. FSU just lost Colt. Huge Iowa equals mid. I don't know. That's a booth review. We're actually going to the booth here. Was he actually in? I'm looking at this dude's back. I don't know. Was he in? We're going to get a closer look here, and you can't see anything. I, I'm just seeing 95's body. All right. I still can't see anything. It looks like he's in. We will. Here's the official result, and they actually count that. Dang. Iowa scores at the end. The, after a booth review, they call it back. Get the lead. But now Baylor has 16 seconds and two timeouts to possibly try to tie it up with a field goal. This kind of crazy? Bro, there have been some crazy results. Who's the QB? It's McNamara. N Matt Mc McNamara. Nah, whatever his name is. They trying to pull a Seahawks. That's in. That was in. It counts. Game over. Y'all really don't expect Baylor to do anything? Just watch. Just watch. Baylor comeback right now. SMU? I don't think SMU's in here. As soon as I join, something crazy happens. That is a crazy result. And listen, if you guys want to see a way better viewing experience and you guys are on TikTok right now, you guys can see the map whenever we switch to it. Our wheel spin, uh, what direction the teams are fighting all over on YouTube. It's a way better viewing experience. I can actually read chat. Come over to YouTube to experience the Baylor miracle. We're going to jump to the next play. Can Baylor get it done? 12 seconds left. Two timeouts. Let's go, Iowa. Exotic, you might be right. But Baylor is still alive. Calling a timeout. Eight seconds left. 41-yard line. They're going to have to go with a Hail Mary here or something short. Did you just get a bit closer to the end zone? I don't know what Baylor's strategy is here, but Baylor could still pull off this upset. We'll have to wait and see. Tennessee is out. They lost to Arkansas, Sean. Maybe Baylor will pull a 13-second Patty Mahoney. Well, they don't have Travis Hunt, uh, Travis, uh, Travis Kelsey to carry him. See, Cody always playing favorites. I'm not, bro. Bring Minnesota back. We didn't see them yesterday. You forget to switch scenes. Uh, th they lost, Sage. I'm sorry. All right. Can Iowa hold on? This is uh, this is modded Madden, Mikey. All right, Baylor. You got eight seconds. What can you do with it? He drops back to pass. It looks like they're going to try to go shorter. And they actually get the completion down to the 49-yard lines. And it's all going to come down to a Hail Mary. They're not in field goal range. Unless they got a crazy kicker that I don't know about. It's second and inches. Three seconds to go. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be some screen or something with Madden. Promise I'm not rigging it. That's just my guess. But we'll see if they can get it done on the Hail Mary. No clamp up. I don't know. He switched it like in the second quarter yesterday, Jack. All right. Let's see. Come on. Give me some content. Give me some content, Baylor. Get it done against Iowa. How crazy would that be? Most points Iowa scored in a long time. We'll see if it's enough. Is 20 points enough or is Baylor going to come away with the Hail Mary? Quarterback setting up. They all go deep and it all comes down to this. Back of the end zone. No shot, that's P.I. No shot, that's P.I. A penalty at the end. It's going to be P.I. They're on the one yard line. Are they on the one yard line? Oh my, one yard line. Baylor gets an opportunity. Oh, that's so anticlimactic. Of course, they're just going to kick the field goal. It, it's going into overtime. That, that's so stupid. Why would you not go for it there? But I guess it is smart at the end of the day. Now we have OT. No, bro, exotic. Iowa is selling. That's insane. Baylor. Baylor, 13 second miracle. It, honestly, if I'm in that situation, though, I'm QB sneaking it. I'm QB sneaking it at the one. We're doing a tush push. Y'all already know. That flag is crazy. Insane. 
Why did they not go for it? I have no clue, but I was going to start off with the ball in overtime. If you guys are just now joining in, we're also live over on YouTube. Be sure to pop in. Let's watch this game together over there. You guys can see the whole screen, and I can actually respond to your guys' chat messages. Let's see if Iowa or Baylor is going to control the majority of the land. Bama did play, and they lost to Clemson. Iowa going to take a sack on first down. Second and 10 now. Ooh, overtime thriller. Yes, sir. This is the interesting part. Were the FSU fans? Bro, they dipped right after FSU lost. <laughs> yes, Texas boys. I don't know. That's that's a crazy ending. What is this? This is Madden 24, except it's modded to have 75 college football teams. McNamara going to drop back to pass. He's going to try to unload it deep. And that is going to be incomplete. It's third and 17. You do not want to have to result in the field goal because that puts all of this game in Baylor's hands and it already was in and Baylor clutched up so we'll have to wait and see Ohio State next it all depends on who the wheel decides what in the Patrick Mahomes 13 second comeback the rest did kind of rig it for him too so it does fit Patrick Mahomes very well all right McNamara drops back to pass on third and 17 they're gonna find a wide open player and the tackle is actually gonna push him for a first down Iowa stays alive off of that crazy animation Michigan State lost to uh, Ohio State, Dalton. Baylor for upset? Y'all got Baylor for the upset? I need to go ahead and somehow see how um, I can see the people subbing. Because I don't have an event list. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Wait, am I lagging? No, no, we're good. We're good. All right. Iowa running the football picks up another first down. Basically, we selling so hard. Y'all kind of are. W tackle. Play me in Madden. I'm playing viewers later, Arthur. War Eagle from Hoover. Bro, I hate to break it to you. Uh, Auburn lost already. Oregon is not still in it. Washington took him over. Is this the new overtime rules? Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, Iowa's going to go ahead and run it, and they are going to pick up the first touchdown in overtime. But now the ball goes back into Baylor's hands. Can they get lucky once again? They had 13 seconds to make something happen. NC State is in it, but NC State lost to uh, UNC. I believe. Yeah, UNC right now claimed uh, NC State's land. All right. Let's see what happens. Bit of a loading time. You might not remember me, but I used to watch you all the time. Even when I was extremely sick. Batman. I think I remember. Oh, that's game? What? What? How is that game? What? Did Baylor? Baylor didn't start in overtime. Baylor didn't even get a shot. Right? Can somebody confirm that? I... I I guess yeah, Jabari, I appreciate the gifts. All right. Hey, Madden, Madden determines it. I guess Iowa wins it. Iowa wants to win it. Iowa now controls so much of this map. Baylor, goodbye. I'm sorry, Baylor fans. I think you guys got cheesed. But Iowa is going to take over your land. That's going to take a really long time to paint, too. Let's go ahead and increase our brush size. That should help. Iowa dominating the map jabari appreciate more of the gifts they didn't this is regular nfl overtime no it's not it shouldn't be who knows but iowa gets it done that's crazy iowa now controls everything in the middle let's go ahead and see who is next actually i gotta keep you guys on photoshop y'all can't see my phone whenever it's unlocked all right, Baylor goes down, loses the majority of the land. Let's see who's fighting next. Iowa stays alive after that. And now it's Arkansas, who has played crazy good throughout the South. We have to see what direction they're fighting in. Are they going to take on Clemson? Yes, they are. They're going South to face the Clemson Tigers. Clemson has a home field advantage, but this is no doubt going to be a solid game. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Buckeyes for the win. They somehow got it done. Boston College, let's go. Boston College is just chilling there in the top of our map. We're going with Clemson, though, here. Clemson has home field advantage at an 88 overall. Arkansas, though, they're pretty high rated, I think. I, I don't know my alphabet. Sorry, guys. They're right over here. Arkansas, 83 overall. Clemson, 88. 
I'm personally rooting for Clemson to win this imperialism, so I hope that they can get it done. Michigan did lose. Penn State already lost, too. Let's go, chat. Boston College might get lucky and survive till the very end of the game. I think we're in top 20 now, too. Let me check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. This is top 20. So if your team made it this far, they're officially in the top 20. Congratulations. You keep on going. But we got Arkansas facing Clemson. Clemson has home field advantage plus that overall advantage. Let's see if they can hold on to the big majority of land they have down in the south. Or will the SEC take over the ACC? Let's send to the end of the game and see. Arkansas is starting out the scoring with a field goal. Clemson tops that with a touchdown. Arkansas takes the lead it's now 13 to 7 at the end of the first half Clemson's gonna punch in a field goal 10 to 13 Clemson driving down once again they gotta make something happen and we're gonna go ahead and jump in here after they punt oh yeah Arkansas has the ball now they can basically end this thing with a touchdown it's third and six they're at the 35 yard line who is gonna control the southern portion of the map Marshall 500 to nothing mercy rule. Yes, sir. Time for top 10 Bucky in English and watching. Let's go, Aiden. Arkansas 35 to 28. I think you're a bit off, John. Uh, go Tigers. I'm for Clemson for college. I got um, I got all my class watching it. Let's go, Zach. All right, Arkansas. You have the opportunity to put this game away. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. He's going to scramble and Clemson takes him out of field goal range. They take their first time out as well. I think Arkansas should be punting this ball away. And we will jump in to watch and see if Clemson can get it done. Let's see. Savage Batman, how's it going? Let's go ahead and jump forward. Normal speed. They are going to punch. Punt. So now Clemson has 28 yard they're starting on their 28 yard line a minute and 44 seconds they got two timeouts and this clock is ticking down come on arkansas i don't know if arkansas is gonna get it done all those fsu fans praying on clemson's downfall clemson you just gotta drive down and score a field goal and you are done with this game you live to fight another game yes this is a mod kaden it is fsu lost to clemson and listen, if you guys are enjoying the content over on TikTok and you guys want a better viewing experience, be sure to pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. Clemson taking the snap. They're going to end up getting the first down. 50-yard line. They got to at least get into the field goal range. We're looking at the 43-yard line for the kicker to take over. Let's go ahead and watch the rest of this. 48 seconds left. They do waste their second timeout. You have to drive, Clemson. They're going to unleash one deep. It's a far pass and completely out of bounds. Klubnik, you can't do that. 42 seconds, second and 10. Hey, what's good, Chipotle? Did Michigan lose? Yeah, Michigan lost to Eastern Michigan. And then uh, MSU lost to Ohio State, and then Ohio State took over Eastern Michigan's land as well. So Ohio State owns Michigan right now. Central Michigan, the only Michigan team left. Am I the only FSU fan that stayed? Maybe. Kate Klubnik going to go ahead and pass. He gets close. Oh, no, he does get to the first down mark. They get close to in field goal range, and we might have another overtime scenario. Do they try to just go and end it now with a touchdown, though? 13 to 10, 44 more yards to go in 38 seconds. Georgia lost to Clemson. So right now, I'm hoping that Clemson ends up getting this dub. But we have to wait and see. I saw the FSU jersey again. Who's 89 on FSU? I have no clue. This is actually getting reviewed. He's got control. He's got control. They better not call this back, or we know that they're rigging it for Arkansas. But yeah, if you guys are in YouTube and you guys want to join the Discord, that's where I can notify you. And I'm also putting this whole um, map public uh, after I'm done streaming it. So it's going to be in our Discord. It's uh, exclamation point Discord in chat. Tom, can put the link. But let's see, Clemson. What are you about to do? Cade Klubnik finds a wide open wide receiver. 21 seconds, 34 seconds, or 21 yards, 34 seconds left to go. Clemson's got 300, 306 total yards in this match, and they are knocking on Arkansas's door. Arkansas's uh, glory time might be end ending soon, but we know that in the previous games, they have been no uh, newcomer to uh, comebacks. They have Hail Marys that work all the time. So we'll see if Clemson can score 
but then more importantly, shut them out on defense. You can't leave too much time on the clock. They still have all three timeouts. Cade Klubnik gonna find a wide receiver, but number two makes one of the biggest plays in his whole career to shut it down. This is how you stay alive in college football imperialism. Second and 10, 30 seconds to go, 21 yards. That's all they need. It's a 20 yard pass into the end zone. Can Cade Klubnik and Clemson get it done? I do have a video on it, Josh. It's up on the YouTube channel right now. They're actually gonna run this ball. Will Shipley, can you get something going? They're not gonna take their time out. I, if I would have expected, they're gonna no huddle this at least. I don't know, this clock is ticking down. Wyatt, Lotus, appreciate the follow over on TikTok. Alton, appreciate the follow. Bama is not in it anymore. Are you finishing this today? Yes, we are. 10 seconds left. Clemson's got to make something happen. They're going to call their last time out, and I think they're going to kick this so that we go into OT. We just had an overtime thriller with Baylor and Iowa. Can Clemson and Arkansas do the same? This is the field goal. They're going to try to ice them. Arkansas is probably going to waste all three of their timeouts here, making it really impossible for them to score. So this could bring us into overtime if Clemson makes the kick, but he could obviously miss it as well. So here we go. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, timeout. Oh, look at that. I called it. I thought you couldn't take two timeouts back to back, but Madden wants to sim that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Timeout. Timeout. All right. Let's go ahead and see if Clemson can force overtime TikTok. If you guys are enjoying the content, in the meantime, pop over to the YouTube so that you guys can see the whole screen because I'm going to be able to show you guys the map. I simply can't show you the map on TikTok um, because I can't change the scenes and everything so you guys can only see the game. Clemson drills the kick, forces this thing to overtime. But pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD or the top link in my TikTok bio. We're live over there. I'm chatting with y'all just chilling. Juan, how's it going? Tompty, Modix Hypes. Three timeouts. Who, who are you guys timing out? All right, let's go ahead and see. Clemson's going to kick this ball off, but this thing's going to OT. Cody, appreciate the follow. Colorado, personally, Clemson's home field is Gillette. I, they, listen, it's Clemson. It's still Clemson. You can't call more than one time out at a time. Yeah, but they wasted it all. Ely, Adam, Cody, appreciate the follows. I love how every Clemson fan says Clemson. While everyone else says Clemson, it's Clemson, right? Yeah, it's Clemson. I don't know. Clemson's going to kick off the ball. And Arkansas probably wants to try to return this. Can we have our first kickoff return in college football imperialism? No. No, it's not going to happen. Now we get to jump ahead, and we are going to start OT. Here we go. Let's go and watch all of overtime because it's a close game. All right. Overtime thriller chat. It's an overtime thriller. Clemson looks like they're starting with the ball. Yeah, Iowa's still in it. Iowa is running the majority of the map right now. Or does Ar Who wants to start with the ball? With the ball. Notre Dame still is in it. Um, but they're they're surrounded by Wisconsin and Ohio State. Clemson is kicking off overtime. 13 to 13 was a regulation score. They're gonna start off with a play action pass to Will Shipley, and they are gonna find on the comeback route. I don't know who that was, but number 80 on Clemson, Cave Klubnik, delivers a dot to him. Yeah, Clemson, not Clemson. Why no ghost today? Look, I've been getting Celsius's because they're cheap. They're, they have a deal at my Circle K, three for 450, where a ghost runs me 250 per, per one. So I was like, I'll save the money. And my girlfriend likes, likes Celsius's, so I can just uh, let her have some of it. Like, I give her one, and then I take two great all right can clemson punch this ball in let's go clemson they are going to give it who is that that's their fullback ennis yeah ennis might be able to secure a touchdown in overtime for the tigers let's go ahead and see auburn already lost idk that's bo collins who's bo collins oh bo collins is number 80 hey he came in clutch whenever they needed him are they going to give it to Will Shipley? Arkansas loading that box. What is Cade Klubnik going to do? They're giving it to Will Shipley. And Will Shipley is going to get tackled in the backfield. Three yards to go. It's third and goal. I'm going to grab another ghost. Or another another Celsius. All right. I don't want to miss this, though. All right. We're going to go fast. Something quick hitting. Beer. Oh, it was just sitting on my bed. Slowly. It's gotta be right oh. at them if you're going to run the ball. Oh, I gotta call it! 
Clemson drop back to pass and it is a touchdown for the Clemson Tigers this puts all the pressure on to Arkansas will they be able to match Clemson with a touchdown or are they gonna lose their land in college football imperialism all right y'all think I've had enough energy we're gonna drink another one I've never had two Celsius before let's go Clemson yo we got 88 people watching Listen, if you guys want to come vibe out in chat and you are on TikTok, be sure to pop over to the YouTube. It's literally the best audience. Y'all are fire. Oh, that is game. That's actually game because Madden uses um, Madden uses the overtime rules for the NFL. They can't actually change that. So with that, Clemson is going to take down Arkansas. That's crazy. They got lucky. No, no, they still get it. They still get it back. Almost 100 people now. Let's go. Arkansas, can you get it done? He's going to find a wide receiver. Only for five yards, though. Sorry, I got to turn on my fan. It's hot. Let's go. 98 people. If you're in TikTok, pop over to the YouTube. Come vibe out with us, chat. We're back. We're making content. We're vibing out. I promise. It working this time? Yeah, I guess it was just cheesing with Iowa. Iowa fans had to do something rest a rigging it for him let's see what arkansas can do can clemson's defense come up clutch it's going to be a delivered dot to the back of the end zone not touchdown though no i'm staying on tiktok hey that's fine that's fine i know the real ones over on youtube the nfl rules the opposing team has a chance now nah it's weird madden because in our iowa game nick they didn't they didn't get a chance all right third and five what is Arkansas going to do? They are going to pick up the first down. They stay alive. Jefferson, 16 for 29, 202 yards. He hasn't thrown for a touchdown. So they got to rely on that running back whenever they get close. Brother, you got 500 viewers on TikTok. Why would we switch? Because you guys support me more over there. And you can see the whole screen. Because TikTok, you can't see the map. Can't see the full screen. And I can't really read chat as well. If you guys want me to see your chat messages, pop over to the YouTube. I'm telling y'all, it's a way better viewing experience. We got people popping over all the time. EP, how's it going? Yeah, I paid the rest off. I can believe it. Look, it's Clay just came over from TikTok. Arkansas going to deliver a dime for the touchdown. We're going into double OT as long as they kick their extra point. It's Clay. I got to ask, is the quality better? Don't, don't just say yes to please me. Is the quality better TikTok or YouTube? Which one would you rather watch on? All right. YouTube watchers where it's at. Cody, I just from, came from TikTok. No shot, Tomty. My mod on YouTube just came from TikTok. Yo, Tomty, is the quality better? DX, how's it going? Is Oklahoma still in it? Oklahoma is not. They lost to Iowa or somebody. The for you page on TikTok loves you. Let's go. TikTok equals Cody doesn't read chat. YouTube equals Cody reads your chat, basically. Is Michigan in? No. Michigan lost to um, Eastern Michigan. And then Eastern Michigan lost to ohio state but here we go arkansas gets the ball back gonna try the little dump off second and eight let's keep on going youtube people are saying youtube so much better everyone's saying youtube youtube i deleted tiktok pop over tiktok that's all i gotta say but we got an overtime thriller right now between clemson and arkansas we gotta see who is going to win this thing in overtime we're in double ot right now arkansas gets an opportunity to try to put a little bit of pressure on to clemson can Clemson get it done? Arkansas going to take off scrambling. He's going to get sacked, though. And this is the third and 16. That could potentially win the game for Clemson if the defense can clutch up. Yo, Dakota, how's it going? Austin, how's it going? Juan, welcome from TikTok. 130 of y'all in here. Do you guys like college football imperialism? If you guys want to stay up to date on EA Sports College Football, we got the new game coming in July. Might as well subscribe. Might as well subscribe while y'all are here. We got the best content on college football in the meantime because nobody else is doing this. Who else do you guys know playing this modern live stream for y'all? LSU lost, Dakota. Roll Todd, I came over from TikTok when I realized I couldn't see the map. Yeah, it's a way better immersive experience. You got your running back wide open in the flat, but he's going to deliver a bomb deep, and it's not going to be caught anyways. Fourth and 16, they're going to have to settle for the field goal, and that opens the door for Clemson now. Can Clemson get it done? What do you guys think? Who is going to win this? We'd assume that Arkansas is kicking a field goal with it being fourth and 16, but do you guys think that Clemson can clutch up? Maybe they even miss this kick. Clemson's going to try to ice him. What NFL team are you a fan of? I'm a fan of the New York Jets. Don't make fun of me. 
already subbed let's go i appreciate it tennessee lost to arkansas so tennessee's not in it what happened to mizzou mizzou's still in it i don't think mizzou's played yet let's see can arkansas make the kick nope we we allow double timeouts thanks madden thanks for uh, doing the doing the rules tiktok drains battery youtube doesn't hey listen to tomty pro deserves more subs i need to be consistent before i deserve more subs arkansas taking the kick and that thing is gonna be good clemson you score a touchdown you move on and stay alive in college football imperialism also youtube chat let me know who you guys are rooting for i'm gonna show you guys the map after this and i want everyone to choose one team you can't switch i want to see who is going to choose the winning team clemson automatic first down they have 10 yards they score a touchdown they win the game what's gonna happen Bama did lose. Bama lost to Clemson. Clemson took down Bama. They took down Georgia. They took down FSU. They have the best resume by far so far. They might not have the most land, but with a takedown of Arkansas, they are dominating the southern portion of this map. Kate Klubnik is going to drop back, and he's going to deliver a pass. Could have been P.I. Could have been P.I., but we're not going to talk about it. I'm rooting for UNC. They're still in it. Kennedy, how's it going? Yeah, Savage Batman, I know. In college, you can call back-to-back -back timeouts. Can you? I didn't know that rule. Huh. I don't know football, apparently. All right, let's see. Second and 10. You got Will Shipley in the backfield. Are you going to use him? Of course you do. You run a stretch play, and Will Shipley probably took the wrong route. I would have gone to the outside if I was Will Shipley, but I'm not playing college football. I, I'm just sitting here watching people the pcu cpu play you know, you know it's not a big deal but third and four four yards and clemson stays alive i'm rooting for clemson that's my team that's my team right now all right clemson what are you gonna do cade club nick you have nine wide open for the touchdown but he finds somebody anyways and clemson stays alive in an overtime thriller against arkansas they're taking the land and this is when you guys have to type in chat let me know who you're rooting for this is our map right now of course arkansas you are now out of college football imperialism your land is being taken by clemson go ahead hide it if it would load Clemson Tigers own the southern portion now. Look at all that land. Look at all that land. So here is our map. I want every single one of you in YouTube chat. Go and type who you're rooting for. I don't care if you guys haven't been active. I know that you guys are probably just pulling up the stream to watch. But call your shot. I'll look back and I will put your guys' name in the YouTube video. If you can call correctly, who's going to win? All right, that's the deal. I'm looking back on chat. Call your shot right now. That's the only time this is going to count, but we have to go and determine who is going to be fighting next. We have to go to our wheel spin, and we have to see Tomty with the one gifted membership. Welcome to the mod, whoever got that, or the mob. I got to pronounce that right. Arkansas, you guys are getting deleted from the wheel. Call your shots, boys. I see Clemson. I see a lot of Clemsons. Iowa. Tigers, Iowa, Wisconsin, Boston College, Washington, Wisconsin. Let's go, chat. Who is fighting next? We got to spin our wheel and see. It is going to be USC. This should be a good game. USC is either fighting Washington or Iowa. Somebody's going to fall. Who are they fighting? We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel, and it's going to be a respin. You, you literally went one of the one directions you can't go. Who's it going to be? I'm calling that one to the left. They're taking on Washington. Washington, of course, has home field advantage. But is that going to matter? It's USC. Caleb Williams. Who's going to get it done? The past Heisman winner or Michael Penix Jr.? I don't really know. But y'all better let me know what team you want. Because after this game, y'all can't change. Y'all cannot change Washington. Home field field advantage i i believe they're an 87 overall too so they have a decent overall top d coming in with five gifted memberships y'all best be spamming modics heist for top d let's go welcome to the mob everyone 89 overall washington taking on usc they have to defend their land to stay alive let's go chat welcome everybody to our memberships i hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far usc 
you're 92 overall but you don't have home field advantage let's see what happens y'all spam modix heist if y'all have a membership you guys get access to our exclusive emotes and badges so spam w's in chats or spam the modix heist who do you guys think is going to win this game usc or washington i got usc i think they're going to dominate that land and that actually probably takes the majority away from iowa if they get the winner of this game i don't know you're going for mizzou washington's taking this one really you say washington usc ohio we'll see tomty giving out the love exactly all right let's go ahead and jump forward see who comes out on top we are going to start off the scoring with a USC touchdown. Washington is going to match it, but USC comes back. It's 14 to 14 going into the half. Washington takes a lead 21 to 14. USC gets the ball back. Can they make something happen? Washington pushes this to a two possession game. We're going to jump in to watch this thing. 28 to 21. First and 10 from the 50 yard line. USC has to clutch up on defense. They are already down seven points. If Washington even gets into field goal range, this game could be over. South Carolina winning it all. South Carolina has not played recently. I don't think they played at all. Luck Clay coming in with a $2 donation. Spam hearts in chat for luck. I appreciate it, bro. Go Washington. I'm a Bears fan who hates Caleb Williams. Y'all are stuck with him. Washington is going to run this football, and they are in field goal range, if not more. Getting down to the 30-yard line, and that could have sealed it. Now, I think USC does have to waste a few timeouts. We're going to go ahead and exit and start stemming this a bit faster. I'm too broke to join the mob. Storm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Actually, we'll watch it. We'll watch it because this is pretty important. USC going to call their first timeout. LSU winning it all. LSU's not in it right now. They're not in it. They got knocked out by Clemson. Notre Dame winning it all. Notre Dame's going to choke. We already know that. Washington. Let's get it. Juan Lopez. I'll send some more if Wisconsin wins it all. Y'all got to have me rig it now. Washington getting down to the two-yard line. If they can punch it in, it's going to be a two-possession game. And I think Caleb Williams is going to go to the bench and cry. I don't think he's going to be able to come back with two minutes on the clock. A two-possession lead for Washington. I think Michael Penix might be moving on with the majority of this map. We'll have to wait and see. The Ohio State Buckeyes, they're still in it. They still got to face Akron, Central Michigan, a, a few bummy teams. Chat's making my phone lag. Bro, my, my computer screen's lag to, lagging too. Y'all are going crazy. It's over. I don't know. Watch, watch like a pick six from here. How cool would that be? They're going to keep the ball on the ground though. This game looks to be over. KSU winning it all. They could. I mean, they could, but I don't know. We're going to go ahead and exit this. Dylan Johnson just called game. Caleb Williams, we'll see if you have a shot. Um, I don't think it's possible. Iowa runs this map. I think, I think that's said about Washington now. W dot. Caleb is a crybaby. He's he's about to go cry, which which does suck. He's a, he's a good decent quarterback, but we'll go ahead and see what is going to happen. Sim to the end of the game. Can USC come back? It's the ball's on the 50 yard line. I I oh we could jump in and watch this. Yo, I appreciate the sub. I wish that subs would pop up in chat because I like y'all are spamming my thing so much I can't even see uh, who just sub. But I appreciate it. And listen, TikTok, if y'all want to come vibe out on YouTube chat, we got over 100 people in there. We're, we're vibing. Caleb Williams, what you going to do? He's going to score a touchdown. All right, 45 seconds on the clock. They would need to convert an onside kick in order to do anything, but we'll have to see. Good quarterback, bad reactions. I still like the kid. Listen, he showed some emotion. I love how humble and unbiased this dude is. <laughs> you didn't hear me during my FSU rant. I, I'm not an FSU fan. I was finally able to join Modix HD's Discord. Let's go. If you guys want to join the Discord, it's Modix er, or Explanation eh, Exclamation Point Discord in chat. All right, who did Auburn lose to? I'm pretty sure Auburn lost to Mississippi State. If I remember correctly, but we're getting ready for an onside kick. USC, the real USC. I don't consider South Carolina the real USC. That's one of my other opinions. All these cuties making my chat lag. It's a storm. Why are you calling chat cuties? That's kind of weird. How about them Longhorns? They ain't in here. Iowa owns Texas right now. Mississippi beat Auburn. Okay. Bro, keep killing it. I appreciate it, Dot Mild. I promise we'll be more consistent. Um, so I, this is a fun stream. But here it is, the onside kick to determine if UNC or USC can stay alive. 
The onside kick is going to get recovered by USC, and we have ourselves a game. Caleb Williams might not cry just yet. He had to wipe away the tears, get back into the game. It, never mind. Go cry. Go cry. That's why you didn't win the Heisman two years in a row. It's a fumble. No. No shot. They recovered their own fumble. Caleb Williams has to wipe away his tears again. Washington, you had it in your hands. This is college football imperialism. It's crazy, chat. The Washington just doesn't want it. Is that Caleb Williams with the recovery? <laughs> what is this game? What is Madden? It's not over yet. It ain't over yet. Hey, sounds good, Exotic. You got to be here if Iowa wins. Caleb Williams stays alive. Let's go. The future Bears quarterback. Oh, great pass. Great intentional grounding, Bear. Let's go. Content. It's all for the content. I don't know what's going on. Intentional grounding. It's P.I.? <laughs> what is this game, Madden? I'm telling y'all, whenever we play Madden, and I say sometimes the game just wants you to win, this is what I'm talking about. Caleb Williams delivers. A, should have been another pick. But listen, it's Madden. 31 seconds, 46 yards to go. Can this be the craziest game ever? Bro, just go down? Exactly. You literally won the game if you go down. Nah, Madden wants USC to stay alive. Represent the Pac-12. All right, Caleb Williams, what are you going to do? Are you going to clutch up and be the quarterback everybody expects you to? He's going to deliver a dime. That was a stupid pass. You didn't get a first down. You're letting the clock tick down. 22, 21, 20. 19 seconds left in this game. You have a timeout. Don't really know what you're doing with it. Just let that clock keep on ticking down, though. Great, great decision. Now we'll call it timeout. All right. So they're out of timeouts now. And uh, it's 38 to 25. 35 to 28. Touchdown ties it. And we might be able to go into overtime again. Caleb Williams has to deliver here. 11 seconds left. They have to go 37 yards to the end zone. Anything less is not going to count. And Caleb Williams is just going to throw this one away. Six seconds. Fourth and one. What is going to happen? He already has one interception today, but then there was a fumble recovery, and I think he recovered his own fumble. But we will have to wait and see. Can they get it done? All the people that chose USC to win. When I told you guys to predict, y'all better hope Caleb Williams can do something. Lincoln Riley, what are we doing here? We are going deep. Caleb Williams to the end zone. Is it going to be a miracle? Nope. Nope. Washington controls the western portion of this map. Let's go give them their land. They want it in fair fashion. They are out of here. USC gets destroyed by Washington. They almost had a very interesting outcome. But Washington, at the end of the day, controls that whole western map. And now it is essentially... Ooh, that, didn't, that, that doesn't say anything. I promise I'm not rigging it. But it's either Washington or Iowa on that left side. Let's make Washington a bit bigger. And listen to TikTok. If you guys want to see this, you have to pop over to the YouTube. And you guys can see the whole map right now where we're looking. We got to load over into our phone wheel portion where we're moving USC. They contended for a while. They had a lot of land, but they get knocked out by Washington. Who is fighting next in college football imperialism? It's going to be TCU. TCU has the opportunity to either take on Clemson, Iowa, or Oklahoma. Oklahoma has not played yet. What direction is TCU fighting in? They played once before, and that is going to be OU. Oklahoma, Boomer, Sooner, who is going to take it all? Is it going to be TCU, or is it going to be Oklahoma? Oklahoma going all the way? It comes down to this. Washington. Rip YouTube mobile users? Why? Is it is it lagging so much you had to switch to your PC? All right, so Oklahoma does take home field advantage. I don't know what overall they are, but they're trying to make Baker Mayfield proud here. Oklahoma, 82 overall. TCU, I think, is pretty high. Um, we'll go ahead and check exactly what overall they have. They obviously are going against home field advantage. Where are we? We're at TCU. They're 87 overall. So TCU could take over a, a decent portion of land, but nothing compares to Washington and Iowa right now. Boomer Sumer, I picked Mizzou. 
When will Mizzou play? It all depends on that wheel. Mizzou hasn't played at all yet in this college football imperialism. They've kind of been floating by, but so is like Akron and Central Michigan. If Akron or Central Michigan win this whole thing, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, I couldn't type in chat. I want Clemson and South Carolina to run it. Imagine that's the last two teams. Hey, we all know the best college football team in South Carolina is Coastal Carolina. All right. We already know that. But we're going to go ahead and start out the scoring with an Oklahoma field goal. TCU is going to knock in a touchdown. Oklahoma is going to match that 10 to 7 now. Oklahoma 17 to 7. They're fending off TCU pretty well. 24 to 7 now. If they score some more, this is probably going to be over. TCU 14, 24, 31 to 21 now. And that's going to be game. Oklahoma takes care of business. Fends off TCU. They win with home field advantage. Let's go ahead and adjust that on our map. It wasn't close enough to dive into the game, guys. But we will go ahead and remove TCU. Boomer sooner, sooner all the way. I can't even talk. But Oklahoma is claiming this land now. And we'll go ahead and give you guys a look at what our map is looking like. Oklahoma. You, you can't not look at Iowa and Washington, though. That is who I'd be scared of. But then you also have Clemson in the South. Took down FSU. Took down Arkansas. Took down Bama. Took down Georgia. If we're looking at resumes right now, you're either arguing that Washington deserves this or it's Clemson. One of those two teams. But that doesn't even matter in imperialism because the more land you have, the more shot you have to play again. We have to go and remove TCU from our wheel. We're getting down to the wire here, guys. So be sure to stay and see who is crowned the winner of our first ever college football imperialism. Our next team playing is Kansas State. The, the person who said KSU all the way. We'll see who they're fighting. It's either going to be Iowa or Mizzou. Who is it going to land on? And that is obviously Iowa. Iowa is going to have home field advantage. Can KSU take over the majority of the map? We will have to wait and see. Here is our map for those of you guys wondering. KSU was basically surrounded. They just needed the perfect sliver to be able to avoid Iowa, but they can't get it done. Let's see what's going to happen. Play in the snow. I, I, I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if I can control that, but Iowa is going to be the home team. And now we're going Kansas State. Who's going to take it all? Let me know in chat. Elemental P. Wait, did I go too far? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. I don't know the alphabet. There we go. Kansas State. This is an even overall battle too. I am predicting that Iowa is going to take control of this game pretty early and stick with it. But I think this is going to be a good defensive battle. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see if my prediction is correct. Let me know who you guys think is going to move on. Type in chat. Type in your predictions. Who is going to make it? Let's go. Let's go, chat. The Ohio State Buckeyes, they've kind of skated through. They haven't taken a lot of land. They had to play uh, Bowling Green. They had to take, play Eastern Michigan. Nobody too hard just yet. I'm taking it all. Yeah, okay. All right, I got Clemson or Boston College. Nah, in this game, who do you guys think's winning? Iowa or KSU? Who do you give it to? I think KSU knocks them off. Really? You think KSU takes over this land? A lot of KSUs. We'll see. Iowa is not going to make the most of starting with a ball. KSU is going to be the first team to score with a field goal. Iowa scores a touchdown, and they have the ball again. They can't do anything with it. KSU drives down to score a touchdown. It is 10-7 right now. We are going to jump back into this defensive battle, but we have KSU knocking on the door. It's fourth and six, so they're probably going to take a field goal. We'll watch, though, just in case. Two minutes and 56 seconds left on the clock. Fourth and six at the 13-yard line. They settle for a field goal, and that means that Iowa will be able to win it with a touchdown. We'll have to wait and see. And if this is an upset and KSU takes down Iowa, they control the majority of the map. A lot of land is what they will conquer, but they have to be able to finish this game first. Kansas State upset. Do you guys consider this an upset? Because in real life, I feel like Kansas State wins this. I don't know. Iowa just hasn't been efficient on offense in real life. Um, they haven't scored a ton of points. And this is actually a pretty realistic game, I guess. But I think Kansas State would end up winning it. Um, all right. So Madden, Madden cheeses me with the animations. This is crazy. What's crazy, Miles? I'm live two days in a row. That's crazy. 
All right, can Kansas State. Oh, my game crashed. Hmm. Well, womp womp. All right, well, that doesn't count, apparently. Madden did not want that to happen. Madden didn't want that ending, so we go again. Slight upset? Nah, it, it goes back. We're going back into it. All right, I'm literally lagging my PC for this. My PC is about to explode, chat. But hey, this is a great opportunity. If you're on TikTok and you guys want a better viewing experience, pop over to the YouTube channel. We're live over there. You can see the whole screen. You guys can also see the map. Look, I'm literally showing the map right now. Y'all can see that Iowa is dominating. They might have gotten saved there. I'm not going to lie. Kansas State might have upset them if my game didn't crash, Madden but it did. So now we're loading back in. in but listen, game. YouTube is Modix HD. Pop over there. I read chat over there. You guys can see the whole screen. But let's get college football imperialism going. What happens when you stream a couple times? No, Miles. This is what happens when you provide good quality content. All right? It's not about streaming consistently. Wait, listen, I will I will start streaming consistently now because if y'all are going to watch this type of content, I got y'all with it. But let's go ahead and keep... Ooh, we can actually resume. Never mind. They didn't get saved just yet. YouTube better? I know. YouTube's way better than TikTok. After you accept the two teams, go down the game settings for the weather. Listen, here we go. We're able to resume this game now. It's still the same scenario. They're going to go ahead and take the kick. I'm not playing this. Let's go ahead and jump and see what they end up doing. They're kicking off the ball, and now we'll jump in. Iowa, you need to do something here. You just received a kickoff. It was a touchback. You start at the 25-yard line. A touchdown will win it for you. I tried thousands of times to download the file for mods, and it never worked because of a virus. There's not actually a virus. You have to go into your settings and just allow the files. I promise there's no virus in included in it. Um, but I talk about that in the uh, in the video. Wrong screen. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. All right. Iowa, you need a touchdown to win this thing. I promise I make up for it. I know you guys can't see. I switched the screen, chat. Iowa almost picks up a first down. Let that clock tick. I did. I swapped the display. I think I might be behind in chat. Not again, bro. No, no. Trust. Trust. Trust, guys. I'm a good streamer. Very cool map. Thank you. I made it myself, chat. All right, Iowa, let's go. Iowa touchdown? I think so. Aaron, I'm pre I'm your favorite streamer. W. They get stopped. It's third and inches. Thanks. Can't see. Guys, guys, I fixed it. Wait, how do you get the mod again? Uh DXX. I have a whole video up on my YouTube channel. Just go check that out and it will inform you everything. Guys, you should be able to see it, right? Can we see it? Can we see it now? Somebody let me know in chat. I think I'm behind. All right, Nak McNamara. Picks up the first down, and they are driving now. Two minutes left. Are you guys behind, or am I behind? I'm going to go check out on the YouTube. I'm, I'm pulling it up on my phone to make sure that you guys can actually see. Let's see. Y'all should be able to see it now, right? Can we see it? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's see what Iowa can do. They're going to keep on driving. They are now in Kansas State's territory. Yes, we can see. Let's go. You cannot get mods on Xbox One. You have to be on PC. This is for the majority of the land here. If Iowa can come in clutch, then we got a lot of happy fans. But I think KSU might have this upset. Do you make mods for other teams? I don't make these mods. These were these were found because of the Madden modding community. And it's all because of them. McNamara going to send some pressure. And he is going to deliver an inaccurate pass. It's third and four now. Seth Anderson getting into it with number eight. Show your stuff, Seth. Let's go. Miles knows Seth. Miles played, uh, Miles played Fortnite with Seth back in the day. I, I think he's still in here. Yeah, just PC. Kentucky or South Carolina winning this? I don't think Kentucky's played anybody. All right, third and four. What is Iowa going to do? They're going to barely get any yards. Fourth and two. You have to consider staying up there and not possession catching it. And it all comes down to this now. What is Iowa going to do? Are they going to stay alive in our college football imperialism? They have two timeouts. They're going to run it, and they're going to pick it up. But he's going to fumble. It's a fumble. And the and Kansas State recovers. He had the first down. He should have just gone down. Call a timeout maybe. But he is going to fumble the football. Johnson fumbles. KSU recovers. And they claim so much land if this result holds. I thought that the lineman could have picked it up. Clemson winning it all. 
I can see Clemson winning it all, but you never know. If you have a ton of land, then there's a bigger possibility of that being overtaken. K-State for the Natty? No shot they end up actually winning this whole thing, but we're going to go ahead and sim towards the end because they should just be able to take a knee. We'll go ahead and see. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Kansas State holds on because of that fumble. And Iowa, you fumbled. You fumbled. Goodbye, Iowa. Goodbye, all of that land. You are now out of college football imperialism. I don't know why this is. Whose land is this? Why is it just... That's so weird. All right, now we're good. Now you guys can see it, right? Yep, Kansas State. Oh, look at all this land. Oh, I got to... Uh, oopsies. Hide Iowa's land. There we go. Kansas State is taking over this map. They have the majority of the land now. We have to make it where their logo matches. They are dominating this map right now taking over washington for the highest um portion of land went from one of the smallest to the biggest exactly and that's how fast college football imperialism can change let's go over to our wheel kansas state says iowa is now out of it exotic i hate to break it to you your team lost let's see who's fighting next though we're spinning the wheel it's going to be Clemson, Clemson, you're either playing OU, Missouri, Kentucky, Virginia Tech, South Carolina, potentially UNC, probably not likely, but let's see what direction they are fighting in. And they are going to be playing South Carolina. The battle for the second best team in South Carolina is happening. As you guys can see on our Photoshop map, Clemson is going to be fighting South Carolina for a little bit of land, but South Carolina could upset, I guess. Uh, honestly, I have Clemson winning this one, though. Purple team's taking over. They could lose a lot of land here. Can I switch to KSU? I was rooting for Wisconsin after Minnesota went out. Wisconsin's still in there, Sage. They're still in there, but I assume you guys can root for whoever. Clemson, 88 overall. They are not the home team. South Carolina is the home team. But let's go ahead and see who's going to have the overall advantage. South Carolina is coming in at a 79 overall. I got to give this to Clemson. Clemson has got to come away with this one. You have a nine overall advantage. You aren't the home team, but you're still in the same state. Clemson wins this one by far. Let's go South Carolina. Bro, These are this is just playing for second place because we know Coastal Carolina is the best team to come out, of, come out of South Carolina. Go UNC. I'm an Auburn fan. I'm a real Wisconsin fan. We're winning it all. If Clemson loses this game, it's rigged. I, I promise I'm not rigging it. Spencer Rattler finna cook. Spencer Rattler can't do nothing. I wish UNC was playing already. It's probably better that they don't, you know? They get to wait until the end, and then they just got to win one game, which is a perfect strategy. But Clemson is going to start out our scoring with a touchdown. South Carolina gets a field goal. Clemson, another touchdown. And add a field goal back to that. They're going to get another opportunity to score a touchdown before the half. It's 20 to 6. 23 to 6 now. Time is ticking down for South Carolina. We are going to jump in. They're down 10 points, and they are knocking on Clemson's door, so it could get interesting. We'll go ahead and see. Louisville for the win. How bad did Virginia Tech beat App State? I think pretty bad. Pretty bad. All right, can South Carolina and Spencer Rattler get it done or are they going to choke as the fake USC? Listen, the, the real USC already lost. We're getting the fake one out of the way now. They're going to actually make some decent progress down to the 31-yard line, but it is still a two-possession game. So even if they score a touchdown, they're still going to have to get the onside kick and kick a field goal. GG's, lol. Yeah, I think it's done. App State better than Auburn? Nah, Coastal better than App State. All right, second and two. Spencer Rattler drops back. You got him in the seam, and that's exactly where he's going. Finds one. Spencer Rattler, 15 from 22, 213 yards, one touchdown. Pretty decent stat line. But let's see if they can finish. You've got to have a miracle. Look at Barrett Carter's name on the screen there. I played high school with him. Fake USC, but Carolina has been around longer than Southern Cal. They don't matter. They're the fake one. They're not, they're not good. The real USC is Southern Cal. All right, and we are going to have a touchdown for the Gamecocks. Can they get the onside kick? Wells comes up with a touchdown. It's all about this onside kick, though. They got to get it. Or I guess they do have three timeouts. I guess they could kick it normally. I don't know. App State basketball is better. 
We would get wiped in football. Yeah, you guys aren't aren't too great in football. All right, so South Carolina still has all their timeouts. We'll go ahead and jump to the next play because they're obviously going to do this. And I think they honestly kick it deep here. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. And now we'll go ahead and jump in and watch. Can Clemson offense pick up a first down and secure this game? Or are we going to make things interesting? Does South Carolina get the opportunity to drive down and kick a field goal? Notre Dame has not lost. They played once and they won. Or they, I think they played two times and they won. Yeah, they played two times and they won. Kate Klubnik, all you need is a first down. And that's not going to help. I'd probably stick the ball on the ground and run. But they're, they're not going to do that. I need to go to jump forward. End of the game. Hold up a minute. Still in this. You guys are still in this. Extra timeout with two-minute warning, too. Yeah, that is true. Cade Klubnik fakes the pass, and he's going to find a wide receiver wide open over the middle. South Carolina has to use their first timeout, and that, that was a stupid timeout because it was also the two-minute warning. Oh, no, two-minute warning. It's It's college. It's college. They're going to go ahead and run with Will Shipley. Just try to take down that clock a bit more. It's second and seven now. Mizzou needs to play so I can see Brady Cook throw some bombs. We'll see. Kate a fraud. Kate's taking down South Carolina right now, Jack. Let's see. We're going to give it to Will Shipley, and Will Shipley is going to do what he does best and just run the football. Third and four. No two-minute warning in college. It took me a minute to process that, but I knew. I knew. Third and four. You got to keep this ball on the ground to keep the clock running. They're going to play action it and find nine. Who's going to get somewhat close, but we're going to keep things interesting. How about that? They're going to drain down this clock, but then they're going to have to punt it away. All right. Let's go ahead and go normal. And there we go. Now we will watch USC attempt to do the impossible. Go 25 yards, no timeouts, a minute, and the clock is running. Second and five. What's going to happen? What do you guys think? Penn State already lost, Marcus. They lost to Boston College. A minute left in the game now. This clock is ticking down because of a Madden bug. But can Spencer Rattler perform a miracle? Did they not punt? They did. They did. Clemson too hot. Hope Mizzou don't play them for, the front, for their first game. Honestly, Clemson, Clemson's kind of running this imperialism right now. OSU's still in it, but they've only played two games. Let's see it, Spencer Rattler. What are you going to do? He's going to go deep. He's going to go deep. They might have a touchdown. No way Spencer Rattler delivers that. He gets tackled in bounds. you got to run out of bounds there. This clock might tick down. I don't think that South Carolina has a chance. They'd rather be fighting than trying to spike it. How much time gets taken off of this clock, though? I don't know why you're not running out of bounds, but he gets tackled in bounds, which could be... A loss. 10 seconds left. Spencer Rattler, you need to do something. Clemson's shaking right now. Oh, what a breakup. Five seconds left. Second and 10 from the 14-yard line. A touchdown will win it, but they're in field goal range. Do you go for the touchdown or do you kick it and force OT? If I had to guess, we're going to overtime. Rattler finna cook. That guy was trying to, trying to lose his scholarship. Not going out of bounds. They're going to go ahead and take their field goal, which means, oh, they're not going to ice him. But it is going to be made. So now, Clemson, South Carolina, the battle for the Carolinas, or South Carolinas, is going to go into OT. Let's go ahead, go to a normal sim. We're going to jump ahead to overtime. And now, let's go ahead and watch. We jump in whenever it's overtime because this is where the entertainment is. Who's starting with the ball? It looks like it's South Carolina. Baby Rattler ain't got nothing. I don't think so. Yeah, they go with a field goal to take overtime. Let's go. Clock does stop after first downs. Oh, I guess it does, Marcus. That's true. All right, second and 10 for South Carolina. It's play action. Spencer Rattler feels some pressure. He's going to throw it. Gets back to the line, but doesn't go towards anybody. You just get lucky that you didn't take a sack there. It's third and 10 now for Coastal Carolina. Let's go. Come on, Clemson. Stick in there. Three OTs in a row. That's the content that y'all are getting. Are y'all enjoying the stream? Let me know. Let me know. Will South Carolina take down Clemson, the dominant force in the South? They're going to go with a screen pass. And I don't know what that flag is on, but this one could be coming back. What kind of flag? Holding? 
It's going to be holding. This thing is coming back. Clemson kind of gets bailed there with a holding call. It's going to be third and 17 from the 32-yard line. Show us the imperialism board. I can't do that on TikTok, but if you pop over to the YouTube, I promise I'll show you. That is going to be broken up. Fourth and 17. You got to kick a field goal here, but that puts it into Clemson's hands. Clemson has the opportunity. You drive down, you score a touchdown, you win the game. Just like how you did it versus Arkansas, they are not scared of overtime they've done it before they've had a few overtime victories they've taken down georgia they've taken down fsu they've taken down arkansas they've taken down bama they now have to get past usc the fake one let's see holding on a clutch drive realistic of my game cox let's see you have 25 yards Cade klubnik what are you going to do you're going to start off with a run by Will Shipley. Will Shipley going to take care of business, picking up that first down almost, second and one. 16 yards to go. You score, you win. You kick a field goal, you tie. And then we go into one more round of OT. Oh, what a game. Come on, Clemson. Keep on dominating. But is their luck going to run out? They've played well at the start, but they could always just lose one game and they're out of it. Shipley is going to take off, getting us into a first and goal scenario from the seven. Only seven yards. You just got to power through, Will Shipley. Get it done. Watch your mouth. We're the real USC. Nah, y'all got to win games in order to do that. The other USC is the real one. South Carolina holes in that situation. IRL too. And it's realistic. Okay, Klubnik, what are you going to do? He's going to drop back to pass. He, very interesting decision. You had your wide, your halfback wide open on a bubble route. Um, but yeah, must be nice to not have to play in the SEC. That's true. South Carolina is in the SEC, which is, which is true. But USC is the better team. I guarantee if we played the USCs against each other, USC wins. Not the South Carolina one. All right, Cade Klubnik, it's second and goal. What are you going to do? He's going to find his man for a touchdown. Clemson stays alive. Let's go ahead to our Photoshop board. Bye-bye, fake USC. Y'all are done for. Clemson takes over. Let's go ahead and add their land. It's, it's very small in comparison to the rest of it. But now they might be taking UNC for the battle of the Carolinas. Let's go ahead and see what our wheel is looking like. We got to get rid of of South Carolina now. There they are, delete them from the wheel. And we're getting down to the wire. I'm gonna go ahead and increase our text size just a bit. The wheel's getting smaller, the text goes up. Who's playing next in college football imperialism? It is going to be Washington. And Washington has to fight Kansas State. So this is going to be a dominant portion of the map for the winner. Look at Washington. They're completely bordered by Kansas State. Washington's on the away side, though. Kansas State has home field advantage. Who do you guys think is going to win? South Carolina are bums too easy? Bro, we already know. So South Carolina is run by Coastal. Kansas State, home field advantage. Are we going to see an upset? What do you guys think? Where's Kansas State? There they are. 86 overall. Washington is an 89. Or are they an 88? I forgot. I keep on saying that I forget for them. I think they're an 88 or an 89. Let's go ahead and see Washington 87 to 86, but they don't have home field advantage. Who do you guys have in this game? It hurts to say that, but I did predict Clemson. That's true. Big game here. This is a big game. This, this is to take control of the whole Western portion of the United States. The winner of this owns the map, but then you still got Boston college in that top right. Washington easy I think in real life Washington would probably take this game but it's a Madden sim you gotta remember that switch screen I got y'all good call good call I almost almost missed it but let's go ahead and start our simulation Washington is not going to be our first turn team to score there end of the first quarter we're still tied 0-0 Washington does start off the scoring it's 10 to nothing 17 to nothing now 24 to nothing and KSU lost this game really quickly 31 to 10 38 to 10 Washington dominates Tom D got it right easy easy win for Washington as they knocked down Kansas State Kansas State took down took care of Iowa for him but now Kansas State you are now out of college football imperialism 
Washington takes over. I wish that would have been a closer game. That was a huge portion of the map, and we couldn't even really watch it. But that is all good, because this is how our map is looking now. I got to make Washington bigger. Washington has got to be bigger here. What is going on? What? Oh, wait. Command D. There we go. All right. Washington. Big screen now. Look at that. They are dominating this imperialism. Let me go in real quick. Uh, let me just lasso to a real quick. Um, there we go. All right. Now I can also paint that command d there we go all right so this is what our map is looking like as you guys can see washington is dominating they take town and care of kansas state and kansas state is now off of our map your vibes are good bro keep working you will blow up i appreciate it brother all right so who are we removing for our map who did we just play that was kansas state kansas state you're out of there Washington dominating in terms of map, but who is playing next? They might have to play once again, and, and it's actually going to land on Washington. So now Washington's either playing Wisconsin, Mizzou, or OU. If you're a Mizzou fan, you do not want to face Washington right now. They are on a roll. What direction are they fighting in? That, that Okay, we're respinning. What direction are they going to be fighting in? All right, we're respinning. What direction are they going to be fighting in? Yeah, okay, this is insane. One more time. This is going to determine what direction they're fighting in. <laughs> Just need it somewhere on the right. One more time. This arrow decides what direction they're going to be fighting in. And this direction that, listen, who are they fighting? All right. It's going to be OU. That, that's crazy. We want them. Nope. Y'all have to wait. It's going to be Oklahoma taking on Washington. Oklahoma has home field advantage. They're fighting for Baker Mayfield to make him happy. But Washington, after many, many spins, they're going to finally fight Oklahoma. That was crazy. How many spins was that? Like six? All right. Oklahoma. There they are. They're an 82 overall. Washington, 86. Pretty sure I got that number right this time. Um, I, I honestly think Washington continues their domination. But it's... it's any game, you know, or 87, 87 versus 82 overall. Can Washington continue their dominant force against Oklahoma and control even more land on that Western portion? 12 times the charm. <laughs> Crazy. Seven. I had seven wheel spins. They didn't want Washington to fight anybody. All right. I think Washington wins this. I think Washington takes care of it, but we'll have to wait and see. Oklahoma's got home field advantage, but that overall disparity's got to hurt them. Got to hurt them. End of the game. Let's start our simulation. Washington driving down right where they ended last game. 7 to nothing. 14 to nothing. Oklahoma answers back. 14 to 7. Oklahoma can drive down. They make it 14 to 10. 17 to 10. Washington needs to do something here. It is 24 to 14. Can Washington do it? They got a score here. We're going to jump in and watch Michael Penix Jr. take care of the action. It's first and 10 from Oklahoma's 49-yard line. You're down by 10 points. You need a touchdown fast, and then you need your defense to do something. Washington winning this one? I wouldn't be too sure, Gavin. I would not be too sure. This is real NCAA players. What is going to happen? Michael T Penix takes the snap. And Oklahoma picks it off right when we join in. This might be game. Lawrence might have just called game. OU upset. I think OU just took care of everyone's problem. Washington. Guys, is Clemson gone? No, Raiders fans. Clemson is owning the southern portion of the map. If you guys want to see the map and you're on TikTok, pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. Oh, you could have just called game. Look at him. Look at him. Is that Michael Penix? That Penix isn't nine, right? No, that was Penix. He takes the pick and he hits Penix with the stiff arm. I'm just glad FSU outlasted Colorado. Okay, I'll take that. I like FSU more than Colorado. This map might change greatly after this game. We have to wait and see. I'm going to go ahead and start simming it normally. Let's go and see. Can Oklahoma 
take care of business. All they have to do is wear out this clock. Washington is now out of timeouts. They should need it to end the game. And that is exactly what they're going to do. They're going to end up scoring. But this game is long gone. Washington falls and your new powerhouse is Oklahoma. Boomer sooner. They control the map. Washington. Goodbye. Y'all are now out of it. And all of your land is turning red. It's turning red for Oklahoma. That is crazy. All of this land is now Oklahoma country. I don't know why we got this. Let me go ahead and brush it. Bang, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and make this logo way bigger because Oklahoma has earned it, taking down Washington. And that is what we like to see. Insane upset watch. Let's go ahead and remove Washington from our wheel now. Who do you guys have? Who do you guys think is going to win this thing? Oklahoma now controls a majority of the map, but Boston College is still up there. We are going to see Kentucky now play, and we got to see what direction Kentucky is surrounded on all sides, so this could go any way, and they are going to be facing Louisville. We got Louisville versus Kentucky. Louisville has home field advantage. Kentucky is playing on the road. It's an in-state in rivalry. I don't know. It's a rivalry to say the least. Who is going to take it? We got Louisville, the home team. They're not that highly rated. I can promise you guys that, but I don't think Kentucky is either. I passed the L's. L, M, and Louisville. They're 75 overall. And now we're going down to have Kentucky play away. Kentucky, you are looking at an 80 overall compared to a 75, but Louisville does have home field advantage to play on their side. Louisville, let's go Cats. Easy win, though. Kentucky winning it all. We'll see. We will see. You, The winner of this still borders Ohio State, Notre Dame, Virginia Tech, Clemson, and Mizzou. So you're, there really is no winner. I don't see this winner going on to win the whole thing. Screen, facts, I got it. I got it, Kennedy. Thank you for letting me know. For the Governor Cup, Kentucky, Louisville, who wins it and who stays alive in college football imperialism? Let me know in chat right now. Louisville, not Louisville. I'm saying it wrong, Louisville. Their, their name is Louisville. In this one, it's Louisville. We are gonna start out our scoring with a Kentucky field goal. It's three to nothing. Louisville matches the field goal, but Kentucky scores a touchdown. It's 10 to three at the end of the third quarter. Kentucky gets the ball back. This is a defensive battle. Let's go ahead and jump in and watch Kentucky. They're on the 23 yard line. If they, they score a touchdown, they can put this thing away. Chat saving Cody. They are. Let's go Wildcats. I think the Wildcats are going to take them down. But you never know. It's second and seven, 23-yard line. You probably want to keep this on the ground. Louisville only has one timeout left. So we'll see. Louisville. Y'all teaching me how to pronounce their name? Let's see. Louisville. Louisville. Who's going to come out on top? Kentucky's going to throw this one deep, and they have a wide-open receiver diving into the end zone, and I think Kentucky just called game. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Barry on. Bowser, I don't know what his last name. Barrier Brown calls game for Kentucky, and they are going to take over that portion of the map, but I don't think it really matters. I think Kentucky loses in the next round whenever they have to fight either Notre Dame or Ohio State. We'll have to wait and see. What mod is this? This is Modded Madden 24. It's the college football mod. We're going to go ahead and go fast just to make sure that Kentucky doesn't give it up. And that's not what's going to happen. 17-3, to three, Kentucky takes care of business, and they take the land of Louisville. All right, now we're in our Photoshop menu. Y'all can see Louisville goes down. Their land is lost to Kentucky. Kentucky stays alive. Pretty dominant performance there, 17-3. to three. I'd say that our map is looking pretty interesting right now. TikTok, if you guys want to be able to see the map, you have to pop over to the YouTube live stream. You guys can see that Oklahoma is dominating, but Clemson has the better resume at this point. Let's go ahead and remove Louisville from our wheel, and we will spin to see who is fighting next. 
You guys are out of here. Are we almost down to top 10? How many teams do we have left? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 teams left. Who's going to make it into the top 12? Let's go ahead and see. Virginia Tech is playing next. Is Kentucky going to have to play two times in a row? Let's go ahead and see what direction Virginia Tech is fighting in. And that is going to be UNC. UNC has home field advantage, but Virginia Tech is going to try to take over that land. Let's go ahead and get this set up. As you guys can see, UNC is finally fighting for those of you that wanted him. We still here? Let's go. Let's go, chat. Clemson all the way. That's probably who I'm leaning towards right now. But we'll see if UNC can stay alive. If not, Virginia Clemson is going to be the last Carolina team alive. We got to go to North Carolina. There they are. Nope. Nope. There they are. And now Virginia Tech is going to be the opposing team. Virginia Tech has been pretty dominant so far in this imperialism. They have a lot of land up there. But will they be able to keep it or will they lose it? Trying to expand. They have a lower overall and they're going against home field advantage. I think the Tar, the tar Heels take this one. Boston College winning it all. That would be crazy if they do. Not going to lie. It's going to be crazy. But let's go ahead and see. How you do this, you have to mod Madden24 on PC. I got a whole video up on my YouTube channel on how to do this. But let's go, chat. Let's get hype. We are getting down to the wire. This is for staying in the top 12. We're almost down to 12 teams. We have 13, but we're knocking one off right here. Wait, I just see, seen a name that I didn't know. Yeah, Akron hasn't played at all, and Central Michigan hasn't either, Sean. Let's go, UNC. A lot of UNC fans in chat. And UNC is going to let Virginia Tech score first, but they're going to match them with a touchdown. Who is going to come out on top? UNC scores a touchdown. It's 14 to 7 going into the half. 21 to 14 now. Fourth quarter. It's happening. Virginia Tech could tie it up. Let's go ahead and hop into the action. It's second and five on the 22-yard line. Virginia Tech needs to score to stay alive. If they throw a pick or turn the ball over, it goes into UNC's hands. A touchdown is what they need. Field goal won't do it. Let's go ahead and see if Virginia Tech can take care of business. Let's go heels. I think the Tar Heels are going to come out on top here. This gets me excited for the new NCAA game. Bro, same. Virginia Tech's quarterback steps back and a pick is for the he throws a pick to Holloway. They might have just called game. They do have to get a first down to drain out Virginia Tech's three timeouts. Tayon Holloway comes up big. Let's take another angle of this. He just jumps that route and he gets the pick for UNC to hopefully keep them alive in this imperialism and knocks down Virginia Tech, who proved dominant early. They went kind of quiet, but let's see. They got to get a first down. W's. Tootin is your cousin. That's fire. Second and eight, but this clock is now ticking. Drones would never throw like that. Really? How do I do this? You have to mod PC on, on, or you have to mod Madden on your PC. Second and eight. Virginia Tech is not using any of their timeouts. A very interesting choice. I would have probably taken them there, especially after only allowing two yards here. But UNC has to keep this ball on the ground. They are going to run it. He has some space. It's going to be a third and six. Virginia Tech uses the first of their timeouts. If they get a first down here, UNC can call game. It looks like they're going to be passing the ball. This cannot be an incomplete pass. It's going to be a first down. They pick it up. Virginia Tech takes their second timeout, and they just called game with that. That pick was crucial to allowing UNC to stay alive. We'll go ahead and see what happens here. They're going to run the football. Virginia Tech is obviously going to take their last timeout, and now it's all about just kneeing this play. So that... UNC can stay alive in college football imperialism. Down goes Virginia Tech. Let's go ahead and make the changes on our Photoshop map. Virginia Tech won a few games early, but they can't hold on against UNC. They are now done, and UNC takes over their land. It's now blue over there on the East Coast. It's blue, purple, and gold. Will Boston College fight soon? Tompty will have to wait and see. Tez Walker, best receiver in the ACC. Let's go ahead and see. Virginia Tech gets removed from our wheel. And this is your final 12 chat. 
Is your team still in it? Let me know in chat. Type in the comments right now, yes or no. Is the team that you chose at the beginning still alive? Let's go ahead and see who is fighting next to be our first team out of the top 12. And Missouri is going to play their first game. They've escaped by basically not playing anybody. What direction are they fighting? Are they going to have to take on Oklahoma? That's exactly what's going to have to happen. Mizzou is entering into the largest portion of land, and they have to somehow take down Boomer sooner. Let's see it. All those Mizzou fans in chat. Yes, yes. Clemson on top. I'm rooting for Clemson. Deep down, I'm rooting for Clemson or Boston College. But Oklahoma is going to have home field advantage. That's the one thing in their favor, and I think they probably have um, the overall advantage too. But Mizzou... Can they take on the majority of the land? How crazy would that be? They haven't played at all. And then they potentially get to take away a ton of land. We're going to load into this one. I think Kentucky is one of the best, one of the last SEC schools left. I think they are. Them and then Mizzou's in the, is Mizzou, Mizzou's in, uh, in the SEC. But let's see. Ohio State is still alive in TikTok. If you guys want to be able to see the map, pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. Let's go, chat. Clemson. Mizzou with the upset, but I'm a Clemson fan. Bro, I really think the Mizzou could upset here. That would be pretty crazy. They fight. They don't, they don't play at all. And then when Oklahoma has the majority of the land, they come in and steal it. We'll have to see what happens. We're going to start our simulation. Who is going to start out the scoring? It is going to be Oklahoma with a touchdown. Mizzou's going to match that with a field goal. Mizzou gets another field goal. It's 6-7. to seven. They finally get a touchdown, 13-7. to seven. This is a very defensive-minded game. At the start of the fourth quarter, we're looking at the same score. We're going to go ahead and jump in. It's first and goal for Oklahoma at the five-yard line. If they score this, they can take the lead with a made extra point. It could be 14-13, to 13, but is there too much time on the clock? Both teams still have three timeouts. Let's go ahead and see. No shot. No shot. I messed up the screen again. It's fine. We're jumping in to a critical point in this game. Mizzou has a six-point lead, but Oklahoma is going to drive down and score a touchdown. Now it is a tied game, but an extra point puts the score in favor of Oklahoma. And now Mizzou has the opportunity to drive down. I know my screen, guys. I know. I know. It, it's fine. We still jump in in time. This is like radio at this point. Listen, it's fine. Wild child, I appreciate the rose over on TikTok. I cannot show the map on TikTok. If you guys want to see the map, pop over to the YouTube channel. Stogner comes up clutch with that touchdown. Cody's so slow. That's not nice. That's not nice, chat. Chat's better than Cody probably at this point. Y'all should stream for me. Will this extra point go through? It does, and it gives Oklahoma the lead, but there's still two minutes and 40 seconds left. What can Mizzou do with that? We're going to watch the whole thing. We're going to watch this game out because this is for the majority of the land. Will Oklahoma fend off Missouri, trying to invade their land and take over the majority of the map, or will Mizzou cause an upset? Let's go ahead and see. Screen. Yeah, I know, chat. I, I kind of messed up, but we still come in when the action is needed. I saved it just in time. Let's go. Team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, Mizzou the takes the kickoff. They're going to be starting at the 20 yard line now. 20, How many of these should I have? Is it bad to have more than one Celsius in a day? I think I'm starting to shake. I've had a lot of caffeine. Maybe I should stop drinking that. All right, here we go. Can Mizzou get it done? He's going to go ahead and find his halfback, and the halfback's only going to get two yards before he's stopped by three Oklahoma defenders. This clock is ticking. you got to go fast if you're a Mizzou fan. 13 to 14. You just need to get in the field goal range and kick a last-second field goal. Let's see it, Mizzou. At least TikTok doesn't have to worry about not seeing the game. All right, that's true, but they don't get their chat messages read. So which one's more important here? Mizzou's quarterback drops back. He senses some pressure, and he's going to fumble the football. Who's going to recover it? It's the Mizzou. Oh, line minutes, third and 24. That could have been game for Oklahoma, but now we get a bit of more drama. Can Mizzou come back on third and 24? Get some water. Less than four. It recommends on the can not to have more than four, not to have more than one. Really? 
Dude, no, it says do not exceed two servings per day. We're chilling. We're chilling. All right, third and 24. Let's go ahead and see what Mizzou can do. He's in his own end zone. He unloads it out of bounds. Mizzou, you got to get 24 yards on this next play or your hopes in college football imperialism are over. It can all be done if you don't pick up 24 yards here and Oklahoma defends that territory. You're playing away too. So you better hope you can get something out of this. We're going to drop back. Can they get it done? He's going to unheave it deep. And it's going to be caught. They are now pushing into field goal range. They just need seven more yards. And Mizzou could complete one of the biggest upset. We got upset watch right now. Oh my. What a pass. What a head tap by number 11 on Mizzou. Can they accomplish this? They go no huddle. He's going to go ahead and find a patch of dirt into the ground because he can't hit his halfback. Little under three hours. Yeah, we've been live for a little under three hours here. We are going until we crown a champion. Let's see. Will Mizzou control a majority of the land? It's tense over here. Let's see. What is going to happen? Quarterback drops back. It's a halfback screen. This is going to push them close to field goal range at their 41 yard line now. If we get a kick now, it's going to be like a 52 yarder. I don't know. I don't know. This is a long field goal. Probably like more like 56. Drink water, my friend. Celsius, not good. I get the whole gallon here. We'll eventually finish it. Oh my. Third and four. You just need a few more yards for field goal range. And they're going to get knocked back. Fourth and four. 41 yard line. What is this? You had 17 to this. You're looking at a 68. Or 58? No, is this a 50? I think this is a 58 yarder. Been watching the whole stream, Dr. Robot. You were the first person in this stream. I appreciate it. A 58 yarder to call game. Can Mizzou get it done? Will they take over the majority of the land? Go ahead and kick this one. Will it fall short? He is going to miss the kick. It's wide right. The kicker shanked it. Oh, he's upset now. That is wide right. He can't get it done, and Oklahoma gets saved. The coach is devastated. You had a shot to take over our college football imperialism map, but you're out of here. 11 teams left. Oklahoma dominates the map still. They stay alive. I don't know if they should have. If I was over there kicking for Mizzou, you know I would have drilled that thing. Oh, my. I can't believe he missed it. They still do have all three timeouts. We'll go ahead and watch this one. But I, I think it's 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 a shame. Just needed a few more lot, few more yards. OU stays alive, and they are gonna pick up the first down. That is officially game. Missouri chokes. The kicker choked it. That's not what we like to see, but it does add a bit of drama. Oklahoma stays alive. They keep their territory and they claim a bit more. But now they have a big border with either Wisconsin or Clemson. Those are the teams that they could face. Let's go ahead and give them the land that they deserve. There you go. Look at that. It's either going to be, I guess they have a small line with Kentucky. It's Wisconsin, Kentucky, or Clemson fighting them. Let's go ahead and pop over to our wheel. Missouri, you are out of the first ever college football imperialism on this channel. Who is fighting next to potentially not make top 10? It's Wisconsin. Wisconsin could take on Notre Dame, Kentucky, or we could see Oklahoma have to fend off their territory one more time. Who is it going to be? That's OU. Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner. Can you get it done again? We will have to wait and see. Wisconsin could take over a lot of the map. Oh, unlucky. If it wasn't for the Bills, it would be fake. What do you mean, Sean? Let's go in-game. Wisconsin's already there, except they are the opposing team. Oklahoma gets home field advantage once again. But Oklahoma almost choked that last one. Oklahoma, 82 overall. What is Wisconsin coming in out? Washington already lost, guys. Oklahoma beat Washington to take over a majority of the land. Washington, 87. No, no, y'all almost screwed me up. Wisconsin. 
Where's Wisconsin? Wisconsin, 85 overall, Oklahoma, 82. What's going to happen? Are the Badgers going to be out of college football imperialism? They've already won against Illinois. They also won against Western Michigan, I believe, or it was Northwestern, one of those teams earlier. They've won two matches nonetheless. Can they win a third and take over the majority of the land? Play Boston College. Boston College is skating through right now. Oh, you about to smack them? I know Tompty's happy. I had Prime, so I never got up. Got them. Got Celsius's? Oh, no. No, you're talking about Twitch ads. Yeah. You think Notre Dame's going to win it all, Vincent? I don't know. Oklahoma is proven to be dominant at this point, but we still have to remember that there is Clemson in that bottom. Clemson's already beaten... FSU, Bama, Georgia, Arkansas, big names. They got a crazy resume, but Oklahoma is challenging that. We are going to start out our scoring with a Wisconsin touchdown. Oklahoma is going to match that. We are going back and forth. Oklahoma goes 14 up, 21 to 13 now, 28 to 13 at halftime. This is a good scoring game, 28 to 16, 35, 16. Oklahoma is proving dominant. Can Wisconsin make a comeback? I think it's too little, too late. 38 to 22 is going to be your final score. The Badgers are eliminated from college football imperialism. And just like that, Oklahoma grows its borders. Wisconsin, goodbye. Your land is now gone. Oklahoma is single-handedly tearing up this map. Look at how much land they own. It is insane how good they are doing. But we got to go ahead and see because they could always win that, lose that last game, and that would be insane. We're going to go ahead and remove Wisconsin from our wheel. And who is fighting next? Who? How many teams we got? Two. Four, six, eight, ten. This is your top ten in college football imperialism. Who is fighting next? It's going to be none other than Notre Dame. We'll see if Notre Dame is going to control the map, but they have to face some powerhouses right now. What direction is Notre Dame attacking in? They're going to be taking on Kentucky. All right, as you guys can see, in our wheel, they're playing Kentucky. Can Notre Dame clutch up? Are they going to get to the top four and choke just like they do in the playoffs whenever they used to make it all the time? We'll have to wait and see. Kentucky is going to get home field advantage on top of that. Let's go ahead and scroll down. There's Kentucky coming in at an 80 overall. Notre Dame should be ranked higher than that. We'll go ahead and see the exact numbers. Notre Dame, 92 overall. Honestly, I think they probably got this one in the bag. And I think they, they are one of the highest remaining teams left. Here we go. What is going to happen? Will Notre Dame choke against Kentucky? They want to invade their land, but Kentucky doesn't want to leave imperialism just yet. Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. Clash of the conferences. Who you guys got? UNC for the win. I'd be happy with UNC or Clemson winning. Those are the teams I want to see perform or Boston College for Tomty. But let's go ahead and see what the result of this game will be. Who is going to come out victorious? We are going to start out the scoring with a Notre Dame field goal. Kentucky is going to go on top with the score being 10 to 3 now. 17 to 3 going into the half. Is Notre Dame going to choke early? It looks like it's going to be a defensive style game, 17 to 10. Notre Dame is driving. Let's go ahead and watch this thing live. Two minutes and 38 seconds left on the clock. It's first and 10 from Kentucky's 43-yard line. If Kentucky can get a stop, they can end this game. Notre Dame still has all three of their timeouts, so time shouldn't be too important of a factor. Y'all say Notre Dame's going to win, but I don't know. Tonti, you should be rooting for Boston College, not Marshall. Let's go ahead and see what Notre Dame's going to do. You have to score a touchdown to stay alive. You got your halfback pretty much wide open on a wheel route, but the quarterback is going to miss a pass. Hartman has already thrown one pick. He's lucky that one's not picked off as well. Who's left? You guys can see the whole map if you pop over to the YouTube. If you guys are on TikTok and you want a better view of your spirits where I can actually read your chat messages, you guys can see our wheel spins, what direction teams are fighting. Everything's on YouTube. Modix HD over there. Go Cats. I'm probably rooting for the Wildcats right here. Hartman is going to deliver a bomb to the tight end. It's first and 10 from the 20-yard line. Is Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, going to clutch up? 
I want Boston College versus Marshall finale. How crazy would that be? Notre Dame is not real, bro. Notre Dame just chokes. Whenever they need to need to get something in, need to do something good, they choke. Here we go, the RPO, and he's gonna actually score on that. Right when I talk about Notre Dame choking, they actually get the touchdown. Jaden Thomas dives into the end zone on the RPO. And now we got ourselves a game, but did they score way too fast? We'll have to wait and see. Because now, this gives Kentucky an opportunity to drive down and kick a last second field goal. What a read by Hartman though. That was a great play, I'll give it to Notre Dame. They get in for the touchdown and they make this thing interesting. Let's go ahead and go normal. We know that they're going to kick an extra point. We know that they're kicking it off. And now we can go and watch this. A minute and 40 seconds left. We are going to see if Kentucky can get it done. Division three imperialism next. Adam, welcome from TikTok. I appreciate you popping over. That's why they, they lost to Clemson last year. All right. What is going to happen? Come on, Kentucky. Sean, the ball is in their hand. If they can just drive down in a field goal range, they can win this with a field goal. What are the Wildcats going to do? He has his wide receiver basically wide open on the drag. He's going to get close to a first down. A minute and 30 seconds left. I'd probably take my time out here. You got three. It's Penn State in. Penn State lost to Boston College. What is going to happen? Will the Wildcats kick a last second field goal? How did you get into Madden? OG1035. I got a whole video up on my YouTube channel. Teaches you exactly how to do it. But essentially, you got to mod your PC Madden. Dropping back to pass. He's going to deliver a pass to get a first down. Stop clock. The clock stops because it is college rules. One minute, 11 seconds left on the clock. 37 yard line. You got to get to around the 40 in order to be able to make a field goal. That's about 20 more yards. Can Kentucky do it? You got all three timeouts. I wouldn't really stress too much. The clock is now ticking because the rest place the ball. Kentucky, are you going to take the most out of this opportunity? Wide open receiver, underthrown ball. Notre Dame almost picks it off. D Kentucky got lucky though there James I'm from TikTok your live is on my for you page James is it better quality over on YouTube am I not lying let me know Wyoming lost already Michael Mitchell Redfern welcome from TikTok McNugget welcome back Kentucky almost throws another pick Leary you got to be careful you already have one interception in this game you could sell for your imperialism we can't see the map that's because we're in game run low that's because we're in game. You guys will be able to see afterwards. Can you do this mod on PS5? You cannot. Kentucky needs to pick up a first down here to stay alive. Third and 10. He drops back to pass. Is he going to be able to find his receiver? His receiver drops it. It's fourth and 10. You have to punt it back to Notre Dame now. The clock stops. Notre Dame gets another opportunity to win this football game. It's better. James says it's better, so you guys got to pop over. If you're in TikTok right now, pop over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD or the top link in my TikTok file. Kentucky is going to punt this ball away, and you have to pray that Notre Dame does not drive down and score and make the use of their three timeouts. Oh, word, my fault. You're all good. Zeke's. This is Madden 24, except it's modded Madden on PC, so I have 75 college football, te game, football teams, and we are doing college football imperialism. Yo, the Murph, welcome from TikTok. Way better than TikTok, bloodthirsty, welcome over. Notre Dame drops back to pass, and they are going to get met right away. Second and eight, you gotta get to that 33 yard line. Their kicker's not that great. But if they have all three timeouts, they can make use of them. We'll see what ends up happening. Came from TikTok for sure better. Well, welcome, Jonathan. I appreciate you making the switch. I got to remember to stay hydrated. YouTube's not working for me. Try searching it up, Bennett. If not, TikTok's fine to watch if it's not working. Sam Hartman is going to take a sack. Kentucky should probably take one of their timeouts, but I think they want overtime here. Let's go, Notre Dame. Not going to cap. You're actually really good at live content creation, keeping the chat engaged while comment, com commentating your game. I appreciate it, Mitchell. That's because I'm recording for a YouTube video, so this will all be live. Y'all can say hi to YouTube. I'll try to include y'all. If y'all say hi, YouTube, right now, you will be in the video. Type in chat. Let me know that you guys are here, and let me know what team you guys want to see. I came from TikTok, and YouTube is far superior. Exactly. And now we got overtime. Kentucky, Notre Dame, who's taking it all? Let's go ahead and see. That's only on YouTube chat. I'm sorry, TikTok. The, the only YouTube's getting put in the video. No? 
Is there a championship game? The last game will be considered the championship, Gavin. And then the winner of that's facing Marshall to please Tompy, my mod. Fun fact, I first discovered Cody on TikTok, but then he switched over. Hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. What up? Spam that thing, baby. Put your name in the video. Came from TikTok. on one k welcome. Let's go, chat. How's everybody doing? We all doing good? Boomer. Let's go. Watching on my lunch break. Let's go. Notre Dame starting out with a ball in OT. They pick up two yards on the run. UNC better. UNC still alive, AJ. What's good, YouTube? Here from TikTok, Mr. Ghostface. We're taking roll. Welcome. Hi, YouTube. Ohio State on top. Come on, Kentucky. Please come in clutch. Let's see what happens. Let me know who you guys want to win. Sam Hartman dropping back. Going to find a wide open wide receiver. It's third and three. Kentucky needs to stop. They need to hold him to a field goal if they want anything to happen. Oh my, Jamarian Hutchinson or Hutchins, welcome from TikTok. How are you doing? What I'm saying is, will there will the field be a championship game? Yes, we can make it a championship game. Hendricks came from TikTok. Welcome, Hendricks. Amari came from TikTok. LSU lost. They lost to Clemson. Clemson took them down. Fourth and two now. They don't pick it up. Notre Dame is probably going to have to settle for a field goal, and that means that Kentucky can take down Notre Dame. They were the underdogs. Did Notre Dame choke? Are they going to go for it on fourth and two? We'll have to wait and see. Ohio State is still alive, Andrew. Georgia Tech lost, Branson. They were one of the earlier teams to lose. Let's see. The Fighting Irish, are they going to be taken down? They're going for it on fourth and two. Can Kentucky get a stop? They, they can't. Well, you had a shot, Kentucky. You really did. Came from TikTok. LaShawn, welcome. Welcome, Joey from TikTok. Let's go. Owen Strauschen. Welcome from TikTok. Wisconsin is not alive. Oklahoma took them down. Let's go, chat. Let's go. I appreciate y'all popping in here. They did end up going for it, LMAO. Sam Hartman going to deliver a bomb through the end zone. Can't be completed. Kentucky, you got to get a stop. You failed on that fourth down. You could have stopped them and kicked a field goal. Or you could have called a Boston College and run a fake field goal. Who knows? Eric Labuda, welcome from TikTok. Who did Oklahoma State lose to? Oklahoma State lost to Baylor, I believe. I believe. Sam Hartman, what are you going to do with this second and 10? He's going to almost throw a pick that was broken up. It's a third and 10. Will they find themselves in another fourth down? Situation. Missouri is not still alive. They just lost. Gavin says for sure better on YouTube. I've been trying to tell you guys. YouTube is the best, best platform to watch these streams on. You get to see the whole screen. You also get to see the map whenever we switch to it. You get to see our wheel spin. What direction teams are fighting for. So why haven't you swapped already? Come over to the YouTube. It's Modix HD over there. As Sam Hartman has a wide open receiver but cannot deliver. It's fourth and ten. I'd probably result in a field goal right around now. You do not want to give Kentucky an opening. Hey, Kevin came over from TikTok, but we have a ring. Kai, welcome from TikTok. Is UMass still in? I don't think UMass was ever in it. They were not put into the mod. They are going to take their field goal, and they go up 20 to 17. If Kentucky kicks a, kicks a field goal, the game keeps on going. But if Kentucky scores a touchdown, this game will be over. Is Florida still alive? No. Michael came from TikTok, and YouTube is better. Welcome from TikTok, Michael. Kentucky going to find a wide open receiver to the 12-yard line. Will they punch it in? Let me know. Take your predictions right now, chat. Let's see it. Cardinals already lost, Kenneth. Maryland lost as well. Maryland lost to Rutgers. Oklahoma is still alive, and they control the majority of the map. This is going to be the winner is going to border a lot of Oklahoma's land. If you guys want to see the map, pop over to the YouTube channel. Modix HD over there. Kentucky going to deliver a wide open burnt route. Kentucky is going to win this football game and take an upset over Notre Dame. There we go. Let's go ahead and show you guys the map over on YouTube. If you guys popped over from TikTok, y'all can now see this is our map, but Notre Dame is no longer there. The 92 overalls fall, and we are going to give their land to the University of Kentucky. Okay, I did select their land. They are going to take it over. Who, whose land is this? Going to go ahead and delete that. I appreciate the subs coming in. Thank you, chat. Keith Ellis, welcome from TikTok. Kentucky will score, and they do. The Wildcats stay alive, and they take down the Fighting Irish. 
that is a big takedown for them. Notre Dame is now out of college football imperialism, and now there were nine. Who is fighting next? We're spinning the wheel to see. It is going to be the Tar Heels from North Carolina. Are they going to take on Clemson for a battle of the Carolinas? That would be top tier content. Let's spin the arrow and see. And no, they want Ohio State. They're going to be taking on Ohio State here. Ohio State does have home field advantage. I'll go ahead and show you guys. This is where they're fighting Ohio State. But then if you guys pay attention closer to the map, we still have Central Michigan. We still have Akron still alive. They haven't touched a single game yet. They haven't had to play. And that's the joy of college football imperialism. They've been surrounded by some crazy teams, but they haven't even been targeted. They could go to the very end and win one game and win it all. But we know that Ohio State gets home field advantage here. UNC is going to have to go into their territory and take it down. Will they be able to do so? Let me know in the chat right now, guys. Oh, let's go. Ohio State. 93 overall. They are the highest rated team still in the game. UNC is all the way in the bottom. OSU on top. Hunter Powell, welcome from TikTok. Who will UNC? Oh, they're under North Carolina. Keep on forgetting that. North Carolina, 82 overall. Will we see two upsets in a row? Notre Dame just lost. Will Ohio State crumble too? I'm really rooting for UNC here. How big of an upset would that be? And then UNC will be surrounding Akron and Central Michigan all together. I need UNC to win, please. Who did Penn State lose to? Penn State lost to Boston College. All right, Ohio State is the home team. UNC is going into their territory. Drake May, will you take care of business? We got Marvin Harrison Jr., one of the highest draft prospects in the game. We are going to jump ahead and see who's going to kick off our scoring. It's going to be none other than UNC with a touchdown. They are going to be able to take a two-touchdown lead. Will Ohio State answer? Yes, they will. It's going to be 14-7 at halftime. UNC going to make it a two-possession game, 17-7. Ohio State has to do something. It's 14-17. We're going to go ahead and jump into the action. Less than two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. UNC has the ball, and they're driving. If they can get a few first downs and they will pull off the upset against ohio state no shot we're gonna have two upsets in a row but it could be possible can drake may master an upset here they're playing away they went into ohio state's land and they said we want that let's see drake may you just got to keep this ball on the ground they are gonna run it and they actually don't pick up the first down that but that's probably best case scenario it's second and inches somebody is injured though you have to waste the one the first time out for ohio state who did georgia tech lose to mississippi state kentucky will win it all spoiler alert this is a solid game Wyoming lost to USC, I believe. Here we go, Drake May. Will you pick up the first down? Basically securing this win. They hand the ball off, and that's exactly what they do. Ohio State has to burn their second time out. One more to go. You keep this ball on the ground, and USC, UNC might pull off the upset. We'll see what Drake May wants to do at the end of the day. Of course, they are going to run it. There's a big gap. They're already in field goal range. They can make this a basically secure a... No, I guess Ohio State could still drive down and score. But you just have to play this clock. There's a minute and 44 seconds left. You pick up a first down and you win this game. This clock is going to tick. OSU upset, potentially. Drake May just has to solidify this game. It all comes down to a third and five. If you're an Ohio State fan, you need a stop right here. Let's go ahead and see. We're on the 32-yard line, but it's a game of five yards. UNC picks this up. They secure the W. Or do they leave too much time for Ohio State to get any points on the board? Drake May, what do you want to do? He's going to decide to pass, and he is going to find a receiver, but he's going to drop the ball. This means that the time is not ticking down. They're going to have to settle for a field goal here. 59 seconds. Honestly, I'd probably go for it in this situation. You should definitely go for it. If you kick a field goal, it's going to be 20 to 14. Ohio State still wins it with a touchdown. I don't know why they're kicking a field goal here, but that's what they're deciding to do. Will he be able to drill it and make it a six-point game? Yes, he does. I guess now a field goal doesn't tie it. So maybe it's a good decision. Let's go ahead and see what Ohio State's going to do. They have no timeout. So if UNC defense can come in clutch, we are going to have two upsets in a row. I'm going to go ahead and skip through the kickoff. All right, now we can jump into it. 54 seconds left. 
54 seconds left. What will Ohio State do? What do you guys think? What do you guys think is going to happen? If you're on TikTok, you guys got to pop over to the YouTube. Pop over. It's Modix HD over on YouTube. You can see the whole screen. You can see our map. You can see who's fighting and what direction they're fighting in. Pop over. It's, a, it's Modix HD or the top link in my TikTok bio. 204 of y'all in YouTube. I hope everybody's having a great day. And if you enjoy EA Sports College football content, I'm going to be the one-stop shop for it. So subscribe now and say that you were early. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. We're going to be full-time on that game. And I'm going to have so much content. We are going to take a snap by Ohio State. They are going deep. It is a bomb. And he's going to complete it. But is there going to be too much time taking down on the clock? 10 yards to go. Who was that too? That wasn't Marvin Harrison Jr. They just picked up a massive chunk of yards. That is a beautiful thrown ball. Burnt coverage. UNC, you might fall to Ohio State. Are they going to clutch up? That's an insane pass. UNC defense needs something here. You need a sack. A sack would end it, and that's exactly what happens. The clock's still ticking. They could decide to spike to stop the clock, but what is going to happen? James, welcome from TikTok. That was a dot. This clock is ticking, though. There's 20 seconds left in this game. You have to get on this ball and spike it as soon as possible, but I don't know what's going to happen. 15 seconds left. You have to hurry if you're Ohio State. Going to take the snap. You have to look towards the end zone. He has his halfback, who he's going to end up going to. There's only five seconds left, and it all comes down to this. Third and goal. Five seconds left in the match. In the match. What is this? A soccer game? Five seconds left in the game. 19 yards to go. You have to go to the end zone if you're Ohio State. UNC defense, one play can get you guys an upset. Let's go ahead and see, chat. What is going to happen? Here it is. They go to the end zone and it's batted down. And there's still two seconds left. Not a good decision to bat down there. You should have probably gone for the pick, but I'm not going to tell them how to do. They try to target Marvin Harrison Jr. And now it all comes down to this. One play, 19 yards, two seconds on the clock. A touchdown wins it. They can't settle for a field goal. What is Ohio State going to do? Kyle McCord takes the snap. He launches to the end zone and it gets batted down. UNC takes down Ohio State. Oh my. Kyle McCord almost gets two picks. But there you go. There were two upsets in a row, and that is why you guys stick around and, and watch college football imperialism. Let's go ahead and make adjustments to our map because now all of the highest rated teams in the game are out of here. I appreciate the sub. Let's go, chat. Go ahead and sub. This is your one-stop shop for college football content over on YouTube. We still got Akron, of course. I got I to gotta fix, uh, fix their logo. But Akron is still skating by. So is Central Michigan. Sorry, I just got to fix their logos, guys. And then we're going to keep on going. The UNC upset. Some of y'all calling that is insane. Let's go ahead and put it like this. Let's give you guys a look at the map now. UNC owns a lot of land. Even though they haven't played a lot of matches, they are dominating in terms of land. You got UNC, you got Clemson, you got Kentucky, Oklahoma, Central Michigan, Akron, Pitt, and Boston College. Who's going to win it all? Let me know in the comments right now. Oh my. This is getting interesting. We have to go remove Ohio State from our wheel. Who's going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's fighting next? There's eight teams left. It's getting down to the wire. Central Michigan, Akron, Pitt have not had to play, but Akron has to play now. And since Akron is surrounded by UNC... Let me record that. But Akron has to play now. And since Akron, but Akron has to play now. And since Akron is surrounded by UNC, that's who they have to play. So can Drake may get it done two times in a row? Let's go ahead and set this thing up. Let's see, because this is a YouTube video chat. I got to post this on YouTube because this has been one of the most entertaining streams. Besides 100 wins, I'd say. This is a fun one. But who do you guys think is going to win? Clemson or... UNC is going to be our home team. They have home field advantage, and Akron is one of those underdogs that has just skated through. They haven't had to play a single game, so are they going to get um, destroyed? They're a 76 overall. UNC is only an 82, but honestly, in real life, we know that UNC wins this game, but college football imperialism is all about the upset, so what do you guys think is going to happen? They're standing on business. I call this the Cody stutter. Yeah, basically. Basically, I got a lot of pressure, okay? 
come on, Akron. How crazy would it be if Akron or Central Michigan won this thing? How crazy. Let's go, UNC. My Tar Heels going to win. I think Clemson wins this whole thing. That's my prediction. But Boston College has skated through. Tomty's a happy man with Boston College. Drake May taking on Akron. Who plays for Akron? Who's, who's a big name that's played at Akron? The Cody Stutter. Guys, don't make fun of me. All right, we're going to go ahead and see what happens in this game. We are going to start out the scoring with an Akron field goal, but UNC is going to capitalize, scoring a touchdown. Akron matches that touchdown. UNC takes back the lead. Akron takes back the lead. 17. It's 20 to 17 at the start of halftime. Will UNC clutch up? They make it a two possession game. It's a 10-point disparity now. 30, 36. UNC pulls away, and UNC stays alive. 39 to 24 is your final score. UNC gets it done against Ohio State, and after that, they take care of business against Akron. Let's go ahead and change our map now. You guys can see it on TikTok. If you guys pop over to the um, pop over to the YouTube stream, and you guys will be able to see this. We're gonna go ahead and give. Akron's land away to UNC. It's not a lot, but it helps UNC by eliminating one more team. And now there were seven left. Akron is leaving our wheel spin. So now we got Boston College, Central Michigan, Clemson, Kentucky, UNC, Oklahoma, or Pitt. It's time to spin the wheel of teams to see who is fighting next. And it's going to be Tompty's Boston College. They skated through. They had an upset against Penn State. But what direction are they fighting? Are they playing UNC again? Or are they going to fight Pitt? It's all going to come down to this wheel spin. And that looks like a Pitt to me. We're going to go ahead and have them fight Pitt. Pitt does have home field advantage. But is Boston College's Cinderella story up? That is what's being determined right now. Boston College does not get home field advantage. That is going to Pitt. Kenny Pickett, will you be proud of your team here? The Pitt Panthers, they have not played at all during this imperialism either. Boston College is starting out at a 73 overall. They have to fight against home field advantage, and they have to fight against an overall deficiency. Let's go ahead and see Boston College. We got a lot of fans in chat. Will they be able to get it done? UNC only being six better than Akron is crazy. Yeah, it is. Miami, lol, top 10. Is Miami? No, wait, did I say Miami? I don't think I did, right? Miami should be out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. All right. Here we go. The ads are popping up at the worst time. I need to change the setting then. Because I try not to have ads pop up that often. All right, Boston College. Pittsburgh. Well, I don't want to say Pittsburgh Pirates. That's baseball. Pittsburgh Panthers. There we go. Let's see who ends up taking the lead to start. It's going to be Boston College with a field goal. Boston College is going to make it a two-possession game. 13 to nothing now. Pittsburgh drives down. It's 13 to 7. 20 to 7. Will Boston College stay alive at the end of the first half? It's 20 to 7. Pittsburgh's driving down. 20 to 14. Pittsburgh has the ball. Threatening to score against Boston College. Time is ticking down in the third quarter. We're going to jump into the action and see if Pittsburgh can take down Boston College. If they score a touchdown, kick an extra point, they get the lead. But a field goal will not help them out. 200 cuties in chat. Let's go. And listen, if you guys haven't already, be sure to join the Discord. That's where uh, I'm going to be dropping this file as soon as, it, as soon as this challenge ends. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to join the Discord. Pittsburgh's going to pick up the first half to end out the third quarter. And listen, if you guys are over on TikTok, join the YouTube. Join the YouTube. We're vibing out over there. Monix HD over there. Yes, sir. BC repping ACC. Listen, I, I ain't a fan of the ACC, but I'll root for Boston College in this one. They've been the Cinderella story. And I guess if my mods are rooting for him, I got to, too. Pittsburgh going to find the wide open wide receiver. He almost breaks one tackle. It's second and six now. They have 30 yards to go. Will they be able to come in clutch and take the lead away from Boston College? Boston College has had the lead the whole entire game, but Pittsburgh might come up clutch when they need to. This is an interesting game. Another Jason Kelsey ad. Okay, Pittsburgh, big run here. And he's going to get down to the 10-yard line before going down the 9-yard line. So it's a first and goal situation. Hammond has been carrying Pittsburgh's run game. Two touchdowns in the red zone whenever they go. They haven't had to kick a field goal. They've been dominant if they can get into the red zone. And that's exactly what that run put them into. Boston College needs a stop right here. Kansas was in there. 
All right, they're going to go back to the run game, and Boston College gets a tackle. Gets down to the eight-yard line, second and goal. If they can hold them to a field goal, they're in a good situation, and that clock just keeps on ticking down. Pittsburgh and Boston College all have saved their three timeouts for this. Ooh, what's going to happen? Who took out FSU? That was Clemson. All right, it looks like Pittsburgh's going with an empty backfield. They're looking. It's going to be a wide-open receiver, and Boston College loses their lead. It's going to be 21-20, to 20, but Boston College has a lot of time on the clock. They can clutch up and potentially still win this with a last-second field goal. I know that would make Tomty happy, but we'll have to wait and see. King Cobra, welcome from TikTok. It is a better viewing experience. You guys can confirm it in that chat. I promise we are going to be producing a lot more content too this is going to be a youtube video um i'm just trying to produce the best content in terms of uh, college football until that game comes out and as soon as that game comes out i promise you guys we will be live streaming basically every single day trying to go full time with it if you guys want to support now you guys can say that you were early we're gonna hit a hundred thousand subs this, this summer i can promise y'all that come on boston college let's see let's see Pitt's got the lead right now. Four minutes and 48 seconds left on the clock. Boston College is getting the ball back at the 25-yard line. They got to make something happen. Look at this camera angle. Kind of interesting. You see that the tight end is wide open. If he can break a tackle, he can make some progress. He only gets one yard. Castellanos doing pretty well. Hasn't committed a turnover just yet, but I might have uh, just rigged it. I apologize, Tomty, if I did. But I promise I didn't try to. I want Boston College to win this game. They have 209 yards passing. It's second and nine from the 26-yard line. All you need to do is get into field goal range. If you're Boston College, you can kick. Uh, you can wear down the clock and kick it. And he is going to find a first down. They need 20 more yards to get into field goal range. Can they do it? Will Boston College get it done? I'm subbing to you, James Bocus. I appreciate the sub, brother. I appreciate the support. All y'all chilling in here watching. It really does help me a lot. I graduate college in, in December of this upcoming year, and I am going full-time on content creation after that. So it's a big risk, but I'm looking forward to it. You're going to get content like this every single day, I promise. When I don't have to worry about anything but this, we're going to be chilling. It's a fumble. Boston College fumbles the football. You had one job. Just keep the ball, but Pittsburgh recovers the fumble, and I think Pittsburgh's going to take down Boston College. That was a big sell. No announcer jinx. I think I jinxed it. The announcer jinx comes into play. You had one job, Castanillos. One job, and now Rodney Hanman can go and just run this clock out. Boston College still does have all three of their timeouts, so if they can hold him to a field goal, it's not the end of the world. He was down. He was not down, Tonti. There was no review. They're going to throw it, and it looks like they are going to make some progress. A touchdown isn't game over because Boston College can go for two, and Boston College loves overtime. We, we remember what happened earlier in the video. They can take care of business in overtime. Challenge it? No shot. I like Miami more than Auburn and Texas. A&M, that's the best I can do. All right, that's a good sign for Boston College. If they can hold them to a field goal, that's best case scenario. Pittsburgh, you got to capitalize on this opportunity. You get great starting field position, third and two from the five-yard line. You punch it in. You are putting a lot of pressure on Boston College. You kick a field goal, all they have to do is score a touchdown, and they still win this game. Let's see what Pittsburgh can do. It's going to be a false start. Where's that offsides? I don't know. I think that that's encroachment defense. Boston College sells. Boston College sells in its first and goal. That means that Pittsburgh can run even more of this clock out. Who beat Alabama? It was Clemson. Clemson beat Alabama, FSU, Georgia. They have a stacked resume. They also beat Arkansas. And they're dominating the southern portion of our map. As Pittsburgh runs this football, they're chewing out this clock. It's second and goal from the four. They're probably just going to keep this ball on the ground and require Boston College to use a few of their timeouts. Y'all had an NFL team? Okay, y'all are talking. Y'all are talking in chat. I love to see it. Let's go, Chad. Who do you guys have winning this whole thing? This is an interesting game. Boston College has been our Cinderella story, but right now, I guess, if they lose, it goes to Central Michigan, who hasn't played at all during this imperialism. Let's see. They're chewing down this clock. We're getting to about two minutes left in this game. We're going to fake an end around, and Boston College does not allow them to score. We're at the two-yard line for Pitt now. 
You'd expect Boston College to probably save their timeouts because if Pittsburgh scores, it's not the end of the end of the game. They can drive down and complete a two-point conversion. How did you get college on Madden? Jody, I have a whole video up on this YouTube channel teaching you exactly how to do it, but essentially you mod your PC Madden. Okay, let's see what Pittsburgh does. Can they get a touchdown? If I was playing, i throw to nine right now. Nope, he's going to throw to the other wide receiver. I don't know why they were choosing zone there, Boston College, but they are going to score a touchdown, and this makes it an eight-point game. So now, Boston College has the opportunity to drive down. They have to score a touchdown and get a two-point conversion in order to force OT and stay alive. Boston College, please win. It would be a crazy, crazy upset if they can. We'll go ahead and see. We got to jump forward two plays. They score that. The kickoff is done. And now we'll jump into the action and watch the rest of this game out. There's a minute and 19 seconds. Boston College has all three of their timeouts. They got to score a touchdown and get the two-point conversion or Tompty's going to be super upset. And all the other Boston College fans in chat, they'll be back in other imperialisms, obviously, though, because this is not our last one that we're going to be doing. Boston College takes the snap. You better not fumble again. You already fumbled your chances. He gets the catch, goes out of bounds, stops the clock. A minute and 14 seconds left on the clock. 35-yard line. They got to go 70 more yards. Time for another turnover. All right. Let's go. Boston College, can you get it done? Can you come back again and force OT where you like to sit? They got a lot of... Uh, how do I say this? I was going uh, to say something not so family friendly. Um, hmm. I don't know. They take a lot of risk in overtime. There we go. I got it. Is Boston College loses? I'm refunding the memberships I gifted Tom you can't say that because now if Boston College wins it looks like I rigged it Boston College taking the snap gonna find the halfback that is not what you want you better call that timeout early they're letting this clock tick a minute left I don't know what's going on they should have used one of their three timeouts you have to go 60 more yards you have to score a touchdown you're way behind on chat it's lagging here wait let me actually try I'm behind on chat all right, I'm trying to pull it up one more time. Taking the snap, he's going to overthrow. Yo, Juan Lopez. Oh, I, oh, that was a pass one. I'm still... You guys have lagged my, my whole stream. Y'all have lagged my PC. I wouldn't be surprised if we get kicked out of the game. There we go. There we go. All right, we're good now. We're good now. Boston College, you got to make something happen. They're going to take a sack on third and seven it's fourth and 17 now fourth and 17 is the final two teams going to be like the super bowl yeah this essentially the winner takes it fourth and 17 you need something here and pittsburgh is gonna take down boston college tofty's upset w pittsburgh they get it done jordan rogers i appreciate the sub that might be delayed but oh i'm trying to pull up tiktok chat Eh, it's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and see what happens. They're just going to knee the ball out, and it looks like Boston College is falling. So not only does Marshall lose, but Tompty cheers for Boston College, and Boston College is also losing. All right. I pulled up TikTok chat now. Now y'all can see it. All right. Let's go ahead and speed this thing up. Pittsburgh is going to take their W over Boston College, and they're going to take all of their land. We're hopping into Photoshop to give you guys a rundown. If you are just now joining us on TikTok, you can see the map on YouTube. Pop over there. We are showcasing the whole thing right now. We only have a few teams left. There is six teams left. This is your final six. Oklahoma, Kentucky, Clemson, UNC, Boston College, and Central Michigan. Who's going to take the cake? We got to go over to our wheel spin. Boston College gets taken down. The Cinderella story is up for them. But could Central Michigan be the new one? I totally get... Okay, wait. Okay, our next team fighting is going to be Oklahoma. I realized, guys, that I uh, I did the wrong thing. Pitt is still in it. Boston College is not. I fix it. I apologize for everybody who probably thought that I did the wrong thing. 
but there we go pittsburgh now dominates but oklahoma fights next that is still true but pittsburgh owns that majority of the land oklahoma who are you fighting are you taking on kentucky or are you gonna fight clemson you probably want to pull kentucky here and it's not gonna be anybody so we have to re-spin our arrow and this is gonna land on clemson the two powerhouses so far in imperialism are taking each other on it's gonna be clemson versus oklahoma who do you guys have chat who are you going with i personally think clemson's gonna take it home no, you did it right. I did not fix it for Boston College right now. It's, it, Boston College didn't win, bro. Who beat Ohio State? That was UNC. All right, Clemson is going to have home field advantage. They're an 88 overall. I forget what overall Oklahoma is, but Oklahoma has taken out some big names, including USC. So we'll have to go ahead and see. They're an 82 overall. Clemson's got the home field advantage. They got the overall advantage. Can they keep on taking people down? Oklahoma, taking down Alabama, taking down Georgia, taking down FSU, taking down Arkansas, who beat some other big names. They are basically controlling that bottom right-hand corner. But will the Boomer Sooners win? We have to see. You know what? I'm going for Kentucky now. Bro, you got to root for like Central Michigan, Tomty. No one likes Boston College? Tomty did. Tomty liked Boston College. All right. Can Clemson get it done? I'm going for Clemson here. I'm a Kentucky and Central Michigan fan now. You got to choose one, Tomty. All right. Let's get things started. Oklahoma is going. Are they going to score first? No. It's a scoreless game. Oklahoma does start out our scoring with a field goal. Clemson scores a touchdown, though. Who is going to come out on top? Oklahoma scores a touchdown. Clemson's got to do something. It's getting somewhat late in this game. We're going to go ahead and jump. Uh, let's go normal speed real quick. Let's see what Oklahoma can do. If they score, they can really put this thing away. They are just running down this clock and they are going to take a field goal. We are going to jump into the action with Clemson at the 50 yard line. If they score a touchdown, they stay alive. They need it. They can't just kick a field goal. What are they going to do? I became a Boston College fan after they faked a field goal to win an OT. All right, let's go. Who do you guys think, chat? Let's get it. Will Clemson stay alive? They're at midfield. 40 seconds to go. They have no timeouts. You got to go deep, Cade Klubnik. Going to pick up the first down. And he gets out of bounds. 34-yard line, 30 seconds to go. I think Clemson's got this. UNC takes it all. Oh, let's see. I'm a Penn State fan. Penn State got beat by Boston College, who just last game got beat by Pitt. And now we're seeing who's going to control the majority of the land. Right now, Oklahoma is dominating, but but Clemson has owned the Carolinas. Cade Klubnik is going to find a wide open receiver. He's going to get the first down, and now it is first and goal from the seven-yard line. You probably have to spike this one fast. 31 seconds left. Will Clemson take down Oklahoma? I think it's bye-bye OU. I think Dr. Swamp Juice is right. 31 seconds. Get it done, Clemson. The Boomer Sooners offense have to sit on the sideline and watch as Clemson takes the snap on first and goal. Are they going to find an opening? Zero is wide open, but he decides to throw it out of the end zone instead. 23 seconds. Three more shots to deliver a bomb into the end zone and to become victorious of the majority of the map in college football imperialism. Michigan lost to Eastern Michigan early, Logan. Oh, who did Texas get beaten by? Uh, Baylor. All right, Cade Klubnik. Are they choosing to run here? They're going to give it to Will Shipley. And Will Shipley is going to go down to the three-yard line. This clock is ticking. You have to go fast. 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12. The pressure is on. And Clemson, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Kate Klubnik, what are you doing? You have to go fast. They're letting this tick down. Are they going to get a playoff? He gets the playoff. It all comes down to this. And Clemson chokes. Clemson almost threw a pick there. Oklahoma reigns victorious. They dominated a majority of the map. And now we have to fix that on our Photoshop. Clemson had a good run taking down some of the biggest competition in this imperialism, but it doesn't matter. Oklahoma takes over. Let's go ahead and paint their land. They are now victorious of this whole map, essentially. 
That was an upset if you ask me. I thought Clemson was going to come away with that, but Clemson is out of college football imperialism. That was who I was rooting for, too. Of course, my team falls, but that's how you guys know I'm not rigging it. Clemson, goodbye. Who's spinning next? Five teams left. This is your final five. Who's going to get into the final four? Kentucky is playing next. What direction is Kentucky going to fight in, though? You're either playing UNC or Oklahoma, and Kentucky wants a shot at the biggest majority of land. Oklahoma, Kentucky, Oklahoma has hold home field advantage, but Kentucky is not a guest to surprises. All right. Oh, let's go ahead and get it done. Why is that not working? Oh, I got to click in. Nope. Back, back, back. What is going on? Um, excuse me. Um, my Madden bugged, so we're gonna have to reload it. Here, I'll let you guys check out the check out the imperialism map one more time. Oh, there we go, it worked. All right, I got it ready up, and now I can go back. No, why do I have to select this? All right, give me a minute, chat. See, this did it. I want to go back. Why is it not allowing me to go back? My keyboard. Oh, my keyboard literally died. That's what it was. Ugh. I don't have a keyboard chat. Give me a minute. It's rigged. All right. We're going modern keyboard. Ugh. See, don't be like me, chat. You guys should actually have a charged keyboard. All right, now we can go back and then here we go. Look at that. I did it chat. All right, so we are going to Oklahoma. They have to play again. They have to play against Kentucky, but Kentucky has to go against home field advantage. Oklahoma. There we go. 82 overall. And now Kentucky. Where are they? Kentucky is coming in at an 80. So Oklahoma has an overall advantage. They also have home field advantage, but Kentucky has already upset Notre Dame in this similar situation. Can Kentucky dominate the majority of the map? They want their share of it. Let's see if they can get it done. Random weather. I should probably do. I'll do that for like the final game, Travis. Here we go. Oklahoma's dominating so far in college football imperialism. They just took down Clemson, but can they hang on against Kentucky? Go ahead and check it out. We're getting down to the wire, chat. Here we go. Who's going to start out our scoring? It's going to be none other than Oklahoma with a touchdown. Kentucky is going to follow that up with a field goal, but Oklahoma is going to score another touchdown. Kentucky with a touchdown of their own, and now they are able to drive. We're going into the fourth quarter. Our score being 20 to 10, 20 to 13, and now Kentucky has an opportunity to jump in here with two minutes remaining. They're on Oklahoma's 44-yard line. They need a touchdown to stay alive. Let's go ahead and see the whole map about to be blue. They need to force overtime if they want that to be the case. They still have all three timeouts, but that clock is ticking down. Oh, this could be a big upset. Oklahoma has proved so dominant over the course of this. They're going to run a screen here, and the blocking is just going to be terrible, but he does pick up the first down. Now, 35-yard line, a minute and 37 seconds left. It is college football rules, so the, the clock stops with a first down, but they need a lot from here. I want this game to go into OT. This game would be a fire OT match for Marshall and Boston College. This is first and 10. Looking to throw. Leary. Kentucky fires deep and it almost gets picked off. All right, let's see it. Can't let OU win at all without Baker Mayfield. I think Kentucky's got this. But they can't play that risky. They just can't. <sighs> Come on. If you guys are just now joining us, we are down to five teams in college football imperialism. Check out the YouTube channel if you're on TikTok. They are going to get a first down and get down to the 21-yard line, almost in the red zone. What's going to happen? Is Kentucky going to clutch up and try to force OT? How did UNC do? UNC's still alive. UNC is still alive, Savage Batman. They're in the top four officially. 
The winner of this team moves on, but then the loser is out in fifth place. Everyone's rooting for Kentucky. Play action. Who are they going to find? They're going to take a sack. No, incomplete pass. I'm um, for Kentucky, baby. We'll see. Kentucky's got to do something. First down is not favoring them. Defense, you want OU to win? All right. Oh, let's see what's going to happen. Kentucky, you got to have some clutch some clutch bones here let's see takes a snap he's gonna throw a pick oklahoma just secured their win throwing an interception when you needed a touchdown oklahoma stays alive kentucky i hate to break it to y'all but you are out of there you knocked out notre dame and you did oklahoma's dirty work oklahoma dominant force but they could always go to that last game and lose it all comes back to that all right, Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Huge stop by the defense. We're going to go ahead and still sim it because you never know. There could be another change of possession, but Oklahoma should just run this clock out. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to take their knees and Oklahoma stays victorious. Kentucky, you had a good run, but you're out in fifth place. Kentucky land is gone oklahoma gets their land look at that look at that map oklahoma now controls the majority and they're eating it up we have to go and remove kentucky from our wheel spin we're down to four chat your final four, Central Michigan hasn't played at all. UNC, Oklahoma, and Pitt. Three teams have proven that they deserve to be here while Central Michigan sat there the whole time. But let's see who is going to be fighting next, and it is going to be Central Michigan. They are completely surrounded by UNC, so UNC has a home field advantage, and Central Michigan has to do something. We're going to load this up. Can UNC stay alive? We will wait and see. Central Michigan is my last hope. Central Michigan finna cook. Who's going to come out on top? I got to go to this one. There we go. All right. Oh, this is it. UNC does have home field advantage, so I'm probably leaning towards UNC. But, hey, we might have an upset. You never know. North Carolina, home team advantage. What is Central Michigan coming in at? Central Michigan is a 70 overall. There's a 12 overall disparity. I think... I think that UNC is going to take care of business. We'll see what Drake May and company can do. Will they stay alive to reach our final three? Or is it going to be Central Michigan with the upset? Let's go. Sub to the goat. He grinds hard and super nice. I appreciate it, CVG Venom. UNC, baby. I think UNC takes this. If I had to guess UNC takes it, look at that field. I hope that they're in their baby blue uniforms. Those are sick. Yes, they are. Let's go ahead and see if they can come out on top. They have to punt away to start out the game. And they are going to settle for a field goal to kick things off. Central Michigan takes a lead. 7-6 to six now. Now it's 13-7. to seven. Will Central Michigan be able to bounce back into this the game? They're not going to score there. We're going into the fourth quarter. It's 7-13. to 13. UNC makes it 21-7. to 7, And UNC comes out on top. Central Michigan just can't get it done. It looked kind of potential for a minute there. But UNC stays alive. Takes care of business against Central Michigan. Let's go ahead and update our map. Central Michigan, you guys are out of there. UNC... We are painting this map baby blue some more. We're going to make the make the, the thing a bit smaller. There we go. All right. And chat, I can officially confirm that your final two teams, or your final three teams, Oklahoma, UNC, and Pittsburgh. Let's go. Central Michigan held their own. They did pretty decent, but they didn't have to play the whole entire time. Here we go. Tompty losing money. YouTube's behind. Here we go. Our final spin to see who is going to be playing. It's going to be Oklahoma, and that means Pittsburgh is into our final two. UNC is the only bordering team for Oklahoma, so it comes down to Oklahoma and UNC. 
Who is going to take the cake? I'll show you guys the Photoshop right now. As you guys can see, Pittsburgh is up there in the top right-hand corner. So, Tanti, I hate to break this to you, but if Boston College beat Pittsburgh, they would be in our finals. Who is going to come out on top? UNC or Oklahoma? UNC does have home field advantage. Since the wheel landed on Oklahoma, they are the visiting team. North Carolina, can you win out? If you win out, you get to represent the other team going against Pitt. This winner takes on Pitt. Oklahoma owns a majority of the map. Will the map be changing colors to blue? Oklahoma, 82 overall. North Carolina, 82 overall. You could not ask for a better matchup. These are two dominant teams. Who do you guys have? I got the Tar Heels. I have to go with the Tar Heels here. Even though that Oklahoma has been dominant, they played the most. They've had the biggest opportunity to choke. And I think that they're tired. I think Oklahoma is going to choke and UNC is going to take their home field advantage and win with it. Drake May is a solid quarterback and he's going to get it home against the Boomer Sooners. What's going on, Smokey? How is it going? You guys are joining just in time. Savage Batman changed his username or his profile picture to represent UNC. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity over on TikTok. If you guys want to view the championship game and this final three game, in better quality pop over to the youtube it's modix hd or top link in the tiktok bio we are going to start out our scoring with an oklahoma touchdown and then unc is going to follow that up with a touchdown of their own oklahoma scores a touchdown unc answers at halftime we are all score unc goes and scores a field goal oklahoma answers with a touchdown though they're driving down they have now made it 28 to 17 unc is down by 11 but they have the ball if they score here they still have all three of their timeouts their hopes are not a lot not knocked down just yet they're still in this game they have to score a touchdown then i'd probably guess they're gonna go for the onside kick let's go ahead and see what happens drake may you need to lead a comeback here or will oklahoma dominate this imperialism He's going to almost throw a pick. Drake May could have just ended things for UNC. They have to score here. The clock does stop. We lost. I think the Tar Heels might lose. I'm still keeping my profile pick. Pitt's going to pull up the upset. Can you imagine? Oklahoma dominates throughout the whole college football imperialism map. And then Pittsburgh wins at the very end. Drake May takes the snap. He goes back and he's going to get sacked. They have to burn their first time out. A minute and 48 seconds left on the clock. The winner of this progresses into our championship game against Pittsburgh. Who is going to win it all? UNC has had some tough competition, but so has Oklahoma. Drake May taking a lot of time and he hits his receiver for the first down. That is going to stop the clock since we are playing college football rules, but they have to score a touchdown, kick the onside kick, and hope that they get it. Let's go ahead and see. Pitt will beat, will beat Boomer sooner. We'll have to see. We don't need home field. Boomer sooner. Who's going to win? Put your predictions in chat. And also be sure to pop over to the YouTube. If you guys are watching on TikTok right now, you guys got to pop over to the YouTube for the final game. Drake May is going to drop back. He's going to find just a simple out route. Not, not what I would have done. It's second and five now. The clock is ticking. 16 yards. You got to score a touchdown. You got to get the onside kick. And you have to kick a field goal. No, you have to score two touchdowns, actually. Are you going to do a March Madness mod on NBA 2K? I do not know uh, basketball, so I cannot do March Madness. Um, I stick to football on this channel. Drake May takes the snap. You got to go to the end zone. And he tries, but it gets broken up. Sooners on top. It would be fire, but I just don't know enough about basketball. I don't know. We might try it. We'll see. Don't be stupid, Drake May. He, he better not. He better score a touchdown here and go fast. Drake May. Third and five. Down 11. What is he going to do? He takes the snap. He's looking deep. He's going to find his wide receiver who gets out for fourth and one. He could have reached the ball out at least. But now it all comes down to this. You got to at least get one yard. But you also got to score a touchdown. They only have two more timeouts. What's going to happen? GG's UNC. Don't call it too, too early. LMAO. Ooh. Let's go. They're going to kick a field goal. So that's the one thing that I didn't expect to happen. Out of everything, you, you're going to kick a field goal here, and then you got to go for two. I, I don't know. Bro, what, you mean it's over? It's it's basically over. 
That's weird. That's weird that you'd kick a field goal there. But I guess I guess they're just betting on the fact that they can get a two-point conversion. Whatever. All right. They have to recover this onside kick, though. That is what's going to determine this whole entire game. If the Oklahoma Sooners recover this, then it's GG's and goodbye to UNC. We're joining in at the best time, the biggest moment of this kicker's life. 28 to 20, the winner of this game goes on to face Pittsburgh. It's a pretty solid onside kick, and they're going to recover it, but I think it was before 10 yards had passed. It's illegal touching by the hands team. UNC is going to fall. Sebastian Cheeks, unlucky. That was probably the most perfect kick that kicker could have made, but it is over. UNC lost the game, and our final for college football imperialism will be Oklahoma taking on Pittsburgh. Let's go ahead and fast forward just to make sure, just to make sure this game is over. We're going to jump to the end of the game. Oh, that's unlucky. That's devastating for UNC, but Oklahoma reigns victorious once again. And now we have to go and remove UNC from this map. Look at all that land that Oklahoma possesses. The brush is taking care of it now. All of this land and it all comes down to this. We've had one team that has been victorious throughout this whole entire thing, being Oklahoma. And then we've had Pittsburgh. They won a few games when they needed to, and one of that was against Boston College. Boston College, Oklahoma. Who is going to take it all? Chat right now. Type in chat who you guys think it's gonna, gonna be. But first, we need to see who our home team is going to be. I have to remove UNC from the wheel. It's either gonna be Oklahoma or Pittsburgh. The, the person that this lands on is going to be the attacking team. And that means Oklahoma has to go into Pittsburgh territory to claim the rest of the map. Let's go, Chad. Who's hyped for this? This is what this whole stream has led into. Yesterday, we started this challenge. We set out with 75 teams. We have gotten it down to two. Pittsburgh or oklahoma oklahoma just beat unc on the road but they gotta travel once again pittsburgh has home field advantage is Pitt gonna have the upset at the very end of the day oklahoma is fighting away pittsburgh is an 80 overall and oklahoma comes in i'll do a whole intro all right Oklahoma is 82 overall. Pittsburgh is 80, but Pittsburgh has home field advantage. Oklahoma has dominated the map throughout this whole competition, and Pittsburgh has won when they've needed to. Who is going to become victorious? It all comes down to this. What a fire. Hype up. And listen, if you guys are on TikTok, join us on YouTube for this final game. That's all I ask. My YouTube is ModxHD. It's also the top link in the TikTok bio. That's going to be the best quality. Let me get a chug of a Celsius. And here we go. It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, Oklahoma, it's in the game. Pittsburgh. This has been a crazy stream. I appreciate all the support so far. All of the new subs. Y'all are killing it with the support. Oh, the final game of college football imperialism. Our first one. Here we go. How are we starting? Pittsburgh is going to open up the scoring with a field goal. Oklahoma returns that with a touchdown. It's 14 to 10. Who is going to lead at halftime? Pittsburgh up 24 to 14. Are they going to have the upset? We're going to jump into the action. It's 14 to 24. Time is ticking down in the third quarter. This is the final game. This is all that matters. Oklahoma is on the 33 yard line and it's a third and nine situation. Pittsburgh is feeling the pressure because they are taking on the powerhouse of this challenge. If they can get a stop here and force a field goal, it is going to be a great scenario. Oklahoma's quarterback dropping back to pass and he is going to have an incompletion pass. Oh, Pittsburgh brought the pressure. It's fourth and nine now. He's boxing. He's feeling confident. Are they going to take the field goal? I think they will. Oklahoma wins 48 to 34. I don't know, Batman. I think Pitt might be able to do it. We're going to see a pretty lengthy field goal, a 50 yarder from Oklahoma. It's going to have the distance. It's also going to score. We're going to go ahead and jump 
past the kickoff because it takes way too long. And then we'll go ahead and see if Oklahoma defense can come up clutch. Let's go normal, jump to the next play. And now let's jump back into the action. Actually, let's, let's jump a bit in the future. All right, now we'll jump in. Um, jump forward. We're watching the rest of this game, chat. We are going to watch the rest of this game together. There's five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Pittsburgh has the football. If they score a touchdown, it could be game over for Oklahoma. Even though they've dominated throughout the whole thing, it's who wins the final game. Lock in Sooners, let's go. Who called these teams from the beginning? I don't know if anybody did. Pitt's got to rep the ACC well. All the FSU fans rooting for Pittsburgh. Let's see if Oklahoma defense can come in clutch. A turnover helps you immensely. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Pittsburgh takes the snap. You got your player wide open on the drag route. He's going to find his wide receiver. Second and four. Clock continues to tick. Both teams have their all three of their timeouts. Who won last one? Oklahoma took down UNC. This is the final game, though, chat. If you guys want, pop over to the YouTube. Pop over there and support. Second and four. Three minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. And Oklahoma honestly could have picked that and probably returned it to the house. He decides to bat it down instead. Third and four, Pittsburgh, you have to get this first, this first down. You get it down. You get the first down. You get to continue running out this clock. We'll see what happens. How do you do this? I have a full video up on my YouTube channel. You have to mod Madden PC. Pittsburgh, four yards will help them take the win. And the quarterback overthrows it. It's fourth and four. I think that they're out of field goal range as well. There's 141 of y'all in here. Let's go, chat. All right. The Sooner defense comes up clutch. This will most likely be a punt. I don't think that they're in field goal range. So Oklahoma has the opportunity. Pittsburgh's going for it. Pittsburgh's going to go for it, trying to pick up four yards. They're not going to give Oklahoma the ball, and they're going to pick up the first down. This continues the clock to tick. Oh my, what a risky call, but Pittsburgh knows that they have to come in clutch now, and that runs this clock even more. Oklahoma's got to stress about using their timeouts now. They have to use them wisely. Will Pittsburgh be able to hold on and take down the dominant Oklahoma Boomer Sooners? I'm going to take the snap. He's going to also find for the head tap his wide receiver. That's first and 10. This clock continues to tick. 24-yard line. If they score a touchdown, this thing could be over. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's see what happens. You said OU from the beginning. I don't know if that's going to happen. If you're an OU fan, you need an interception now. If they kick a field goal, you're out of it. That would make it a two possession game. The quarterback is going to take the snap. I don't know why they aren't running it, but the passing game is working. Down to the nine yard line. Clock continues to tick. A, any score will basically end this game unless Oklahoma pulls off a miracle. This is insane on his head yes sir all right 24 to 17 pittsburgh just needs to score you just need to score honestly i'd take knees and take my kick make them use the timeout this is our final game the winner of this is crowned our college football imperialism champion pittsburgh can win it here he has a, a lot of time in the pocket. He finds his halfback outside and he's gonna lose some yardage. Second and goal from this from the 11 yard line. Yes, you do have to be on PC to mod this game. All right, let's go chat. Two minutes left in this game. This clock is getting dangerously close to zero. And I think Oklahoma just jumped off sides. Oklahoma encroachment, neutral zone and freshman. They are or encroachment. It is going to be second and goal from the six. Run the ball. That would be smart. <laughs> Field goal will end it. Pittsburgh up seven. They're on the six yard line of Oklahoma. If they score at all, this game is essentially over. A lot of time in the pocket for Pittsburgh's quarterback. He's going to incomplete pass. That is probably the worst case scenario. I probably would have taken the sack there because that stops the clock. Third and goal. Oklahoma needs to clutch up on defense now to even have the opportunity to force this game into overtime. Might play a few viewers after this. I do not know, Tomty. I am not too sure. We will have to wait and see. 
Pittsburgh takes the ball it's a wide open man and it is a touchdown Pittsburgh might have just become your champions Oklahoma obviously has a shot they're down two possessions now so we are going to need an onside kick and a miracle in order for them to keep their land but I think Pittsburgh might have just taken over this map that is insane insane oh Clemson out of there yeah Clemson's out this is a final game. It's between Pittsburgh and Oklahoma. And Pittsburgh just clutched up big time. Our score is 31 to 17 with two minutes and two seconds left on the clock. Oklahoma needs something. All right. Ooh, let's go normal. Skip the kickoff. Now let's jump back into the action. We are watching this game out. Will Oklahoma have a miracle? Two minutes left, 17 to 31. You're down two possessions. You have to make something happen and something very fast. Probably both Hail Marys and then you need an onside kick. Oh, Marshall. Yeah, I, do, I am playing against Marshall next. <laughs> just just cause to see what would have happened. All right, this game is over. It might be, but listen, if you're on TikTok and you guys wanna support college football content, I'm going to be your one spot stop shop whenever EA Sports College football releases. So pop over to the YouTube. Be sure to sub. And most importantly, be sure to join the Discord. That's where I'm dropping this whole PSD so that you guys can do this yourself whenever the game releases. Marshall going to win it all. We will see. All right. Oklahoma takes the snap. They need something. They need to go deep. What is the CPU going to do? He has a lot of time. He's letting the play develop. He goes deep to a wide open man. Oklahoma could still possibly be in this. A minute and 50 seconds left. They're on the 33-yard line. They have to score. They have to kick an onside kick. They have to recover it and score again. What is going to happen? Imagine the scenes if this thing goes into overtime. Pittsburgh has a 14-point lead, but are they going to sell it away? Let's go ahead and see Oklahoma takes the snap. Not letting a lot of time off the clock. You got to go deep. You have to find the end zone. And he's going to find another wide open receiver. He gets out of bounds. Seven yard line, a minute and 40 seconds left. They still have all three timeouts, so they might not have to recover an onside kick. Oklahoma is still in this thing. Stogner coming up clutch in the final moments. This is our final game. Who's going to win, chat? They can't let Pitt get a first down. Oklahoma, what are you going to do? Takes the snap. He's going to find the receiver out wide. They're going to have to. Oh, no, they're not going to take a timeout. That was perfect for Pittsburgh. This clock is continuing to tick down. They still have all three timeouts, but they have to save it for defense. You have to go quick here. Eight yards to go. You have to score. You have to score. Pitt selling. That was a big defensive play. One minute and 20 seconds left. Second and goal. Oklahoma needs to score soon. They're going to decide to go play action. And the wide receiver is going to drop it in the end zone. Luckily, that does stop the clock. It's third and goal from the eight-yard line now. Ooh, they're going to get a legal touching call on an onside. That was a, a pretty bad ending for UNC. All right. Here we go, Oklahoma. Nah, we lost to Oklahoma. Here we go. Oklahoma takes the snap. Why would you possession catch that? That was one of the worst decisions possible. He could have gotten in if he racked it. It's fourth and goal from the one. They have to punch it in. The game is on the line. It's a matter of inches in this game. And will Pittsburgh come out on top? A stop here will allow that. Oklahoma has to score. They decide to pass the ball. They're going to find Stogner for the touchdown, and it keeps their hopes alive. They now need an onside kick, or they can kick normally and utilize their three timeouts. Stogner just saved the day for Oklahoma, but this is still a game. We have to decide. We have to see what they decide to do. What do you guys think? Riley finished the puzzle? That was my job. I wanted to get the last piece. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the next play. Oh, they kick an extra point. Final score 31 to 24. I, I'm guessing. I don't know. Pitt might sell. Pitt might sell. CPU is on siding for real. I don't know. I, I guess they might on side it, but they still have all three timeouts. So even if they don't recover, it's not end of the game. A first down will end it, though. Fat scoop. I appreciate the rose. All right. Are they going to go for two? No shot. They go for two, right? Here we go, chat. This is the final of college football imperialism. I do ask if you're on TikTok, be sure to pop over to YouTube. And as soon as there's a winner, y'all better be spamming chat. They're going to take their PAT. 
Will it be completed? If it gets blocked, then they're, they're in a harder position. It is going to go through. There is a seven-point lead for Pittsburgh. What are they going to decide to do? Do you kick it deep here? Do you onside kick it? You still have all three of your timeouts. Do you trust your defense? We're going to be watching this entire thing play out. Let's go ahead, sim to the end of the game. Those three timeouts are saving them right now. So it was very good clock management to not take it when they got tackled inbound. Stogner saved the day with that touchdown. And now OU has to get it done on the kickoff. Your hands team better be good on this. And Pittsburgh cannot sell. They had a 14 point lead. If they lost that in the final game of college football imperialism, the fans will be terrified. So a little it looks like they're lined up in onside recovery. What's going to happen? This is the game right here. Pittsburgh is going to recover, but now Oklahoma can utilize their three timeouts. If Pittsburgh gets a field goal or even an, a first down, they are going to win this game and take over our imperialism map. Oh, rip OU. They're not in field goal range yet. Not in field goal range yet. But if they pick up a first down or really any yardage, I think like five yards and you're in field goal range. Here we go. Pittsburgh takes the snap. They're going to run it and they are going to get to second and one. That is not good if you're an Oklahoma fan. Second and one. All you need is one yard and you win college football imperialism. They're going to decide to run it one more time. And there it is. Your champion of our first ever college football imperialism is the Pittsburgh Panthers. And if you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this video right here. Sorry, boys. I had to do that for the video. But there you guys have it. They are going to knee it out. Victory formation Pittsburgh wins our first ever college football imperialism. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and sim this until the very end. We'll confirm that nothing crazy happens. That is crazy. Oklahoma. Oh, I guess I got to go into Photoshop here. We'll go into Photoshop real quick and take care of this map. Oklahoma, you are now done. Pittsburgh claims the land. Pittsburgh color. I can make this thing as big as possible. And just like that. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Technical difficulties. Um, just like that. Mm, nope. Wait, just a bit more. Yeah, they did. And Give me a minute, chat. Clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done Wait. by both sides. Wait. Wait so for it. Do it for us, for my Wait for it. Wait. I, I promise I'm not selling chat. Rush. Bang. Why Brandon is that not up front NFL, now? Right here. All right. Sports. All right. This is this is crazy. Let's so go. Here, W's in chat. Oh dang! Now I need the Pittsburgh. All right. Where's the Pittsburgh logo? There it is. All right, let's go. And your final champion of college football imperialism is the Pittsburgh Panthers. Let's go, Chad. I hope you guys did enjoy this stream. It's going to be a YouTube video out. Um, I appreciate the support. It has been crazy. Y'all supporting like crazy. I appreciate all of our new heads that we got in here. I hope. Oh, wait, I, I should probably zoom into this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. That is going to be it for me today. I appreciate y'all joining in. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to join the Discord. Shout out to everyone who subbed today and hopped over from TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out. All right, YouTube. Now it's just you and me. Now it's just you and me. Let's go full cam. Because I do want to let you guys know that I am going on spring break next week. So we should have that video up on Friday, um, but I will have to take a break next week. But then as soon as I get back, I'm moving into my new apartment and I promise we will have the content going. Um, I appreciate all the support today. It has been crazy. Oh, where's Marshall? I did promise you guys, Marshall. Oops. Oops. Where's Marshall? Good call. Good call. I did promise you guys, Marshall. All right, I, I'll play one more final game with Marshall.
But I do appreciate everyone for being in here. It, it was a crazy stream. One of the best streams I've ever had. Up there with... Uh, up there with a uh, hundred wins, we're gonna make Pittsburgh um, the home team, and Marshall is gonna take them on. But I just appreciate all y'all for tuning in today. It was a great stream. We're gonna see if Marshall can take the cake at the end of the day for Tomty. They're 69 overall. Pittsburgh is an 80 overall. It, it's been a good one, chat. How how did you guys feel about it? You guys think that you're gonna go back and watch the full video whenever I release it on YouTube? Because if you guys want to support me. That, uh, that would definitely help out if you guys just like leave it on in the background or whatever. Put the imperialism map out. What do you mean? All right. Here we go. This is the final game that I'm going to be playing today. Marshall taking on Pittsburgh. Let's go ahead and sim forward. Here we go. We're going to start out the scoring with a Marshall touchdown. And now Pittsburgh's going to answer with a safety. Marshall let that up. Marshall 14 to 2 going into halftime. This is a defensive battle. Pittsburgh 14 to 5 now. Pittsburgh 12 to 14. We'll go ahead and jump in. It looks like Marshall could dominate here. I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. It's second and eight. Pittsburgh is driving there on their own 17 yard line though. Marshall is the real imperialism. They didn't make it far enough. So Pittsburgh at the end of the day is the final. This is just for kicks and giggles. All right, let's see what they can do. Pittsburgh gonna take the snap. He's gonna throw it short. And this is a tackle inbounds. That's good news for your Marshalls fan. America's teams. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it too. Let's go, James. I appreciate it. Yeah, anybody who just like sits there and watches this video, it's gonna be like an hour long, but hopefully it's gonna be entertaining. I know some of y'all couldn't stay this whole entire time. And hopefully it tells you guys the story of how our first college football imperialism went. We're gonna be doing more of this. I have an idea for the next one that I definitely wanna do. Um, it's gonna be a banger. So stay tuned for that. Pittsburgh gonna take gonna pick up the first down that does stop the clock for him there's a minute and 39 seconds left Marshall got to clutch up on defense let's see it's not the championship game not this this is not the championship game you're gonna release the imperialism map yes I will be doing that after stream all right let's see what happens a minute and 34 second on the clock they are gonna throw it short and I think you gotta take a timeout here now Nope, they're going to let this clock tick down a bit more. Me and Sean and Robot the whole time. You guys were in here a long time, and I appreciate it. Shout out to Tompty. Shout out to Faith. Shout out to Storm. All my mods for helping me moderate this whole entire thing. Malik, I appreciate the sub. All right. We're going to go ahead and see a first down here. A minute and seven seconds left. Tompty, I hate to break it to you, but Pittsburgh is in field goal range, and a field goal will win it for him. I don't know what's going to happen. Did Kansas play? They did. They did and they lost. Pittsburgh is our overall winner. This is just for fun. They're taking on Marshall. Seeing what they can do. They're not going to huddle. If Marshall can get a sack, they'd push them out of field goal range. But that is just going to secure it. Marshall taking a timeout now, trying to save time on that clock. Because they know if Pittsburgh gets this field goal, then they are going to win this whole thing. Cody, stop rigging it. My hands are up here. I haven't done anything, Tomty. And they are going to get the first down. Marshall should lose this football game. I'm sorry, Tomty. I gave them two opportunities, and they lost both times. I gave them a free ride until the last game, and Pittsburgh still came out on top. They are going to go ahead and need it, but you never know. There could be a blocked field goal. Pittsburgh kicker could choke. I'm going to watch the whole hour. Let's go. Marshall winning this? I do not think so. I think Pitt just called game. That's going to be a flag. I think that's a face mask if I had to guess. No, it's going to be holding. Actually going to call it back, but that's not far enough. It's going to be second and 14 from the opponent 27-yard line. That does stop the clock. Marshall versus Mizzou, please. Guys, I got to go do uh, got to go do a bit of homework that I have, have been procrastinating on to do this challenge. But there we go. That is going to tick down our clock even more. Pittsburgh can wind down this clock and take a last second field goal. They make it. They win. They miss it. Marshall wins. Who do you guys got? Y'all still say Marshall's going to win this game? 28 seconds left. Everyone deserves a third chance and a fourth chance. Hate to break it to you, Tomty. I don't think that they're going to win. Look at that throw away. Fourth and nine. There's actually a shot. 
there's actually a shot here they're gonna kick it we'll go ahead and watch that <laughs> that's crazy insane this challenge has been so now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming here is the field goal he's gonna go ahead and drill it Pittsburgh takes a lead and now we have to see if Marshall will perform an upset how much caffeine is in this thing I can't even see where do you see how much caffeine's in here Hmm. Cause I'm like shaking right now. It's how much caffeine I've had. Nah. All right. Here we go. Let's see if Marshall can get it done on the kickoff return. That they actually made some progress getting down to the 26 yard line. 12 seconds left. 200 milligrams. That means I had 400 milligrams of caffeine. Pretty decent. Marshall has to go deep. They're gonna launch it out of bounds launch it out of bounds i guess a field goal would win it but you do have to get out of bounds as well all right i i think i think it's not rigged Brady. i gave him two shots i gave marshall two shots they cannot get it done though second and ten you gotta get in the field goal range at least and you have to stop that clock let's see they have a last chance effort and the quarterback's gonna throw it out of bounds Tompy, this is the team you root for one more shot one hail mary we've seen it done before three seconds left on the clock marshall third and ten pittsburgh's got 15 marshall's got 14. it's all gonna come down to this hail mary you got to give Marshall time to get down, and it's not going to matter. Pittsburgh is still your reigning champion. And there you guys go. I seriously do appreciate all the support on this stream. It has been a crazy one. Um, I will be back, like I said, on uh, the Monday following spring break. I should be back then. Stay up to date on the Discord. Do exclamation point Discord in chat. And you guys will be able to see that um join that you'll get notified whenever we go live but i appreciate you guys so much for supporting today it was a crazy stream 